<laughs> whatever. Hmm. Okay. What's up, people? And I was had that song. And she's crying, this climbing the stairway to heaven. I don't remember what it is. All right, people. Uh, I tweeted this out. I'm gonna let you guys know, so that you're aware. Uh, today. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. Feel good. Um, we're gonna focus on the poker, right? So that means I'm gonna engage less with the chat. Fortunately, unfortunately, you're gonna get a lot more just because I'm gonna be focusing on two tables. We're starting with the 10K Super Millions, which is a big one. It's unlimited reentry for six freaking hours, okay? It's a five million guarantee on this big bad boy, right? I'm looking at it. So level 22, you can register to level 22. The blinds would be 5,000, 10,000. So it'd give you 22 bigs. I have currently in my account about six bullets total, which who knows, hopefully that's enough. If not, send me money because I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be broke on here and I need to, read the, I need to deposit or something. But uh, hopefully that works out okay. Uh, so there we have that. And then at 2.30, we have day two of the, day two of what was it called? The double stack no limit hold'em. And that one also has a prize pool of $5 million. So that one we already know, or I think we do. We're looking at a first prize of 566. 600 spots get paid. Wow. It says 500. Okay, so wow. We're, we're going to be very close to the money in that one. Very close, unless we have a... Because right now, I don't know if this makes sense, but right now it says there's 499 for day two, and right now it says it's paying 600 spots, which, you know, which is assuming, I think, that there are other heats in play, and there will be up until the start time. We're wearing red, Tiger Woods red. You know, Sunday red, because I feel good about today. This is going to be an important day. Starting off with 200 big blinds in this super millions, you can expect, right now we have 223 people registered, you can expect a high percentage of really good players in this bad boy. All right, we're gonna have all the, the sharks and the geniuses in this one. And then of course on Tuesday, this was when the final table will be for the 10K super millions. And so Tuesday's where you'll have it on ggpoker.tv where you'll be able to tune in with commentary and hold cards up. Um, I'm going to be at the final table, but, you know, theoretically, if I didn't make the final table, you know, I would be maybe jump into that commentary booth for a little while. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Let's put the music on. Yep, let's do that. Music's ready. RNG's ready. I will be using, so for those of you, you know, it's not a tool of any, it's just a random number generator. So I'm going to use a random number generator for frequencies in certain spots, right? Not always, and sometimes I will see the RNG, what it falls on, and still deviate, right? So I guess in some spots, I just won't even bother, even though, like, you probably should randomize in some spots. Sometimes I'm just not going to. I'm just going to do, you know, something more exploitive. But again, you, I'm, I don't typically really need the RNG when I'm playing small buy-in tournaments. I just play. But in high rollers against really good players, it becomes even more important to achieve a sense of balance where you're bluffing enough, you're value betting enough, you're, you're betting the right frequencies on the flop, you're checking back enough strong hands, you're betting enough air, you know, stuff like that. So it just kind of helps you stay in there, right? So for example, let's say, let's say I'm gonna three bet ace 10 offsuit on the button against the middle position raise 8% of the time. Let's say I wanna do that. Theoretically, okay. Well, I can use an RNG for that. If it falls on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we go ahead and do it. Junkrat, we will be live shortly. We are going live. Junkrat, first in the chat. How'd you get in there so fast? Junkrat. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he was asking first. I'm gonna tweet at him or text at him. Live soon. Oh, that didn't work. Or did it? Ah, whatever. Who cares? That worked. Oh, I have to put it in the wrong chat. Okay. No, look at that. I can be in the chat. Cool. All right. So, starting a little early here. Get all set up. 
So we sold percentages of ourselves to this for the people at no markup. All right. Okay, why am I itchy now? So I had a couple, I had a bottle of wine last night in preparation. A bottle of wine and a couple drinks actually, some vodka, as we watched a documentary last night called, uh, it was called Bipolar Rock and Roller about Mauro Ronaldo, who is a commentator guy for UFC and stuff like that. My wife obviously wanted to watch it. We saw it and she's like, oh, well, you know, and it was really interesting. It was really great to watch. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's called Bipolar Rock and Roller. Yeah, it's really revealing and you get a deeper understanding of what, how, I think if, what, you, what you'd be surprised to know is how many super successful people that are incredibly creative are also bipolar? Because part of that, part of what being bipolar allows is you to tap in to extreme emotion and extreme creativity. Your mind works, you know, you go through all these different um, swings, if you will. All right, what do we got? One minute left. Do, do, do. So as I said, I'm not going to be engaging with the chat as much today because we're going to focus on the poker. But we will here and there. So yeah, I just want to let you know if you are going to do super chats or whatever, I'm probably not going to see them all today because I'm not going to be scrolling like crazy. Um, I want to keep all my mental, because I'm going to be two tabling, right? Which is not hard, but I want to make sure that I give it my best. All right, so we got new table. Let's go. Table is up. All right, let's go. There it is. Done. Okay. And let's stretch it out my seat who's at our table let's go big 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 okay it's too big oh there's Felipe Felipe Ramos is streaming as well I could check his cards but I'm not gonna do that to the man hopefully he doesn't do that to me whatever all right so this is a good spot I think we don't have any big oh Felipe's got a title he's won a super millions wow okay we've got the jack eight that's gonna be a fold all right we're gonna look around the table here and see who is a concern? James Chen is a, let's see. James Chen has 80K in winnings from Taiwan. <coughs> okay, D777 right here. Doesn't realize we started, <coughs> but we did. Let's see, do I have any stats on these guys? Nope, 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 nope. Felipe, nope, okay. Let's check them out. Okay, Kevin, Kelvin Kerber. Let's check this guy out. Kelvin Kerber has 540,000 in winnings from Brazil. Another Brazilian, Felipe Ramos. We got Mac, 223. He's got 100K. Always all in nine. Has 9,900. So either a new, new account, probably a new account. Relatively new. Okay, we got Felipe opening. For 2.4, James Chen, Colin, always all in, Colin. 200 big blinds to start, 15 minute levels. How many bullets for this 10K? Like I said, it is unlimited re-entry, which means we will go until we run out. Of, we go all the way, right? All right, so we got a raise, check, check, flop. Joey Gar Giardina says, wish this platform was available in America. Good news for you is most states in America, almost all that allow sweepstakes, uh, you can play at clubgg.net, okay? You can play for free with your friends or you can take part in the monthly promotions, $100,000 in giving away money. You can, you can qualify for seats to the World Series of Poker main event, which is happening right now and then will be one more next week where they give away four seats. And that costs forty nine ninety nine a month, and that's it. It's a fixed cost. All right, so we got a bet and a raise now. After a check check flop, Felipe went with half pot. And James Chen raising up the turn. Interesting turn with you know hearts there. We had the jack eight a jack eight off with that jack heart, so we know he doesn't have like jacks with a flush draw. So the queen, it's gonna go check from Felipe. What does Felipe have here? Maybe that queen helped him. King, queen. 
King Queen seems like a reasonable holding for Felipe. Whether it's good or not is another story. Could be up against a suited 8 9 from James Chen. Could have, you know, pocket sevens and decide to check back the flop. Could have Jack 10 2 and check back. Not as likely. All right, he's betting almost pot. 32 into 37. Do, 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 do. All right, and Felipe folds. Interesting. So what did Felipe have there? What did Felipe call the raise with? I do not know. Okay, we're coming in with the 2.5 under the gun. That sizing will get smaller as the blinds go up and the average stack dips. Continue to lower it. But for now, 2.5 at 200 big blinds is plenty. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. All right, so this is a good spot where we're gonna generate. Let's see, 64. Okay, uh, I'm going to check this flop. The queen nine there hits a decent part of always all ends range. Who's now gonna call, bet half pot. Now we're getting three to one to peel and try to catch backdoor diamonds, um, ace a king. You know, we, well, we get called here as well. Hmm, now we're getting a better price. Four to one, but this is a good check. I'm gonna just fold. Okay, we saved 4.5 big blinds. If D777 doesn't play, I'm probably gonna play. So you wonder, like, well, why would you take three to one and not four? Because now I'd have to play against two players. Hmm. And obviously, I'm not drawing dead. Is diamond diamond nut is me nuts me up? But like, hitting a king is not that good. Like, it's like, I still have to be careful because 10 jacks there, king, queen, still pocket nines, a whole bunch of things. Um, and when you're playing against multiple players, you know, the hand, the, you know, those hands become even more likely. Do, 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 do. Six deuce off. This is going to be a fold, ladies and gents. Ramuk, Ramukulus, that sounds familiar. 540k in winnings. <laughs> what did I say about D77? No. So D77 is new also. 5,000 in winnings. Just because you see somebody with only 5k in winnings doesn't mean they're not good. They could either A, be like, so what do we got here? We got a flat with the 8-4 of clubs. Hmm. That was a flat, right? Not a 3-bet. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to make sure that I got that right. Yeah, he did call the button with 8-4 of clubs. Okay. I'm going to make a little note on Mach 223. And here we're going to come with size. 16 and a half bigs. Fifth, probably 13 against one. Razor. And we're going to... Uh, let's go 15.5, I think. Oh, wait, 11? All right, from the button. Aggro. So now we make it... Twenty-six point seven. All right. This could be trouble. This, you know, we're not folding the ace-king now that we put 27 big blinds in. Ooh, what the fuck is going on here? Hmm. You don't see that very often. Under the gun, flatter. I mean, that could be aces. I mean, really well. It could be. Always all in. Or it could just be nothing. Okay, well, that's not our flop. Against two players out of position. Let's generate here. Do, 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 do. Well, I don't like this situation anymore. Do you? Do not love it getting two calls here. So we have to check aces and kings here sometimes as well. Can't just only check when you have ace king, which we would be doing. All right, so he's got, like, his range just screams of, like, tens, jacks, and jacks were dead against. Ace king, were, uh, tens were getting a price to hit one of our two overs. But again, he could be trapping us with the big cojones as well. 
So once again, we're just going to fucking follow the Ace King. Okay? In the muck. Alright. Interesting. Luckily, it's early. Alright, let's see. Okay. So we got a one limp. It's played every hand. Alrighty then. So we're gonna make it four. Baby. Okay. Making notes. What do we got here? Okay, so we are trying to, I think, well, I mean, it's very limited information, right? We've only played a few hands. Okay, this is interesting. Got two players in the pot. Not a terrible flop for us. I'm going to check this one back. Even though this is a good spot to bet, I'm going to check this one back because I rolled a 96, to be honest with you. All right. Baby. Mm hmm Against one player, this is a turn I'll probably bluff a decent amount. Against two, just the range has become much more likely to have hit something here. So now we just give it up. Fold. All right. So we haven't won any pots yet, but that's okay. Long way to go yet. And we got 165 bigs. We lost a bunch with Ace-King twice. Seven eight, Queen Jack. Okay, all reasonable hands. I feel like, and I know it's early, it's too early to say, we only played four or five hands, but I feel like I have a good table. Partly because I don't know the players at my table, you know? Typically that's a good sign. Because I know most, I mean, I would know most of the real name players. As you can see, most of the really good players are going to have their real name. Kevin Kelber, James Chen, Felipe Ramos, yours truly. But And they also give you some information. When you click on the player, you see like Felipe. You click on, he's got that big gold circle around his name, around his uh, avatar. So it means he's won a big tournament, which is the Super Millions. Congratulations to Felipe. Mm -hmm. So just so you guys know, I'm not going to engage today. Today's a big Sunday. We're playing two events. So probably not going to engage with the chat very much, if at all. Right? Just going to focus a little bit here. Big one. Feeling intense about this one. Like we got to... We got to... Uh... Buenos dias. Oh, I should say something to Felipe at least with a snap cam. Okay. Well, how do you say bon, It's like bon, bon, bo sort. Bo sort. Bo sort. Bo sort. I think it's bo sort, right? Bo sort. Let me just double check. Boa sorte. It was like a weird yeah. Boa. Boa sorte. Boa sorte. All right, so we'll say that. Boa sorte, Felipe. Boa sorte. Da -da 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 -da. We will raise if we're first in here. Two two point five. We got a nice juicy big blind Annie. attack all right well that didn't get enough sound whatever 
Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> sexy. Max says I'm sexy. Okay. Say ha ha. Ha ha. All right. We did get called. That's a flop that actually does really well for the big blind. Yeah. I'm going to check this one back. Uh, oh, we're playing a little passive to start here. That's all right. Defense. You know, a lot of people have an offense. You need to have a good defense. Defense wins championships in a lot of spots. And this is just not a good board for us. It's a really good board for the big line. We could catch an eight and make a higher straight. But uh, it's just so hard for a hand to be good right here. Queen. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Okay. So what's nice about deep stack, right? We've lost, think about it, we lost ace-king twice, we lost the ace-10, what else? But we're still have 160 bigs, you know, we're not, no concern, and we'll catch our hands. Long way to go. Oh, let me see, how long does this go today? It's gonna go till the final table, right? So, uh, <laughs> and the final table on Tuesday. So, Day one breaks at the final table. Oh, wow. So it's going to be a long-ass day. I'm telling you. Today is going to be a long stream because we're running deep. We're going all the way, baby. Chalk it up to a victory right here. Always all in. James Chen. Is that the James Chen I think I know? Must be. Let me just make sure. Google a picture. James Chen, poker, James, oh, hold on, Chen, poker, yep, that's him, thought so, I know James, James, good player, yeah, James, this is the guy, so James Chen, for those of you who don't know who James Chen is, that's James Chen, Right there, over on my left, Kelvin Kerber. I don't know that name. We'll look him up. Let's see what he looks like. Why not? Kelvin Kerber Poker. Okay. Looks like a young online guy. Right? Does he look familiar? He looks like somewhat familiar. All right. We're going to out him. That's Kelvin Kerber right there. Okay, so we got, and Felipe Ramos, you know. Felipe Ramos. So it's early again, but by the end of this day, we'll have some more stats that hopefully can give us some reliable information on our opponents. As you can see, always all in, playing 75% of the damn hands. Mach playing 12, but a unique uh, 8 for a clubs call on the button, which we had written down. Couple of sixes. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this one. All right, level two has commenced. Blinds are up. They are 300, 600. We are sitting on 80K of our 100K start stack. Bullet one is the bullet that you all at that had a chance to buy a piece of, have a piece of. So hopefully this is the bullet that we get through with. Let's go, my brother Daniel. Let's do this bullet too, my brother. Very nice. Ah. All right. So this is a good flop for the razor, okay? Nine, four, two. So we're gonna go with a bigger size on this spot. Obviously, we hope he doesn't have a nine. Say good luck. Thanks, Isaac Jarvis. Happy birthday. Okay, so we've been called on this board. That's problematic. We beat a four, we beat a deuce, we beat ace five and ace three, right? Five, six as well, which we have two sixes, which we block. The problem is we do not beat that big fat nine right there. And this is in a spot where I'm looking to barrel twice because we have showdown value against the four and the deuce and the ace five hands. So we're going to check it back. And the queen is better for us by a wide margin, right? 
because we're going to have ace queen king queen queen jack suited all those kinds of things but again we don't have to turn this into a bluff right because like i said we beat the four we beat the deuce we beat some ace high hands and if he's got a nine he's probably calling anyway so we check and hope he doesn't have a nine and he doesn't wow two sixes okay i mean sorry ace king okay ace king no good interesting all right he did not three bet from the big blind with the ace king which i don't mind because it's very difficult to have a three betting range from the big blind when you're playing at a full ring game when under the gun raises okay when you're this deep under the gun raises like what are you going to be three betting the big blind with you have to i mean it's very difficult to construct a range that isn't too strong you know where it's just like way too aces kings ace king queens heavy jacks or whatnot so you'd have to add a decent amount of like ace four suited ace three suited type hands all right so here we are one and a half we're gonna call defend our blind obviously this is gonna be a check and a fold mm -hmm. someone said wait did it show the turn and river card after he folded yes that's the one of the cool things about gg poker is you can rabbit hunt <laughs> All right, so checked around. That doesn't mean they don't have an ace necessarily. They could have a 10 as well with a better kicker. It's a marginal spot, so I'm just going to check. And we will probably call a smallish bet on the turn. If it goes bet call, we can... Well, this guy always all in. He's been playing a lot of pots. All right, so now we have the best hand for sure. Question is, how do we max value? Let's generate something here. All right, we're going to go... I'm going to go with that. I don't think anybody has a flush, right? I mean, they could... But we want to get called by one pair of hands. We want to get called by an ace, by like a king 10, queen 10. We don't want to get raised, of course. Because, I mean, listen, just because they check the flop doesn't mean that they can't have a flush. Like, especially Remulculus, he could check and then just decide to give up on turn. All right, sweet. I'll take it. Uh, I thought we might get called by like queens or something. Someone said, you should play queen nine every time the way it's looking because queen nine has been hitting the board. That's actually something TJ Cloutier. Oh, look at this. So many people in the pot. I'm going to also come along for the ride. Yeah, TJ Cloutier is just that believe that. Like if you see nines running, like nines coming on the flop lot, he'd play like a bad hand that had a nine in it. <laughs> he was a craps player, so it makes sense. All right, so Felipe, if he squeezes, we're done. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, not a good hand to defend against a squeeze out of position. It's kind of a small sizing for his squeeze, I think, with that many players in the pod. All right, well, we got Maka. I'm not, I'm not coming along for the ride. And we would have had flopped a gut shot. So what do we have in chips? All right, 88K from 100. So just so you guys know, not really going to be engaging in the chat. I've said it a couple times, but if you, you know, some people are asking a lot of questions, you can let them know that I'm not going to be doing that today because I've got a big day. We're two hours away from the day two of the 1k double stack all right let's see what felipe has here after this hand was see, three bet 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 okay what else it was three bet, three bet and then so 1428 yeah yeah so then it was check check bet huh the king is a good card for him i guess ace king Very aggressive. This is one you can open if you want to. King six if it's folded around to you. I do. I choose how I'm going to play these spots based off of, generally speaking, who's in the blinds, right? And the more competent and aggressive and smart and good players that I have in the blinds, which I do right now, the tighter I'm going to play in this spot. Okay. So against weaker players who just fold too much or don't three bet enough, then I'm going to open. King six off 100%, right? 
But again, like I said, good players. When you open too many offsuit combos, that allows them to print EV by just re-raising you. Not as much now because we're deep and you got to play pots out of position, but certainly later on when the average stack's like you know 30, 40 bigs, stuff like that. So what we'll do is when the second table starts, is I'll be able to toggle in between. So we go like uh, we go like this. This, this, like this, ha 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 ha. Yeah, so I've got, I got toggles now. My man set me up with hotkeys. All right, what happened that last hand? I really want to see what happened that last hand. Let's go, what was that hand? All right, so always only want it on the turn, okay. Always all in, it's only been 13 hands, but he's played 77%. You can see that number 77, that's the VPIP, that's the number of hands played. And when you just like put your mouse over that player, you see a lot more. Attempts to steal 100%. Okay? 77% VPIP, yet only 15% preflop raise, which usually indicates a player who, again, these numbers are very limited, but it generally uh, indicates a player who is much more passive preflop. So if he's playing 77% for hands and, not, and only re raising 15 only raising 15%, that means he's doing a lot of calling, <laughs> limping, calling, raises, etc. Three is going to be a fold. Making it easy, love. What did I have for breakfast? All right, maybe I'll tell you what I had for breakfast. I made pancakes this morning. I use for my pancakes chickpea flour, about a wheat gluten. Mix that up with uh, a mashed banana. All right. Put that in a pan. Put some peanut butter on top. A little bit. Put some berries, mixed berries on top, and a little bit of maple syrup. Hits the spot. You get your proteins. You get, uh, let me see, not a lot of fat, actually. Not a lot of fat in that. The peanut butter, yeah. You get some fat from the peanut butter. And then, you know, a healthy serving of carbohydrate energy. So that's interesting. A small three bet from Kelvin on the button. You can generally, when you're in position, make three bets smaller. That's a little smaller than I would go with this. They're like pretty deep. Two and a half to seven and a half. But listen, I'm, I'm not suggesting that right or wrong. I'm just, you know, everyone has their own quote unquote game trees and how they choose to play their ranges and what sizes. And I'm sure he's put some thought into it. I typically like to come a little bit bigger, increase my chance a little bit to have some fold equity. On the 10 3 3 10. Well, the 10 on the turn is actually good for James Chen. Right? The flop was very good for Kelvin Kerber, but that after the check call, the 10 is pretty good for James. Because a big part of his check call range is going to be a 10. Whereas Kelvin's a lot less likely to have a 10 now because there's two of them there. And he can't necessarily be like all excited about jacks, queens, or kings. He is betting about two thirds pot. Huh. So he's essentially, for, with that sizing in this spot, he's basically saying, I have a 10. So I three bet you with ace 10, 10, nine, whatever. Okay, but James is calling. So I feel really strongly that James probably has the freaking 10. He's just checking and collecting bullets most likely. So Kelvin here is giving up our ace. What the fuck? Ace high. Oh, I see, ace high. Wow, so the queens went for big on the turn. James came with ace queen. So the ace, the queen is no longer relevant when the board is 10, 10, 3, 3. So it's just like hoping to chop with an ace. Against that size, I think that might be a little bit trouble, problem, problem, little problematic. Like was the plan to call the turn and then fold the river? Maybe. But if so, or do you open yourself up there to being exploited? Interesting spot, nonetheless. Also interesting, James has had a hand in that situation there where he could have four bet with ace queen against the button raise. So a hand like, uh, okay, this is gonna be full. So a hand like ace queen, right? If, uh, if I raise under the gun and under the gun plus one, three bets me, that's not a four betting hand really, <laughs> you're in trouble. But if I raise in the cutoff and the button three bets me, now ace queen becomes much stronger against the range of hands to three bet, right? 
Because a three bet from under the gun plus one, so like if I raise this hand and Felipe three bet me, that's supposed to be pretty damn strong, right? Any hand he plays from here is supposed to be pretty strong, but then to also play for a re-raise against an under the gun range, I mean, again, that's going to be heavily weighted towards strength. Hello from Romania, Doru Popescu. Sometimes I'll see the chat and I'll say hello, but again, we are going to be dialed in. Let's see here. What do I got here? All right, we're going to flat this one. Against the min raise, easy peasy. We've got bottom pair. That's just going to be a check. And if it goes bet call by D7-7, then we'll fold. Otherwise, this is a spot where we're probably just check and call against less than half pot. Not a great spot, but look at the price we're getting. It's two to win nine. So, and listen, we could have the best hand, right? We could have the best. It, is pro it could cause some trouble for us, though. All right, so there's a seven. Now we have the open and straight draw as well to the idiot end. Um, check and then check and then fold to a decent size bet. But again, if he goes less than half pot, then we'll call. All right, so there's the seven for the straight. Now the question is, let's see. All right, the question is, do we better check? I rolled a check. I'm gonna check. And hopefully he bluffs at it. And if he does, he's gonna go ahead and raise him. Let's see, he had nothing, right? Oh, he had a 10, okay. Okay, so if he had nothing like king, queen, king, jack, maybe he would have bluffed at it. Um, I don't know that he calls with a 10, maybe, if I bet small. I think uh, one of the, the predominant strategy for me there would be, and I mix it, right? My predominant strategy there would be to lead small on that river when there's a four liner. So betting like 30% pot. Um, and I'll do that probably in the neighborhood of about 65% of the time, okay? So how I determine whether I'm doing that for balance is I rolled and I rolled an 85, which is a check for me, right? So you wanna have a combination of spots where which basically what you're doing when you do that is you're essentially uh, orchestrating a range where like when I have a straight, okay, and I, ch I if, if I check, that means I can have a straight. If I bet small, that means I can have a straight. If I bet really big, it also means I can have a straight. So uh, that makes you more difficult to play against when no matter based on your action that you still maintain certain hands in your range. So for example, let's say, let's say extreme example. Let's say I'm a type of player who if I check the river, I never, ever, ever, ever have a straight. Right? Imagine I'm that player where I would always bet the straight. Right? This is why you don't think in absolutes in poker and you want to use mixed strategies. If I always, always, always bet the straight, and if I check, the other player knows for sure I do not have a straight. Never. Right? Because I don't, because I would bet if, if that's how I was playing. So what that player can do is he can take his bluffs and he can go bonkers with them. He could bet like four times the pot. And what am I? Some screw. I have to just freaking hope. Like I can't call ever because I never have the nuts. I never have, actually not even the nuts. I never have just the seven. Right? Queen Jack makes a straight, Jack Seven makes a straight. Hope that makes sense. I think it's a good illustration in terms of why mixing your strategy is important. Right? Because like in the old days when I played in the early two thousands and late nineties or whatever, there were so many spots where people like, okay, if he bets the turn, he has an overpair. If he checks the turn, he has ace king. Because he always checks the ace king and always bets the overpair. Well, how easy is that to fucking play? Right? How easy is that to play against, right? So like now, all right. Well, he checked. He has ace-king. I can go ahead and bet. Oh, he bet? I can fold because he has an overpair. I mean, if you play like that, you're just playing with your hands face up, right? And kind of pe like when the era when I was really crushing people, that they sort of did. Like they were like, this is the right play. Ace-king, you should check. Overpair, you should bet. But when you think like that, so with such finite, you know, lack of flexibility, then, you know, you're just easily read and players, your opponents can make perfect decisions against you. So as I said, in that spot, when the board comes a four liner, I would bet 30% pot the majority of the time, right? And then check sometimes. Jacks against the ace queen. Mm, big pot. Big pot for Felipe. Let me see, was that a three bet? Go back. This is one of the great things too about playing on GG Poker. Hand is over. Click on hand history. You can't see this right now, but I'm looking at a pop-up. So middle position, oh, under the gun raised, middle position, three bet. Using the big blind. Oh, he four bet, wow. Four bet, bet, call, check, 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 check. Yeah, reasonable. 
Although I think I would have preferred. No, it's fine. Obviously, mixed strategy. I think I prefer Felipe betting the jacks against that player. Okay, folding. Level three has commenced. <laughs> All right, so what do we have in our actual? So we have 91K. Start with 100. You know, slow going early on. Deep stack poker. I like it. I enjoy it. King, queen. We are going to go ahead and raise this one if we're first in. And probably, well, let's see. I'll play with Maka. All right, 2.5. Also, how I defend, you know, against raises or so, the, the hand choices uh, I select to call with, that heavily depends, too, on the player. I'm way more apt to play pots against players who I consider to be weaker or not as good and less likely to play pots against players who I think are going to make really good decisions. That's a basic concept that I figured out sort of on my own many years ago with my own race size. I was actually I was actually tailoring my race sizes against the big blind based on who was in the big blind. So against a really good player, I was upping my race sizes. And against weaker players, I was making it smaller because I wanted them to play, whereas I didn't want you know the Ted Forests of the world to play. All right, so that's a small three bet out of position. I don't love the hand or the situation. Let's see if I can put this in a four bet. Yeah, it's going to be a four bet. All right, I'm going to four bet this one to 21. 21 bigs. All right, so we block kings and queens with the king queen. We're obviously bluffing here, right? Um, period. We're just bluffing. We're turning this into a bluff. I rolled a good number. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it was a good number to do a four bet. Uh, all right, sweet. So we pick it up. Okay. So I, I expect Kelvin to be a pretty good player here. He's going to three bet me with a pretty, you know, correct range. So I need to have some four bet bluffs in there, right? King queen off is a pretty good one because it blocks ace queen. It blocks king queen. It blocks ace king and ace queen, which are going to play. It also blocks pocket kings and pocket queens. It doesn't block one key hand, which is aces, but if he has aces, such as life, right? All right, so far so good. What do we have? Do we have our 100K back? Yeah, we do. We have our starting stack now. All right, let's go. Long day ahead. I think, like I said, we have six hours of late reg in this bad boy. Okay. And... Uh, We've also got another event coming up in two hours. 2.30 start time for day two. So I'm actually not even 100% sure when he three bets to nine what the optimal uh, four betting size is. I don't know it, honestly. Like I, I'm going to do some more. And I, don't, I haven't done a lot of work on that spot, <laughs> if you will. But I think 21 is fine. It can be pretty small because you're pretty polarized there, right? For the most part, when you're four betting. So you don't have to make it super big. All right, so as you can see, we're talking poker. We're not going to be involved in the chat as much. Different day. We'll save the goofy chit-chat for a bunch of different stuff. Mm -hmm. ah, that's a good question. I'll answer that. Prabhu Bahas Sajeev says, why do you handle bad beats much better when you're playing live, but you get real mad online? Partly it's for fun, you know? Like I'm home. You're not in front of the person, Right? Like when you're around people and you know you're in an environment, you know you have fun with it. I still get pissed off when I play live too, whatever. But I don't know. That's kind of one of the benefits of playing online. Typically, you know, I'm not on stream, right? So I can be like, Aah! you know. And, but I guess with being on stream, people can see. All right. 
What do we got here? 5.4. Still, you see always all in up there at 68% of hands played. He's getting in there. Again, sample size matters, right? Uh, the more sam the larger the sample, the more you can start to make up, uh, you know, sort of ideas about what kind of player you're up against, right? You want to be careful not to jump to conclusions. But we're starting to feel like always all in is here to play, right? And partly that's because we've seen some of the lines that he's taken where he called a raise, he got three bet and four bet, and then he called anyway, right? Which is not normal, not, not, not typical. You don't see that very often. All right, that's a normal hand. Ace Jack, did he three bet that? Let's take a look. Let's take a look, see, at the last hand. Always all in, where is he? Doo, doo, doo. Oh no, he just flatted. Check bet. Check bet, check, check. Okay. So he did not three bet the ace jack, all right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ace three, let's see. Gonna flat this one. No, no, we're not. We're not calling a three bet. Six seven suited. That's a fun one. A hand like six seven suited, these types of hands. You know, when you're deep stack, 200, 300 big blinds, they're much better than when you're playing like 30 big blinds, 40. They're not that good in those spots. Let's see. Okay, so always all in flatting again. This could be a three bet again. I may three bet this one. Let's see. I will three bet this one. Oh, never mind. Hold on. No. Oh, even though he's been playing soup. Oh, what the hell? Wrong, different guy. Oh, three bet, 15% out of 19. That's interesting. Small, short stat line, but like... He's played 19% of the hands, 3-bet 15%, PFR 7, no attempts to steal, not exactly. So for the, those of you that want to take a deeper look at what these mean, AT, so VPIP is voluntarily put in pot, which means what percentage of hands the players played. PFR, preflop raise, how often they've raised. ATS represents attempts to steal, how often they've raised in the cutoff button or small line. 3-bet is when facing a raise, they decide to re-raise. So that's his stat line right here. What did I have? Six, seven suited. Save money. Wearing red, the Tiger Woods play today. Sunday, big Sunday, going for the gold. Hmm. King seven off. As I said, you know, I'm going to give these guys some respect and not open. That's wide, so if it was fold to me, I was going to fold even the king seven off. Now, king nine off, that's just going to always be a play. King eight probably right on the borderline. All right, we got another open from always all in. Another flat from mock. Okay, so again, early, and they might be watching, whatever. I'm just going to say they're, they're unlikely. Uh, those two players to be professional players. And I can tell that already based off of just 30 hands. Hmm. All right. Raise here from Mach on a 5 6 7 board. And based on the way he's playing, I mean, he did call a raise in the button with 8 4 suited. Could have that again. Okay, everybody, this is a big pot already. Raise, call, call. Hmm. Two bigs into 43. Oh, wow. Brick. <laughs> yeah. Makes uh, any hand with Nate make a straight. Backdoor diamonds. Now we got a lead from always all in. All right. Wow. Interesting. He didn't bet at all. Jack eight. Off suit. Wow. Eight, nine. Wow. He, <laughs> he flopped it. Look at these hands, though. My God. He opened with the Jack eight off. And he called with the Jack eight off. Okay. Let's just add some, some notes here. 
opener, jack eight off, EP. All right, loose call again. Raise MP eight nine zero. Okay. So then you see when you have note on players, you have this little notebook idea going on here, and then of course you scroll over their name. Now everybody can see it. What are you gonna do? That's one of the the, the well. I mean, I don't want to write them on a piece of paper. You know what I mean? But like, that's one of the the unfortunate things about when I'm streaming. Any notes I make, if my opponents are watching the stream. Like they know what notes I'm making. So I'm careful in terms of what I put in there now. I'm not gonna say what I'm going to do that player as a result. I'm just gonna write what they've done so that I know. Check out my own profile for a second, see what my numbers look like. I've got 104,000 in winnings on here, which isn't a lot compared to all these guys. So when you click on your own name, you can see a lot more stats as well. What you're allowed to do on GG, you're not allowed to use any third-party software whatsoever um, while playing or anything like that. But what you can do, though, is post-match, you know, you can download your hands into a tracker of sorts. All right, that's a huge raise. You can download into a track of sorts and then you can analyze your own play. I think Kevin Martin recently, who also streams on here on GGG Squad, he um, he went ahead and posted his graph recently that he accumulated. Go Felipe Tessao. So, sorry, eh? All right. This is a good table. You know, for a 10K, gotta like it. A decent position on, you know, the two. What's interesting is you've seen some of the hands that Mach is called with, but he's only played 23% of the hands. So, you know, what is he folding exactly? He's playing 8 9 off and 8 4 suited. Always all in. Down to just 40 big blinds. WTF, he says. <laughs> he missed the flush draw or something? No, tens. What happened here? Jack H is calling down. That, or is he betting it? What the hell happened here? Check, call, check, call. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna have to write a specific note. I'm gonna have to come up with a, a uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a color label. Let's go with blue we'll call you a blue <laughs> we're gonna we've marked always all in as blue okay he's blue we'll just leave it at that all right queen nine suited under the gun eight handed that's not a play rummy's felled on twitch listen i'm not going to be doing a lot of chatting today with the with the uh chat i want to want to focus on the hands so it's, po it's going to be a poker stream today for the most part we're not going to talk about any of the well, I mean, we, we, might, we might, but I'm not going to be answering questions and stuff like that all that much. Focused in today. Giving it 110. So we got an open call and then a three bet from Ramukulis. I think Ramukulis may be a professional. 540K in earnings. <coughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, you know what I'll do too? I'm gonna red, red.
red. All right, we're gonna use some colors. <laughs> the colors don't mean anything at all. Just gonna make him blue as well. Okay, blue and red. That's it. No, it's not Crips and Bloods. You know, we got the Bloods on one side. We got the Crips on the other. <laughs> I might as well use the labeling colors. I think they really help if you're multi-tabling, sort of identify player traits and whatnot. All right, we got an all-in from James Chan on a King Deuce Deuce. 52 bigs in there. How did this hand play exactly? Hmm. Must have been four bet and then jam, right? That's weird. That's just strange. Let me see. Okay, so we had raise, James re-raised, 23K, and jam for 70. Huh. I don't like that on a King Deuce Deuce. It's fine, but I think a smaller size probably made more sense on King Deuce Deuce. I mean, hmm. Weird. Weird. I'm not sure that there's a thing. Kings. All right. This is a hand we can play. Let's go always all in and mock. Let's see you guys get involved. All right. We're going to kick it up to... Oh, man, too much. Oops. I didn't realize they were down to 50 and 35. Oops. Probably supposed to make it 10.3, but I made it 12. That's all right. Always all in. Let's go. All right, he calls anyway, and there's the fucking... <laughs> there's an ace. I'm not folding. I don't give a shit. Not against him. Not right now. Just bet. Bet call off. I'm... Well, if you've got an ace, you've got an ace. All right, whatever. It sucks, right? Because we're up against the one player who we know could just have a whole heap of shit. All right, you got an ace or whatever, you win. All right, take it. Jack nine, okay. It's a club, that's good. Yep, safe. Safe at home, all right. So that helped, right? Doing, making a little notes, paying a little attention. Oh, wow, Felipe, King, Queen. Um, Pay the middle, you know, because, like, against the, you know, normal player, we'd have to really, really worry about that board. But because of what we've seen so far, what we did see from Always All In, he was, uh, you know, in gambling mode. And now he's been replaced by a two-time GG Masters champ in Alex Greenblatt. All right. Okay, so what do we got here now? Chips, we got 138. All right, so doing good. Start with 100, and we're up to 138, eh? Average is 100, 107 suited. This will be an open for 2.5 if it's folded to me. All right, I'll let you. I'll let you live. He's been opening rel pretty reasonably, as you can see. His attempts to steal is zero in thirty-seven hands. So we have played 27% of hands, which, frankly, at an eight-handed table is probably right around where we want to be. Maybe slightly on the high side, but again, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we've got a little fireball next to our number. That tells us that we're hot. As you can see, one uh, next to Mac as well. And then uh, Ramuculus has a cold sphere next to him, signifying that things have not been going well. <laughs> Hmm. Break cupping up, cup, break cupping up, break coming up in a couple minutes. 
I think we're going to make a sandwich. It's that time, a little afternoon. Afternoon sandwich. That's the plan, people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm happy with how things are going. As you can see, we're actually only behind one player in terms of the chip lead at the table. So only one player can knock us out, thanks to nice donation there from uh, Hallways All In. He was playing kind of crazy. So some of you guys have 25% if you were able to buy a piece when I put them up yesterday. And for those of that didn't and you have a piece of the other one, that one starts at 2.30 my time. So that's an hour and a half. And we will be two tabling, toggling between the two. I got a decent stack in that one as well. We're really near the, very close to the bubble. And I think I have like 47 big blinds, which doesn't sound like a ton, but deep in a tournament, 47 big blinds is... Uh, a decent stack. <laughs> Felipe doing work. And you can see in the top left corner. You can see my rank, I'm 40 out of 272 right now. Five million prize pool, I can open it up even bigger. You can see smallest stack is 22 bigs right now. Big Somebody has 336, ba ba bum. First prize already close to $1 million. And that number will continue to grow as the tournament progresses. We will have re-entries, we will have rebuys. We will have those entering for the very first time later in this event. You're looking at approximately six hours in total of late registration opportunity up to level 22. Doing my broadcast voice right now. Here we are it's looking at the super millions, $10,000 buy-in, and we're off to break. We will be right back after these short messages.
All right, just a heads up, people. I will not be all loosey-goosey, but I will be eating a sandwich. Not all loosey-goosey, though. Tight is right. Okay, let's make sure I get this command L thing right. Done. I haven't screwed up since that first time I did that. Hmm. So far, so good. King's held. Hmm. Can't ask for a better start than King's holding. Although we didn't start well, right? Ace King, Ace King went down a couple times. Thank you, Joke Bro. Ten dollars from Europe. On breaks, maybe I'll chat with you guys a little bit. Thank you, Joseph Arnold, for letting the people know that I won't be as engaged in the chat today. As I normally am. I do like a good sandwich. No, Dylan Klutz, I don't care what the top five stacks are. 250 big ones. It doesn't matter. I'm worried about mine. You know, there's 300 people left. Like, it doesn't have any bearing on my strategy or thought process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fold. Chat police says, is Viagra vegan? I hope so. Hmm. Right? It's still good. Mm. Enjoying my lunch with the people. Two eights against ace ten. How'd this happen? Chop. Oh, river straight. Mm. Queens. What? Raise 2K. Check, check. Check, check. Bet call. Okay. Well, we are going to three bet this. And again, because we're out of position, we're coming with the size. Thirteen point three for you there, Alex. Go ahead, do your thing. Okay. In position, if you made it two and a half, I'd probably make it nine. Out of position with the range of three bets. We're going up scope. We're not just making the raises smaller when we have it and bigger when we don't. Let's see, what is this Alex Greenblatt? How much chip? He's only played seven hands here, so too early to have some stats. We're starting to develop some. Decent stats on, look at that, 100% attempt to steal for Mac. Well, the only th the issue is we don't know how many attempts to steals he's had. Because early on, he had Mr. All-In guy taking up all those opportunities. All right, 
I don't know, people commenting on me playing tight. I don't think that's a thing. As you can see, <laughs> playing 24% of the hands of late. Pretty normal. Hmm. Well, I'm being careful. Not playing too loosey goosey while I'm eating a sandwich. Right? Super important. Wrong pipe. Hmm. I think I needed, I think I needed more mustard for that sandwich. Hmm. I'm a big fan of just lapping the mustard on there. Just pour it on. What side is he playing on? What side is he playing on? That side would be ggpoker.com. That's where we're playing right now. ggpoker.com. And for those of you in a jurisdiction that won't allow you to play on ggpoker.com, you now have options. And that option is clubgg.net. Go check it out, clubgg.net. Play for free with your friends. Take part in the subscription-based model, which is $49.99 a month. Have a chance to win $100,000 in prizes a month, plus seats to the World Series Booker Main Event and other live events in the future. Definitely worthwhile. You get to use this software, which is awesome. You can play on your phone. You know, the, the, the mobile software is like the nuts. Lines now. 600, 1200. Average stack is 105 bigs. Hmm. All right. Blind just went up. 88 is the average. Okay. We're sitting 51 of 278. So far, so good. Holding our own. Defense wins championships. We threw a couple. We threw one haymaker with the king-queen four bet. Other than that, been pretty defensive. We went for it for the two kings on that ace high board because fuck it, YOLO. And we were lucky our opponent just had a jack. A jack and some hope. Might be time for apple. I like apple. I don't like green apple. I think that's what we have. I don't, but whatever. I'm going to try. Let's see. One red apple, one red apple left. Let's go, red apple time, apple time, apple time. And for those of you who don't know, that is a um, Kawhi Leonard thing. We went to dinner with the guys at the game, you know, like their old fancy dinner, fancy restaurant. Everybody's ordering food and Kawhi brings out a big bag of apples. He starts cutting his apples and like, what are you doing? He's like, it's apple time, apple time. I like apples, apple time. <laughs> so now I say, apple time every time I have an apple. It's apple time. All right, let's go. 
we qualify, as Tony G would say, Ace clean. Don't mind if I do. All right. Decent flop for us, although small buying rate, calling range should be pretty strong. We rolled a check, so we're gonna follow along. We check here sometimes, we bet sometimes. This time we're gonna check. King, that's a good card for us, I think. Mm. Generally speaking. I think I have the best hand here a lot. All right. Hopefully he has ace-jack, ace-10, 10-jack, ten, 10-queen, ten 9-10 suited, jack-9 suited, something like that. No value here. There's no point in bluffing. We have a we have showdown value, so let's check and see if we win. Yep, we do. Okay. So we gave him a free ride to hit one of his six outs. We played within flow. We played within balance. And it worked out. If he bets the river, I was probably going to call. Hmm. We're attacking the apple. Thank you, Duguo. Duguo, 10 buck US coming in. Ronnie Snellman, big fan. <laughs> big fan, COVID 19's a hoax, he said. Okay. Well, I hope if you get it, you know, you just stay home with your hoax. <laughs> okay. 10 7, let's see what we roll. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Ace middling kicker against the Razor. We don't lead here on this flop. We just check. And this is just a check and call spot. You don't really have this hand in your check raising the flop range. It's just a check call. And now, in the turn, we mix bets and checks. This one's going to be a bet and it's going to be big. Mm hmm. Big size. When we define big, big, two-thirds pop. Small, under half, or half, and under. Over bet, over the pot. That's where we have our 135%, which comes in occasionally. What the fuck happened here? Hmm. Versus big. Hmm. All the rage from the small blind. Ace jacks in there, pocket jacks, pocket threes. I don't think he bluffs his hand in this way very often. Mm, fold. Okay. I think, I'm gonna put not sure if. I think a turn check raise there is pretty damn strong. Because a lot of the hands that, you know, we'd need him to have as bluffs are like flush draws, some gut shots or whatever. And a lot of those, he's going to bet himself on the turn. Not always, but sometimes. So then the question is, you know, what's left? What, what bluffs? And we have a bluff catcher. He's not raising us for value with worse than that, right? I think we'd add aces up too, you know, ace three, ace jack, whatever. Defense first. So that's what you do then. And that's why you try to construct what does his value range look like, right? Sets and aces up. That's it. Okay, which is a decent amount of hands. What's his bluff look like? Flush draws. All right, 
Let's go for two and a half. Just rando bluffs. I hope so. World Series. Felipe come on with the small three bet. Let's see what we're doing here. All right. Take it, Felipe. We missed. You win. Well done. I mean, look at Felipe's numbers right now. I'm just saying. It's pretty fucking tight right now. He's probably playing 20 games. Who knows what he's doing? But that's pretty tight stats right there. Right? He's only raised pre. Never called. Only play 11% of hands. Hmm. Felipe's not out there loosey-goosey in a sandwich right now. What goes in a vegan sandwich? A lot of people are asking about what sandwich I just had. You can make a lot. I had seitan yesterday, which is a something I made myself from scratch, which is like vital wheat gluten and chickpea flour. Um, today I had a pre-made uh, Eve's salami. It's not real salami. It's a faux salami. It's actually got pretty damn good macros in it. It's like very high in protein and low in everything else. So that with a uh, follow your heart mozzarella style cheese with some mustard, bread, easy peasy. Mm. All right. Okay, back to the action. Mock. Maybe Mock was targeting could have been targeting all in because like he's playing pretty normal since that player busted so it could be just a case of he was trying to get into pots against him specifically which makes some sense like I said earlier generally speaking when you uh, you know when you're deep especially you know you want to play more pots against players you feel to be weaker and less pots against the good ones I'm freezing right now I'm going to turn this up now Okay, nine deuce, I'm gonna fold that. Easy peasy. Okay, no problem. No sweat. All right, we are in for the long haul. On the next break, uh, we will do a coffee. Cafe. I use Tim Hortons Keurig pods. I love Tim Hortons. I think to Adam Schwartz, the guy who I do the podcast with, for those of you that haven't listened to it, check it out. That's Dat Poker Podcast. It's on my YouTube channel as well as you can get it on iTunes and stuff just by searching for DAT, D-A-T, Poker Podcast. Um, yeah, so he sent me a Canadian package, like of all sort of Canadian goodies from when I was a kid. And one of the things he sent was a dark roast Tim Hortons coffee. And I'm like, yes, I like it a lot. So now that's what I've been drinking pretty steady for a while now. And I use a, um, what's the thing I'm looking, talking about? It's, it's like a cotton candy creamer. It's, it's just like a, it's a limited time temporary one from those like nut pods. You ever heard of nut pods? Nut pods is like, they make, you know, non-dairy creamers. So those are yum. Why? I didn't even realize my phone has not been out once. Oh, there it is. All right, much better. It was freezing in here. Wasn't it? <laughs> Wasn't it cold? My nipples were just getting hard, right? Um, so after I get back to Vegas, first things first, I'm headed over to Brittany's house, Brittany Spears. Now that she's available for, you know, access to her money, she wants to play poker. So I'm going to give, uh, Brittany Spears some poker lessons and we're going to get her out on the tour and get Brittany 
grinding. We're going to start her out with some small games like 2-5, you know. New bankroll she's got now since the conservative ship is, looks like it's over, hopefully. So uh, we're going to get in there and we're going to start with basic concepts for Brittany. I'm going to show her, you know, all right, here's GTOX, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm kidding. I'm, that whole thing was just me being silly. <laughs> I'm not coaching Britney Spears. But I bet you some of you believed it, right? It was believable. I've been offered opportunities to coach celebrities in the past, like big time. I used to usually say no. Like Jim Carrey, for example, like reached out and wanted me to teach him how to play poker. And was willing to pay for it. And I was like, nah, we're good. You don't have to pay. Bruh. Fellow Canadian comedian. All right, so against the two. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, five bucks coming to the kids. All right, so here against this size. That should do the trick. Let's go to actually 10.4. 10.4 does the trick. We have to get it in now, unfortunately, because once we three bet, if he four bets, it's going to be 16 combos of ace king, right? Ace queen two, some. And if he's balanced, which a lot of these kids today would be. Okay, we're going to generate here. All right, that's going to be a bet. And it's going to be a bet. So we block jack 10 of diamonds, which is important. All right. I'm going to go 40% on this board. Okay. We block jack 10 of diamonds, which is kind of important because that's one of the hands that he could open and call a three bet with. Um, he could have aces here too, by the way. Like kings and queens, unlikely, but aces. Very realistic. Okay, let's generate here against my man. All right, we're betting again. This time we're going with two-thirds pot. Yeah, we're going to go two-thirds pot in this spot. Boom. This is a key pot. Starting starting to have some All right, against a good player. If he jams on his hero, we have real problems. I don't think he's going to do that with nines, eights, sevens. So what? I mean, he could have turned clubs, right? Like ace-king, ace-queen of clubs. And not a, not a lot. I mean, yeah, those are the only bluffs. Like... Shit, fucking, there's the club. All right, we got problems, big problems here with these jacks. All right, let's see. All right, it says bet. It says bet. So we are going to bet. All right, if we get raised, I think we fucking fold. This is insane. It's insane to bet fold this. Oh, Jesus, don't do it. Just call. He's got queens. I think we're dead. Well, the longer he takes, the better, right? I actually... <laughs> I don't know if I want him to fold. No, I guess I want him to call it worse. Okay, phew. That was a very scary spot, right? That was a scary spot there. A lot could have gone wrong, right? Now we're doing good. We've got, what, 186. Very nice. We're sitting 25 of 285. Right? So we got King Jack. Let's generate a random number. 77. Okay. Against him, I think I'm just, I can flat. Against him, playing a lot of pots. We'll just call, see a flop. Oh, never mind. Now we've got a fold. I will tell Amanda you said hi, the real Abby. I'm not, no, never mind. We've got to see what happened in this hand. If raised, three bet, he called. So interesting to think about what my opponent had that hand when he called flop, called turn, and folded the river, the club king. Was it just ace king? Was it just ace king? Could he have folded a better hand? I don't think so. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're doing good. I'm very happy with the start. Uh, this is going to be a big tournament. Lots of rebuys. Long time to do it. There's still, I mean, we started it. We got 274 minutes left of re entry. 274 minutes. The prize pool right now is. Well, let's see how many players we have so far. 
All right, so we've had 312 entries so far. That's 300K. So the overlay right now, 1.9 or almost $2 million. But not to worry, this is going to blow away the 5 million mark. Essentially, for 5 million, we need 500 something players. There will be well more with that. I think we're going to, we'll probably hit 700, I would say. You got to assume most of these guys are firing multiple bullets. And since there's so much available in the late stage, and a lot of people, will, some people will actually do this, where they'll absolutely skip the first six hours, min buy in for the 22 bigs at the very end for 10K and play a short stack and be close to the money. And, uh, you know, if you know what you're doing in that spot, that can be profitable as well. I like to show up right on time, maximize my opportunity to build a stack. I feel really good about my deep stack play, even against the high roller tournament players. I think, you know, probably like the actual cash game players that are the top of the world would be better at deep stacking tournaments than the tournament players because, you know, they just understand the theory a lot better on playing 100 plus big blinds. Whereas I think most tournament players focus on, rightfully so, spots where, you know, you're sitting on 30 bigs, 40 bigs. So, so far, so good. <clears throat> nice, beautiful 133 big blind stack. Chip leader right now is 280, 280 big blinds. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, and we've got in an hour, an hour, in one hour, we have the restart of day two of the 1K double stack event that phased every single day this week and comes to the final conclusion later today as we play to a winner. We'll be right on the bubble when that resumes. Like it. Oh, no. Gonna like it, like it, like it. Hey, <laughs> you guys bought my Britney joke up. <laughs> Hit me, baby, one more time. Hustling Britney. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. <laughs> Put that music in the background. You don't hear the music? That is the music. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I will train Britney Spears. I mean, it's not the question, right? I do, I've met Christina Aguilera, who had a show here in Vegas. She's also met her through Masterclass because she's also done a Masterclass at masterclass.com. If you haven't taken the Masterclass, go ahead and do that at masterclass.com. You buy yourself a pass. You have access to all the coolest um, masters of their craft, teaching you freaking cooking from Wolfgang Puck. You've got tennis from Serena Williams. Steph Curry will teach you how to shoot, you know? You got freaking uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He might teach you how to act. Usher, teach you how to dance. Do his thing. Do, do, do. I mean, they're talking about like high-end people. You want to learn chess? Kasparov, he has one there too. That's actually how I, the first chess course I took was Masterclass because I wanted to learn sort of the process for how Masterclass works and get a sense. So I'm like, all right, let me watch this one first and then understand, have a deeper understanding in terms of how to create my poker um, class. And I was very, very happy with it. We put a lot of work into it. And those, and the feedback has been, unbelievably positive to it so if you haven't checked it out check out the master class maybe use it as a gift for dad or whatever i think i heard whistling oh yeah that's my wife she's so fucking weird i swear like she does this thing right that's her it was her she always does this thing to try to make me like she's like and then i'll be like what was that she does it at night sometimes too right when i'm like this i'm like Looking in the back. Huh? Why do you do that to me? I get scared. You like scaring me. What if I, now if I scare you, you get pissed. All right, I'm going to let me take this one. Huh? You get pissed. Like if I scare her. Huh? She gets mad. She's like, fuck. Like, in, and sometimes it's not even my fault. Like I just walked into the room and I didn't know she was in, and she comes out. She's frick, She's like, God damn it. Like that. What did I do? I mean, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm coming to the bathroom. I didn't know you were in here. Right? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, I'm still in the first uh, 
bullet here. One, th- I'm 20, 30 out of 281 in the 10K. Six hours of late reg, my dear. And then the second event starts in about one hour. So we will be two tabling right here from Cabo San Lucas. Stay tuned. You should jump in. When was the last time you don't, you get scared to play poker now? You're just bored. You get bored. Okay. Yeah, we should get you in those battle royales. They're fun. I'm telling you, you'd like them. You want to play the 10K? I mean, you guys want to, I'll put a package out. That, I bet you people would buy pieces of you. It would probably not be ideal. But you can do that in the client. You could just sell. She could sell like 1.8 markup. Yeah, she knows stuff. She used to play poker, like when we first met years ago. Right? And then now she just fucks off. No, she doesn't fuck off. You know what she's doing? She's kicking ass, getting her degree in psychology. Because she's got big plans. And I'm very supportive of those plans. She's going to kick ass. That's what she wants to do. Now, can I tell them what you're going to do? Yeah. So here's what she's going to do. She's going to help people because once she gets her degree and her PhD and the whole deal, then she's going to be able to help because there's a whole bunch of people, especially specifically homeless that, you know, suffer from various mental illness that they don't get no care. You know what I mean? And they need that too. So she's going to do that once we get it all set up. So I'm very proud of her. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. Who cares? Well, I mean, she's not going to charge people hundred bucks to come see her or whatever. I get it. If that's your living and you need the money, as a therapist, you have to do that. But we can't. We, we're, the whole goal here is to help the homeless predominantly, but obviously low income, anybody who needs the help, right? Huh? What are you feeling, honey? Hmm. I'm trying to think what, what I could suggest for her. Want me to make you some pancakes? Panned? Pancake. Are you saying panned? Okay. Panned? Are you saying panned? So the M is the N is silent, like calm. There's a D on the end, but the M, but yeah, there's a D on the end, but the N is N is silent. Panned? So your name is Panned? You guys don't know what I'm talking about, you Step Brothers? Pan you're saying pan or are you saying panned? <laughs> Pam. So the M is silent, like <laughs> it's pan, It's like calm. Where the L is silent. <laughs> Funny movie. She loves Step Brothers. She knows every freaking quote from that movie. Like I tried, I tried to test her. Was, it, it was on. Yeah, but that one specifically. I was watching it randomly because it was on the other day, and I said something to her, and she knew like the next line right away. She's just good. One of those movie line people. She's she's one of the movie line people who knows, and she'll get mad if I don't remember fucking lines. I'm like, I don't know. I don't. What are you talking about? You don't remember? Sorry. You don't smell it? You don't hear it? You don't smell it? You don't... She does that to me, too. She'll be like, smell this, smell this. And we'll be like, I don't smell anything. She's like, what? The f- what do you mean you don't smell anything? Or it's like, did you hear that? I'm like, no, I didn't hear anything. What do you mean you didn't hear anything? I didn't, I didn't hear anything. I'm sorry. What, what can I tell you? I don't know. <laughs> huh? My sensory? She says, I can't smell. I can't see. I can't can't hear. Feel stuff. She's like, feel this, feel this. I'm like, I don't feel anything. What do you mean you don't feel anything? <laughs> no, I'm not lying. That one was a joke. I was being silly about that one. The mosquito bite on her chest. She's like, do you feel that? Yeah, I was being silly with that one. Pair of fours, rays, babe. Huh? Well, just shake it up real good. You can do it. I want me to shake it for you. I'll shake that shit. I'm telling you, it's the shake. The shake makes a difference. Like a real fucking shake. Okay, we got a couple of fours. All right, heads up against the small blind. Let's see here. I'm going to be checking this one. Sometimes we bet here, and sometimes we check. The small blind range, calling range, should be pretty strong and smash this board too, so kind of like the check now ace on the turn so now we're basically at the bottom of our range right because there's not a lot of hands we'd open with that are worse than this one that gets this turn so the question is are we going to bet twice uh, dun, 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 dun. i think so i'm gonna bluff this one boom 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 we are gonna bluff this one against alex greenblatt check back the flop very credible if he has an ace we're in trouble if he has like a 10 if he has a queen 
He's not going to like this card, so he may call turn and fold river if he has like queen, jack, king, queen. So opportunity here to bet quite large on the river. We want half pot here. Okay, we didn't need to, but we already see what we're doing here when playing. You're already thinking about what's next. I'm not just betting and going, oh, he called. <laughs> okay, what do I do now? You're betting with a plan, right? I wasn't throwing that out there with the intention of just being like, all right, I hope you fold now. My uh, ancestors are not Italian, they're Romanian. But anyway, yeah, so you understand that. Thank you, John Aguilar. Not answering questions right now, but an RNG, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long answer. But an RNG helps to randomize your, your, your stuff. So let's say, for example, you're in a spot where you want to call 50% of the time. All right, well, you flip a coin, random number, whatever. It's one way to do it. Do, 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 do. What'd you make? Cereal? Some Apple Jacks? Hey, that's fun. How's the, how's the milk? Did you shake it like a bitch? I did. And it was better? Uh, toothpaste. toothpaste? Oh, because you just brushed your teeth. She brushes her teeth 45 times a day. Approximately. Give or take. She doesn't like gross mouth. I fucked with people and I told them that I was going to be coaching Britney Spears when we go back to Vegas on poker. And they bought it. Just being silly. And they bought it. Because now that our conservative ship thing looks like it's going to be over. Right? Well, isn't her conservatorship thing like done now? The, the father finally stepped down or whatever? Huh? Oh. He's off. Well, that's big. Free Britney! <laughs> Britney looking crazy on her Instagram videos, right, babe? She does look a little fucked up. I mean, like her Instagram videos. Look, I'll show you. Just If you haven't seen what she does, she just dances, right? Like, I don't know if they've seen it. This is a poker crew. Britney. Is that Britney? What the hell? Different Britney? I'm not making fun of it. Just her dancing is funny. Britney, is she not on Instagram? Yeah. God, I can't find her. Britney, oh, I spelled her name wrong. That's probably why. Britney Spears, that's her. Okay, so this is what she does all day. Oh, damn, music, I can't. I'll get uh, copyright infringement. Yeah, she just like dances all day. She's bored, man. Trapped in her house, just right. Just bo bored, so no, but she's she seems bored. Like she's just dancing. Well, she maybe she loves it. She just loves to dance, 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 dance. Okay. I forgot to do this. Your story ad. Forgot. Sent me a post. You should get vaccinated. Yes, of course, you can still get COVID-19 even if you're vaccinated. The same way you can still get pregnant if you use birth control, and the same way you can still die from a car accident if you use a seatbelt. But that doesn't mean you're not going to use the birth control or the seatbelt. The vaccine is not a cure, motherfuckers. It is a layer of protection, up to 95%. 95% is not 100%. They've been telling you this since day one. You can still get COVID-19 even if you're vaccinated. We didn't kill the virus. It's still very much there. But the vaccine helps protect you from developing severe symptoms from the virus so you don't die. It also <laughs> reduces the risk of you spreading the virus so other people don't die. Did you think about that? Of course not, you selfish <laughs> fuck. There are people around the world who would give up their left nut for a vaccine shot. And you're worried that it's some government scheme to microchip and track you? They're tracking you through your phones, motherfuckers. Get <laughs> your vaccine shots. Tips from the ER. He's guy is a doctor. That's a doctor in the ER. <laughs> Being silly. Oh boy, I've ruined the chat now. I don't give a shit. I'm not reading it anyway. Alright, so what do we do here? We three bet with the Queen Jack suited. Okay, that's actually not a terrible flop. We're gonna bet this one too. We block Jack Ten of Spades and Queen Ten of Spades. Both kind of important. Um on this flop, 
I'm going to go ahead and fire 40% of pot. 40% of 40%. I'm going to have to bet this one all the way down probably. And We don't have a club, which is not ideal for like multi-street bluffs if a club comes, whatever. But panda cake. Oh, shit. We got check raised. Bravo. Well done, Alex Greenblatt. Very nice. You can be doing this with a decent amount of hands. But we don't have anything, so we got caught. Hand in the cookie jar with the queen jack of spades, and we would have flopped. We would have made nothing. All right, so we bluffed. Sometimes we bluff. Sometimes we bluff, and that was a decent spot to do it. Decent candidate. You can flat with the queen jack of spades. You can three bet. You can't fold it. That's nuts. Step brothers. Don't touch my drum set. Now everybody's coming. I'm Derek, and I can sing high like this. Right? He's like, you have the voice of an angel. <laughs> you sound like Fergie and Jesus, he said. <laughs> you have the voice of an angel. Poppy Ross, thanks for the $50 US coming in for the kitties. Read someone until they go full tilt. I don't know that I can just do that online. Rocksteady say, oh, yo, Daniel, how things them star? Bless up from Kingston. What, I'm brother, man? I've been see you for a long time. You know, the chat right there, so. Rocksteady crew. Ah, oh, my brethren, them back on yard say, what's what, boy? What? Come on, for real. Boop, boop. No, it doesn't, Marie McKinney, because it's not aiding in anything. It's just flipping a coin. You could flip a coin. You're allowed to do that. Aiden making decisions. Like, it doesn't do that. You know? Do, do, do. People do that live as well now. You know? Use a clock, use your watch. Okay, so we got 105 big. Our boy Alex Greenblatt check raise us on a 10 8 6 board with two clubs. If he check if he had a big hand, he messed up probably because as it turned out, not not just as a result, uh, I was probably going to bomb that hand all three streets for heaps. Although when the club came, probably not. Cause I didn't have a club. Why would having a club matter in that spot, right? Because against bomb bomb bomb, one of the big hands that he could have is a flush draw that makes a flush, right? If we have one of the clubs that chops off oh, like nine of the combos, basically. So it goes from like 45 potential combinations of flushes to like 36. So that leaves his, that makes him more likely to fold if we have a club because it's more likely he doesn't have a flush. Right, honey? What? Yeah. She said, what? Ooh, as a husband of someone who works in dentistry, it's bad to overbrush your teeth. You can take all protective enamel off the teeth. I knew that was coming. You did? She knows that. She knows that, man. Ace jack of clubs. Ace jack suited. Okay, this is going to be a, just a defend here, I think. Hold on, let's see. What do we roll? What do we roll? Yeah, we rolled a call. Okay, call even with the squeeze opportunity. The raise is coming from under the gun. Alex, as we see, has played a lot of pots, 40%. After 40 hands, he's getting it in there. Small sample, of course. Felipe is just chilling. All right, that is a flop we might get in. I have ace jack of clubs, honey. The flop is king, queen, eight with two clubs. So we do it, right? We gonna do it. You know, baby, this flop, baby, 
we we gonna catch a ten. Right? This is a bet, no matter what. All right, let's bet. Forty percent of the pot on this flop with Ace Jack Club. We're betting if they raise us, we we go in, baby. We go in. Okay, fold, fold. Everybody's gonna fold now. Come on, bro. Ay, Danielito. I'm gonna say, come on. Come on, buddy. All right. Now the, the dilemma is to bet the draw or check. I think I'm going. I think he has a, a queen a decent amount here. Uh, do I want to double barrel this with the clubs and the jack in my hand? I'm going to actually check this time and miss. Fuck, we missed, babe. And now he bet one big blind. What a weirdo. That's so annoying. We can't fold for fucking... What if this is such a stupid hand? He bets one into 20. Fucking ace jack high. He's a queen or an eight. I guess I would have won if I bet turn. Stupid. All right, here's your one chip. He made a straight. Oh my God. He had six, seven of clubs and he made a fucking straight. If he would have cut, cut, cut a club, unreal. King, queen, eight. He made a eight high straight. And I had ace jack of clubs in that spot. Holy shit. He bet one chip. He was hoping I raised him. Ha! Ah, nah, buddy. What a goofy hand. So that was pretty sick. If a club came, we would have heaps, y'all. Still doing good. 156K. 65 out of 300. But man, that was an opportunity right there, right? Now, if we bet turn, he wasn't folding because he had a gut shot and a flush draw. So we would have lost more money. And then actually, we would have really sailed off. If we bet turn, he calls. Then the river is a blank. He checks, I'm going to have to bomb now with my hand maybe and uh, a lot of the time. And then he's just going to sit there with the nuts and go, ha ha. Wow. Wow. Wawa Weewa, huh? This average is 74 bigs. We're sitting above that. You want to turn on that coffee maker for me, babe? Sure. Thanks. Huh? No, I have 100 big blinds. I'm still 66 out of 300. I'm above. I know, it was just annoying. He literally bet one. One big blind on the river into 20. Yeah, you should get some authentic Mexican food, babe. 100%. Look it up. Get, get some. Uber Eats, Cabo Eats it. Maybe... Oh my God, that'd be the best. If brushing her teeth was the worst habit she had. Oh, that'd be great. Don't tell anyone I have mm. So Balan Strange says, Jamaican Dean Eggs is awesome. If anyone else does otherwise, they're just hating. Enough tongues, my brethren, them. Because what's Bonner is a lot of them people, right? So we speak pure pot while with the wise women's like you. We sort of like, right, different kind of reggae song on thing, right? It's all about respect. You know, people talk about cultural appropriation, but it's really just appreciation because me appreciate the culture. Me appreciate the food and the people and the music and the vibe and the brethrenship, seeing? About now in this world, you know, you know what I'm saying. Tell Amanda, I said, yo, sup. Did you guys see the pictures I posted of her yesterday? I knew it. Well, I didn't show them yet. Well, I'm going to just show them because I haven't seen it. That's great. I love it. This was her. How do you like that hair? And she's afraid to come on now, but I posted that already. Look. <laughs> That's her in the morning. <laughs> she's having a hair day. Greetings from Finland. Yako Koku. 
I could have seen that name and know that was freaking Finnish. J A A K K O K O U K K U K K U K K U K K U H H H H H H J J J K K U K K U K K U Saludas de esos España. Where am I going with this? All right, feeling the vibe. Feel the body. Feel the vibe. So, in this spot, when I'm playing one table, especially if it, I, you know, I can just click the check fold button right away. The reason I don't do that is because if it folds or all the way around, right, and d777 like limps, then I get a free flop. But what would happen is, because I've got check fold on, it'll go check instantly. So what that does is it lets d777 know that in this spot that I had a folding hand, right? And that's kind of worth something, right? Because if I just think of it and check, I could still have like queen 10, you know, jack 9, all these kind of hands. But when I go fold what I was going to fold automatically, he knows that it's rubbish, Oh, sorry, Ryan Braun. <laughs> Ryan Braun, you're killing us mods. I didn't mean to. Oh, because I played the video. Yeah, oops. Whatever. Yeah. Send a man into my house to make a bowl of apple jacks. No. All right, what are we doing here? Who's this new guy? Mr. Mediak to you. Mr. Mediak to you. He's got 25K in earnings. So we're how many hands we played now? 81. Look at that. James Chen really not three betting much of anything. 3%, quite low. Felipe, just not even here. He's just fucking playing 20 different tournaments or something. He's playing soup. Super tight. Super tight. We're getting really bad cards. All right, we got hmm. no three bets from Mac, not one. Alex Greenblatt, not a three bet either. He hasn't had an opportunity to, I would imagine. Nine percent there. Yeah. Yuppers. Okay, eight, nine of spades. Bravo. Up against Felipe, let's see. Let's generate. Okay, I have a limp. Most of the time you're gonna limp here. Your entire range in the small blind. Eight, nine suited, and I can comfortably limp and call a raise. And on this flop, let's see, let's generate. I'm gonna check. Check and call here, actually, because we have some backdoor stuff and we have an opportunity to check call, bluff this hand on the river. So against half pot, seems like we're supposed to fold here, but I'm going to call, hope for a good turn card. And if not, if the turn goes check, check, Felipe is going to be faced with a bluff bet. This is a good card for me, actually, with the ace. For him to bet here, uh, value range would be two pair a lot, like do six, king deuce, king six. Okay, there's a three of diamonds. So now this is the perfect opportunity for us to bluff this river. We have absolutely the bottom of our range. He's going to look at that card and be like, what does he beat, right? So let's say he has just a deuce or a six. He beats nothing. King, he might just call us with, fine. But if he folds everything else, you know, we don't have a diamond, which would be nice to have. But, uh, yeah. This, we had a plan here. Check call. If it goes check, check, turn, bluff river. So we're sticking with that plan. Seems like a good spot to do it. He can't beat 4-5 now, which peels, which I could have to peel the flop. He can't beat any two pair, probably. He can't beat an ace, probably. He just has a king. All right, he folded. Okay, sweet. I'm not going to show him, because, he's, but he's streaming. So don't tell him, people. <laughs> All right, break time, honey. Break time. Coffee time, coffee time, apple time. My wife thinks I'm weird. She's right. 
what, how weird I am? You're just like, whatever, he's nuts. Hey, good news. I remember. 
remembered our wedding anniversary date. I remembered. You got the fucking year wrong. The year? What do you mean the year? Oh, the year we got married? I mean, whatever. Huh? 2019? I don't know. Time flies. Doesn't it? <laughs> Someone said, I posted a picture of you and they're like, is that Brittany? <laughs> hmm. Someone said, is that Rod Stewart? Yes. <laughs> was that D. Snyder? <laughs> Isn't it great that I can take a fucking joke? I love that you can take a joke. If you couldn't take a joke, that would be exhausting. I'm offended. I'm, my feelings were hurt. I feel as though I haven't been referenced in the right way. And all the, you know, sexism against me and my, my, gen, my non-gender binary no, way of being. No, Nobody respects it. He called me a she and I really wanted to be called a they. Why well, I did it already. I don't know. What's going to happen? What, I, whatever. We'll go the Louis C.K. route. Yeah, you just own it. He's like, yeah. So I jerked off in front of a girl. And here's some tips. Hmm. When you do it, make sure you ask. And if she says okay, say, are you sure? And then don't. And then don't. <laughs> just don't do it. Just don't do it, man. Just don't do it. <laughs> Let's freaking go. All right. So in 30 minutes, I'm getting, I already, I have one sip of coffee and I'm already hyped. Let's go. King Queen on the button. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. You like King Queen? What's your favorite hand, honey? Yeah. Someone says, "Do you th do you not think imitating alt other cultures' accents is a form of racism?" The answer is absolutely not. Fucking no. Absolutely no. I do not. Right? Because what the fuck are you trying to say here, bro? Right. If you're going to imitate somebody, right? Somebody who speaks a certain way, you're imitating them. The person, right? So if I'm imitating Bob Marley, if I do it without the accent, it's not a very good imitation now, is it? Right? Is it saying anything about the race that's negative or there's inferiority or superior? No, it's just an imitation. It's a joke. It's fun. It's funny. Don't take yourself so seriously. If you were mocking the person and making fun of them, right? That's different. But if you're just speaking the language because you have an appreciation for the culture, that's not racist at all. You got to re-freaking design your view of what that whole... Exactly, right? So I do Indian all the time because people in the chat like always say, can you do Indian again? Do Indian again. They're Indian. <laughs> They're people from India asking me to do an Indian accent. So what do I do? Sometime I do it for them, okay? Because not always can do the whole show always doing Indian accent. But when they are asking me to say, do it in Indian voice, I do it. But I'm not trying to make fun or mock the player or the person. It's just the way they talk. So it's not a problem. It's a joke. Take a joke. Learn to take a joke. And you will be okay. Jew. I went Spanish there. Yeah. One of the best. Hmm. I think that's been one of the biggest misses. Like just a complete miss. When discussing like, you know, actual systematic racism and major fucking issues that we have across this entire world. And you want to, and people want to focus on braids, you know, or uh, whether or not white people can sell tacos or, right? Or Bruno Mars is allowed to sing the music that he does because it's influenced by black people. Stay in your lane. The guy's freaking Filipino. He's a Filipino Jew from Hawaii. Like, what's his lane, bro? You know, Puerto Rican Filipino Jew from Hawaii. I don't know. Like, what's his lane? He doesn't have a lane. He's making his own lane. But yeah, like, absolutely no way. has nothing to do with race whatsoever. You're just imitating a language, an accent. Like, how is it racist when you say, do a, uh, a Danish accent, right? They're white people, what, 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 what race? It's not about a race, it's a culture and a language. It's not even a race. Dutch is not a race, right? Hmm. French is not a race. Russian is not a race. But if you do the accents, that isn't racist. It isn't. It's not a race, bro. It ain't a race, bro. It ain't a race, bro. Okay, moving on. They, I'm going to move on, but they're not. You know what I mean? But absolutely not. If I thought, if in any way, shape, or form that I was contributing to racism or the, you know, oppression of people by doing an accent, I wouldn't do it. 
but I've thought about it plenty. I've talked to people about this, and I don't think so at all. I enjoy doing them. I got a knack for them, so I do them. Period. Russell Peters, who's a friend of mine, by the way, comedian. He does accents all the time, right? All the time in his shows. I guess he's allowed, though, because he's brown or something like that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Whatever. On what? Yeah, he's great. He's, you know, he owns it. He's funny. He does Vietnamese. He does Indian. He does all kinds. The best way to bond is to, like, different cultures and different people is to just sort of, like, have fun with each other and comedy. Use comedy. That's my, my view. Laugh about our differences. Like, if you saw, oh, my God, babe, if people saw me and Phil Ivey on the golf course, we would be so canceled, both of us. Like, not just me. Him, too. You know, with all the cracker ass cracker jokes. Right? <laughs> cracker ass cracker. Cracker ass cracker! <laughs> cracker ass cracker! I got a nickname for him too. Can't say it though. Not publicly. He, he, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll get in trouble for that one. All right. Now people are laughing. <laughs> what site do I recommend for players in the USA? I recommend trying out clubgg.net. Let's see what are the blind situations looking like. We're going to 2.4 now. Some stacks getting a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, try clubgg.net. Check it out for free with your friends. Try it out. Try the software. You'll get to use this software. And then if you feel like it, you spend $49.99 a month, and you get to take part in the $100,000 in giveaways and seats that are given away. Let's see, let me generate. I'm going to check this one. So sometimes we bet here, sometimes we check. This check is going to end up being a check and call. So that queen on the turn, that means we have the best hand. Four, and we're going to bet it this time. 40% pot with the nines. He may check back a queen, but again, you know, when now they're, with two queens being out, the, the number of combinations of queens that he can have has just been chopped in half, right? Because... All right, that's a good card. Hmm. Let's see. 92. I, have, I rolled a check. What are the odds of that? I rolled a check. Uh, I'm going to do it then. I rolled it. I should bet here, but I'm going to check and just call a bet. Hopefully he bluffs. Like, say he has some sort of flush draw that he's missed. We do have the Nine of Hearts, which blocks some of that. But we really want to see him... Bet size, like two-thirds pot, three-quarters pot. See, if he puts me on a hand like ace high. Okay, so he's betting small. Could I raise this hand? Is this too weak? I think it's too weak to raise. It's just a little too thin, like targeting eights and sevens. But he could have a queen, tens, possibly jacks. So I'm just going to take what's there. If he's bluffing, I don't get called. He had sixes. Okay. Sweet. So I did have a hand I could target. So that would have worked out a little better, obviously, if I bet bigger. Maybe he folds, though. Who knows? I'll take it. Back to 92 bigs. See? Srijan Batra said... Haha, ha, amazing Indian imitation. We love it. We love it. Remember when we met those guys in, in, in Bahamas? What? Remember when we met those Indian people in Bahamas? Super fun. Oh, we were losing and you loved them. Yeah, we hung out. We don't usually just meet random people, whatever. Like, we were on the beach in Bahamas during that PCA thing. We just met a, like, nice couple from India just hanging out. We just ended up going to the comedy club. And I, I still got his number now. Fun guys. Fun people. Him and his wife. They just got married. They are on their vacation. But it's funny how people will say something is racist when it doesn't even refer to a race, right? French, French is not a race. If you do French, if you do a French accent, that's not a race. It's not a race. It's a culture. So like, oh, it's racist. How's it racist? It's not, it's not even a race, you dummies. Learn English, bruh. Bruh. We got the end of our music rope. We need to... 
All right, we got raise and re-raise. We can fold now. Is it none? Oh, no, we're back. All right, we're sitting 47 out of whatever. The average stack is 64 bigs. We have 91. Getting close, 20 minutes away. All right, honey. Have a great day. <laughs> what? Nothing. Didn't hear you. you were mumbling. Oh, okay. Do I like South Park? Sure. I do. Yeah, Russell, P Russell Peters imitates a lot of people. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to get back to the game because the chat's going to get stupid, so. I'm going to say not sure if. Not sure if. True. Am I from Israel? No, I'm not from Israel, but I know many people from Israel. What? Mapiton? No. I need a bear read. Because uh, when I was young, my... Oh, never mind. Done. Off track. Pew. Why is it only eight per table? Because eight is better than nine. Period. What is PFR, says CJ Snyman. PFR stands for pre-flop raise. So that shows the percentage of hands when given the opportunity this player raised before the flop. So 16% for Rumuklus. Ha ha. Ace-queen suited. Let's go. LFG, as they say. Ace Queen suited. All right, D77, we would put him in. Privet, Pablito, or off suited. Pavlo Vesclar, we got a new player at the table. What are we doing here? We're doing 2.4. In the cutoff, Pavlo Vesclar is 825,000 in winnings. Wa wa wee wa. Mm hmm. Not a terrible flop against the big blind. Let's see here. I'm going to check this one back. I'm going to check this one back. Definitely going to call a turn bet. Um, and I don't think I'm going to actually bet. Let's see. Am I going to actually bet this turn card? If I bet the turn, I have to bet the river as well. I'm going to check this one again. We have some showdown value, right? He can call here with like king four suited, worse ace highs. Yeah, so because I have showdown value, that's not a typically a hand that you turn into a bluff because it can win just by checking. And it did. There you go. Seven four. Okay. Nice. Easy peasy. He did not stab at it. If he bet the turn, well, he completely whiffed, right? <laughs> So we have, what are we at now? Players. Total of 374. Still a $1.3 million overlay, but we'll crush the overlay. It's not happening. Hmm. This is going to go late, man. Late night tourney, eh? It'll start getting dark up in here. Oh. How do you roll RNG when playing live? Lots of ways. You can look at your watch. You can use the chips, the actual chips. You know, they have a number on them. You can like see which way they go. You can look at the tournament clock. 
Can I do Filipino? Of course. I raised before the flop to 2500. The guy called 55 with pocket 5. The flop is king 5 dos. I bet 5000. The guy called 5000, raised 25,000 more. Turn is king. The guy got pocket 5, I got pocket king. Poor king again, pocket 5. Pocket 5, no good. Hey, <laughs> straight out of the Philippines. Pocket 5. Pocket 5. Pocket 5. 5. Pocket, pocket 5. Daniel, please stop slurping your coffee. Can't do it. Like it. Tastes good when you slurp it. Gotta slurp the coffee. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Okay, now let's check out... Where's the lobby? Let's go to the main lobby, eh? Check out the lobby. And then we gotta check out this double stack. Put the, Pop that up. That starts in 13 minutes. Day two of the 1K. Da, da, da. 972 players right now, it says. Pays 600 spots. So pretty close to the money already. And we have a good stack. Yeah, the average 30 bigs. I think we have 47. And this bad boy coming up. And we will allow y'all to sweat both. Right? You'll be able to sweat both of them. Hmm. Sorry I did a slurp there. <laughs> ASMR. Slurpity slurp. Coffee, coffee. Okay. 6-4 off suit. That we can fold. Felipe getting involved. Felipe. Look at those numbers, bro. Felipe's on nit freaking alert right now. Nitty nitty. Nitty nitty Felipe. After a hundred hands. So that's a thing, right? Mock over here. Not more betting. Let's see, what did he three bet? Five percent. Don't have any hands on him. Three bit number is reasonable. Three bit. Not one single attempt to steal for D seven 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 seven. James Chen doing over here. He's definitely on the steal. So, we got about 100 hands in, and that starts to become relevant. You know, a lot of you guys ask, when does it matter? The more hands you have, the more you can start to rely on the numbers. What does the number above my name mean? Well, that number, what, this number, I don't know. Okay, queen seven suited. I'm excited to do the two table thing. We'll have to get all set up. I have to do my tech, tech face, my technology face, you know, to flip and flop and flip. Let me see, F5, F6, F5, F6, ha ha, look at that, genius. Folding the queen seven suited. What do we got here, 180K, still above average. But long way to go yet on bullet number one for those of you who were able to buy a piece uh, of this one and the other one. You are live. Obviously, the other one, which is the double stack day two that starts uh, momentarily, that one you bought into day two. So you had to pay not a markup. I charge no markup, but you pay an adjusted stack price because the stacks, again, we're only 300 out of the money, right? So you can't get even. You have to pay the the. the the adjusted stack price, which is a formula to do that. So that's in there. So I think, for example, it was a 1K. So let me see. So 1% would be like 10 bucks. Right? $10 for 1%. However, I think because of where we're at, you probably had to pay like 60 or 70 bucks. I think that's right. Yeah, so sounds like a lot. 
But, you know, you're close. Man, thank you, Rishab Tiwadi. Everyone from India, every time I do it, they all unanimously, I've never heard an actual Indian person be annoyed by my Indian accent. It's literally just fucking white kids from fucking Berkeley. Oh, I'm so upset about the Indian accent you did. Okay, well, because they're not. <laughs> they asked me to do it. You, <laughs> So weird. All right, here we go. Ace Jack, let's see. What do we got? All right, we are going to play this one. Mm, should we re-raise? Or just flat? I think I'm going to just flat. So if Mac raises, that's going to put us in a tough spot. If Mac just jams it in our face, it's problematic. All right, what do you got? Coin flip. Let's go. Okay, how about a spade spade? Ace! We'll do the trick. No sietes. No sietes. Make it a... Sp oh, it's a club. It could be a seven. All right. Win in the flips. Win in the flips. Win in the flips. Tikani Scala. Win in the flips. Someone asked for Greek, so I gave him a little bit of that. Malaka menos. All right. So now we are on 90 bigs. Ace King. David Coleman. What the hell? That doesn't look like him. Or is it a different one? What the hell's going on? He's just using a different profile pick. All right, so what are we looking at? Okay. We're looking at stacks that are getting smaller. So our raise size is getting smaller. 2.2. Felipe's flatting. Mmm, mm, Felipe. Very tight, Felipe. All right, let's see. We generate. This one's going to be a bet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, 27% on the king, queen, three. I think that his calling range here should smash this flop pretty good. Not better than us, necessarily, but like a decent amount of like king, jack, king, 10, queen, jack, queen, 10 stuff that doesn't fold. I don't think he folds here a lot. Now the question is, what do we do with this? Three, let's see. I'm going to bet again. This time, two thirds pot. Yeah. Well, let's go two thirds pot. And now, if he jams, the only thing we're worried about here would be king queen specifically. Running hot. We are running hot. We are 30 out of 289. Very solid. Okay. Jack-10 suit is a very fun hand to play. We always typically love to play it, except when things get really, really short. As of right now, Felipe and Ramuculus are, are problems with 20 bigs, but this hand's still too good where I'm actually going to go ahead and make the call. David Coleman. That's David, the David Coleman, right? The one that I beat in the Poker Go Cup. 3.1 million. I don't know, man. It must be him. Is there another David Coleman? Just using a different avatar? Whatever. Do, 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 do. Pocket pipe. Raise before double up. Ah, oh, shit. See, that was the concern. Hmm. All right, would have flopped the jack. Still the first billet, absolutely. All right, what do we got? Six minutes, six minutes, six minutes, five minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on, uh, 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 Dougie Fresh, your own. Uh, How many bullets do I plan on putting in here? One. Why would I plan on putting more? I would if I had to, but I don't plan to. 
plan to get through on the one, keep everybody involved that has a piece. Mm -hmm. All right, got to leave you guys with the chat for a bit now because we're about to double up on tables. Focus in, focus in. Gonna have to rearrange my stuff here. Let's see, 2.2. Yeah, 2.2 it is. King 10 suited. We don't want to be three bit by Remoculus. We don't want to be three bit, period. And if we are, we just. The only fun, we, we don't mind as much as Mach, who's deep, but. All right. So a call there from Romuculus. Okay. From Austria. All right. Let's see here. That's a good flop for us. Good flop for us. So I'm going to check. <laughs> we would check and call if he bets. Two overs, backdoor flush draw. Could have something like sevens or eights, but oh, whoa, our other table popped up. All right, 1.8. Call. I mean, this is going to be a bluff on the river, I think. Well, let's see. We might not actually. Let's see. Take my seat. All right. Careful, Daniel. We're doing two things at once. Crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> I made my other table so big right now. Okay, what for? All right, you can have it. Go ahead, buddy. You got it. All right. What happened? What did I just do? Okay, fold. And let's. I'm not using a mouse, which probably should be for this part, but let's see. Okay. Let's make that smaller. Okay, let's see now. Okay, that's that. And now we go to table two. Table two, and then we pick, double stack, done. Okay, hold on, table two, double stack. This one here, okay, there we go. Let's see if I can get this thingy to work for you people. Let's see. Let's F6. Yes. Aha. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Look at that. Two freaking tables. Can you believe that? The power of technology. Nobody in the world has ever streamed before in the internet poker showing two different tables. It's never happened before. All right, let's see. Let's generate here. I'm going to check this one back. Nobody has in the history of poker ever streamed two tables simultaneously. Simul freaking taneously. That's what we're about to do, ladies and gentlemen. I think. Okay, betting. Betting because I have nothing. See here, what am I doing now with this? Okay, where's my other table? There it is. Okay. Oh, it fucking hides every time I do that. Oh no! What did I do? Stop doing that. Okay. Oh man, where am I gonna put this table? I'm confused. Confusing myself. Okay, that would work, right? Then I would have to put this maybe to the right. Excuse me while I do my tech face. Okay, let's see what F6 looks like. All right, still a little, how's that look? What do I do here, fold, seven, three? Okay, that's fine. All right, we started, oh boy. First hand. Ha! <laughs> First hand over there. All right. First hand on this situation where we are now showing you both all the things. Pocket aces on the button. 
in the 1K double stack. Day two, min raise that one there. Okay, two tables, let's go. All right, chat, you guys, I'm, I'm busy now. He's all in. Okay, call, because I have aces, so that's a good hand. So I'm gonna call, and I hope now that one of these dudes, Ferreira, Raven, Simone, just sticks it in. That'd be fantastic. So we're gonna toggle between whatever hand shows, whichever was interesting. Oh, so king four against aces. All right, he's got the king, he's halfway there. Queen, okay, now we just need to fade a king or a four. He's got 11.3%. Make it a club, it's a club, we're safe. How do I know that? Because he's got a king four club, so if it's a club, it can't be a king or a four. And phew, just like that, Dean Eggs over here in the double stack on hand number one, moves up the rankings. Okay, now we're sitting 100 out of 1,000. Got the seven three. Go over here to F5, F6. Folding that. So we got boom, 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 boom. Why is this one smaller? Let me see. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not picky. You guy, whatever. My guy will fix it if it's a problem. But okay, here we go. I got my RNG over here. I got my chat over there, which we won't be paying much attention to today. Because let's see, F5 is the 10K. F6 is that. Okay, so let me move them so I have them correct. Okay. That's the 10K on the left, and that's the 1K on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, left, right. So we got left, right. Okay. We'll stick it. I know it's a little bit off sized, right? That this one's smaller, but I'm not going to, whatever. You guys can see. We'll stick on the 10K for a minute. And what we'll do is we'll toggle back and forth, okay? Two freaking tables. Never in the history of poker has ever anyone streamed more than one table simultaneously at the same time. That's my fact and I'm sticking to it. Might not be true, but I don't care, okay? One thing is for sure. I am the first and only poker player who actually streamed on stream. This happened in a hotel room many years ago. I was in a tournament while playing on a laptop, streaming on a laptop. That laptop accompanied me to the bathroom, placed it right here while I played, made sure that the camera angle did not see, but you could hear. Did my stream on the stream, double stream. Okay, so that for sure is true. How, as far as the other thing I said, well, whatever. May have been not. <laughs> okay. The other table, by the way, nothing's going on. Otherwise, I would just, you know, see there. I'll show you when, when I get a hand there. But for now, it's like, the, I think the play on the 1K is going to be a lot slower because people will be tanking, you know, because it's a tournament and that's what people do when they're near the bubble. And it's, uh, what, how much is that bubble? Let's see, it's uh, 2,600 bucks. What was that? Hello, someone says hello. I must say hello. Hello. King seven, king 10 over there, okay. Gotta make sure when I'm talking about a hand, you guys can actually see it. Okay, and if I get nothing, like when I get this, jack eight, I'm not gonna flip over back and forth, just so you can see that. You know, what's the point? Cool. I'm gonna text Christian. Mm. Glad to hear he is
to hear you getting into sports. It's good to hear him. Do, 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 do. All right, so we got 50. So what happened here? King, queen against ace, queen. Oh, no, I'm not showing you. There. Much slower play in this one right here. King, queen. Oh! Hits the ace, but no good because the king, queen has now made the straight on the river. What's going on here? Oh, shit. Did I lose my connection? Oh no, we're good. Okay. So we got ace three of diamonds over here on the right. And against nine big blind jam, must call. Must call with the ace three suited. No question about it. All right, what is going on? All right, it's called. Phew, ace six, all right. It's gonna be a chop, a lot. Okay, unless he hits a six. I could hit a three to win. He could hit a six to win. It's 50-50. And we chop it up. Fair. Fair fight. Okay. Ha ha ha. Say nice hand to the guy. Where was he? Nice hand. Queen Jack. Let's see. Let's generate this one. All right. That's going to be a limpity limp. Limpity 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 limping. The other table, sevens beats nines for an all in. All right, we're definitely gonna call. We're definitely gonna limp and call. Okay, now we're gonna check and we're gonna call. Checking against Ferreira. Ferreira. Ferreira gonna bed the flop, we're gonna call. And we might not even have to turn this into a bluff. Obviously, we'd be trying to bluff ace a little. But other than that, like Queen Jack has some showdown value. I know it doesn't seem like it would. Okay. I have a hand in the other spot too, but hold on. Okay. I got two hands here. Check. And here I'm going to check. 1.6 bet over there. Calling. I'll show you on the other spot. The other side is king, king, queen, seven. I have queen, four in the big blind. Check called the flop. See, right? There you go. Two tables, same time, never before in the history of poker. Okay, 6.4, he's betting half pot on this one. I'm gonna fold the queen jack, missed. And then on this river, I'm going to be betting. I'm gonna bet. Decent size here on this one. Betting two thirds pot. It's check, check, turn. So there's a lot of draws that missed. So I feel like he's supposed to call me with, it's like all pairs like under the king as well as ace high sometimes. Cause he beats jack 10, jack, you know, whatever. So this is a good bet. Fucking what? Excuse me? So that hand went, I check called flop. Check, check, turn. Thankfully, and I bet the river, and he, of course, had three kings. So, slow played the king. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever, you know? Could have lost a lot more. You're seeing that, right? Okay. As I said, we're only going to toggle when there's a hand of note. If I get nothing on both... What the? That was insane. Let me look at that again. I guess it wasn't that crazy. So, turn, check, check. He checked back the king. All right. Nice. Little trippity trappity, trying to get me to bluff it off. I wasn't bluffing it off. I was value bidding. And I'm surprised he didn't raise me, honestly, with King Jack. I think he should on that board. Absolutely. The board was King, King, Queen, Seven, Deuce. So I could have a lot of worse kings, a queen as I did. And there's just not a lot of hands. Either. Yeah, I don't, he never loses to Ace King. Never, king Seven and King Deuce is what he's worried about? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. He's just worried about not getting called. Okay. In the other tournament, let's do F6. As you can see, we are 843 players left. It's going to pay 600 spots, so we're near the bubble there. Back to the 10K. All right, against these stacks, I'm going to be folding the 8-6 off. 
What's our stack look like? 200K. The average stack in this baby doll is 50 big blinds. We have 65. And the other one, it's 35, and we have 51. So doing pretty good. That's going to be a fold. Look at that. Two tables, same time. Never happened before. Okay, so let's focus in. Sorry, chat people. I'm not going to be doing chat, chat, chip, chip, chibity, chibity, chabity. Because now I got two tables going, which, again, as I've said, no streamer in the history of the world has ever done this. Two tables at the same time. Right? Never happened before. Okay, that joke's over. I'm done. A little bit much for me, but I can handle it, you know. We'll get used to it, eh? Two tables, the chat, the this, the that, the blah, blah, blah. Still 200 minutes left of late reg in this 10K. 200 minutes. That is a long time. That is more than three hours. Okay. That's a fold. And here we go. Fold the other table. Like I said, I'm not going to toggle to show you I folded 7-5 off and stuff like that. But any interesting things, we will go ding, dong, ding, dong. But I think for the most part, you guys prefer I stay on the, the 10K, right? For now. I don't know. When in doubt, stay on the 10K. So as I said, guys, today will not be a chat day. This is a poker day. Poker, 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 poker. We had a little bit of fun earlier, but now we're back on it. Two tables. Time to zone in. Focus on the task at hand, which is winning both of these bad boys. All right. Hold in there. Yeah. Close to getting to the money in that one. All right, I like the setup. I feel good about it now. Two tables, five. So good job, Christian, if you're watching. Christian's my guy who sets all this shit up for me because I'm not good at this stuff. I'm very slow. My development... Here is this. This is a word where you can use it in context. My development technologically is more uh, retarded than I'd like it to be. So that means it's, it's more slowed. Not in the other way because you're allowed to use the word in context, I think. Anyway, why am I going there? Let's focus on the poker. Come on. All right. We got nines over here. A couple of nines. A couple of nine balls. And some shorties behind us. Felipe, Ramuculus. We got David Coleman here with just nine bigs. All right, there. All right, we've got a raise from Maka. Maka. Let's see. And just flat the raise, and then we will call off against Felipe or Ramuculus. So if either one of those players moves, we're in. Well, basically, we're, yeah, we're in. All right, so we got a flop. That's a good flop. Oh, boy. So look, we're up against the big stack right now. Muck. But we have an overpair, which we're certainly happy to have. And now we're going to try 40% pot. Good flop for us. Still danger. Over pairs. Yeah, under pairs would have made a set. Now we are going to fire big on this turn card. Let's see, we're going to bet. Pot. Full pot. Okay, we have an over pair. We have a club. We don't want to be check raised. Show them the nine of clubs. And then say, ha ha. 
he, 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 what a face, huh? How annoying would that be to play against, right? Fucking guy. <laughs> nice hand. So you're not seeing anything on the other table right now because nothing's going on. 5-3 offsuit on the button. Do I really need to freaking toggle over for that? You want to see it? Here, look, 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 look. All right? I promise I'm not going to... You're not going to miss nothing important, people. Two tables right here on the Twitch, on the YouTube, on the Twitter, on the Facebook. Two tables simultaneously. Old man Dean Eggs playing both, doing the technology. Technologically freaking there. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. All right, Ramuculus is jamming. All right, I got ace five off in the cutoff at the other table right here. I'm actually folding this. I know you're like, oh, ace, ace. No, I don't like ace rag too much. I ain't a big fan of ace rags. So we're going in the muck. That's tight. That's tight, bro. That is tight. So tight. Ace five, bro. Folding, bro. Bro, you're the bubble too, bro. Folding the ace five. Let's see what would have came. Ooh, Kitek Sam saying, I have aces, bro. Raise before the flop. Aces. What else could he have to raise before the flop? Okay, fold. And we don't see a flop. That's fine. Okay. What do we got here? Pocket fours. All right, pocket fours, pocket fours. This one we gonna play. We gon' we gon' we gon' play this one. For two big blinds. Let's do 2.2 actually with these stacks behind us. 2.2. 2.2 is the price. Zarya. Go away. Everybody fold. Let me have the blinds. I'll pick up 2.5, risking 2.2. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, everybody. Pick up the fours right here. As you'll see, top play will be much tighter on this table right over here at this stage of the tournament. Ace nine, we're gonna throw that one away. Um as you can see, we are nearing, well, relatively near, 160 spots from the money. Average stacks, 32 big blinds. So you're going to see a lot of folding. And on the other table, you have a race situation. Pocket tens beats ace queen. Maka running hot. Nine four off. That's going to be a fold. Look at this. Freaking seamless transitions, eh? Okay, 9-4, that's going to be a fold. Let me get to see what came. Nothing. Queen 7 off against Felipe. So here's an interesting spot, right? Shitty hand, but if it folds around to us, we jam on Felipe with Queen 7. It's just a thing. You just have to. He's got 10 bigs. You just go YOLO. Hope he folds, and if he doesn't, just, you know, catch Queen or 7. But we would have to just jam here. All right, all you can eat, buddy. Uh, if he doesn't have an ace or a king or a queen, right, or, or a head, you know what I mean? And if he does have ace-10, we still could win a lot. And most of the time, he's just going to fold, which is great. Fantastic. And we're not taking advantage of the fact that he's playing only 11% of the hands today. He's on knit mode today. But yeah, this one's going to be a fold. Okay, sitting on 62 bigs. Rank 60, average is 45, da 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 My God, this tournament's going to go so long, man. So long, bro. Crazy. Like, you can late reg, like, what, 20 bigs? What are the big blinds? Let's see. Blinds are 3,500. So if you bought in now for 100K, oh, you got 30-something bigs. Never mind. Or close to it. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay. So that's a fold. Chips to have 217. Okay. So we have 217 came chips on bullet one in this event. And everybody's in, you know, for the piece. Everybody's in for the piece. And if we were to go broke, just saying we'd have 100 k because we'd rebuy and do that. But that's not happening. We are going all the way, bullet number one. Let's see, let's move over to the other table. We got a hand. In the big blind, we've got the ace-five. Not a great hand. 
but enough to defend against the Steelers over here. This guy's playing 5% of hands after 21 hands, so he's basically played one hand. All right, we got raised here by Cuitacan. Cuitacan de Argentina. See? ¿Sí? Argentina. See? ¿Sí? See? ¿Sí? ¿De verdad? Argentina. We're going to call you Argentina. Because of the price we are getting with an ace to call, to see the flop, to see an ace there, to see nothing, to check, to probably just fold or maybe check a raise. We'll see. I haven't decided. We'll see, bro. We shall see. Not a terrible spot to check raise. Not a great spot to check raise. Just a spot. All right. Now we have a good situation because he probably doesn't. I mean, listen, we have a lot more nines than he does. So we're going to go with big size. And he's got a tough decision if he has ace high. So if he has ace king now, we chop, right? So what are we worried about? Worried about a nine, worried about a six. And there's the three sixes with the two nines. So the question is, are we worried about an overpair? We just check and hope that we get half. I'm going to check. This is a risky spot because he has all the overpairs, right? Aces, kings, queens. Could be scary if you check one of those back. But he's got to worry about a nine as well, to a certain degree. Like, he probably doesn't have a nine and check back a nine on the flop. Will he bet an overpair? And if he does, he might just go bomb. All right, check. Chop it up. Kings? Holy shit, man. Holy bonkers shit, man. Wow, you were really worried about the king there, or the nine. I, I get it. I don't blame you. Say nice hand to the guy, right? Say nice hand. Cool. Bravo. Well done. What do you want for my life? That was the double stack, I see. That's why. We're going to defend with these sixes over here from the small blind. Now we're about the average stack in that shindig. Two sixes in the small. That is a flop that looks like it smashes us because it does our range, but not our actual hand. So this is still a pot we could win. He should be worried about me having a lot of like queen jack, queen 10, jack 10, king 10, 10, 8. All right, there we go. Okay, so now he doesn't have a whole bunch of 10x in his hand, right? So we are going to represent the 10. And we're going to try to bluff him off one pair. We may actually have the best hand too because he could have ace king, right? He could have ace 7 suited, could have fucking ace 4, whatever. But we credibly represent a 10 here, right? So very credible to call in the small blind. Think about all the combos we call with a 10 in it. And he didn't bet the flop. He's going to bet a 10 a decent amount. So there you go. A little poker lesson as we go. Picked it up with the six balls. Nothing doing over at the 10K table. Let's take a look. What's going on over there? We got 60 big blinds. 730 remain in the 1K double stack. Top 600 pay. We are going for first. First and only first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost break time. Almost break time. Let me see. Command U. Command L. Yep, still works. I know, this late reg is insane today for this one. Guarantee we'll get smashed. <laughs> <laughs> 421 players 421 so yeah we're almost there ace jack you see that yes in the big blind okay ace jack in the big blind <laughs> Okay, against the 2.3, that's going to be, a, I think, a call from that position against Mr. Midiuk. Oh, hold on. Ten bigs. Uh, awkward spot. Awkward. 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 I think this one we're going to fold, actually. Look at that. Not playing any hands. He's waiting patiently. If we were last to close the action, we'd happily get it in, but we don't. 
This is borderline. Probably a call where we're just gonna fold. Move on to the next one. Let's see here. Let's see what happens. All right, he folded two, damn it. If I knew that, well, if I knew that, bro. Psh, psh, what a call. He says phew. Okay, command view. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay tuned for more on blah, 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 blah. Check out clubgg.net. 10 seats to be won for $49.99 a month. Dot com. No, no, dot net. <laughs> be right back, people.
we go. So, what do we got? A minute and a half here. Let's return. Command L. There we go. And what are we looking at? The 10K. We've got this one on break here with 715 remaining. We're sitting 227 average, 34 bigs. I wonder. That ace jack against Pavlo. Excellent. Ace jack upset. Ace jack upset. Ace queen, I call for sure. Ace jack is right on the borderline for me. Probably was a call. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, man. Don't worry about it. What's up in the chat? Y'all having fun in there? You getting cray cray? Having fun with each other? Oh, what? I forgot what you message. What format is the 10K? Well, the 10K is, you know, tournament. No limit hold'em. And then, of course, we've got, what are we looking at? Yeah, the other one, close to the bubble. Ready to go. Ready to go. Let's switch over to that one. I think that one will be first. Tournament resumes now. King four offsuit. That'll be a fold. Let's go over this one now. Seven three suited in the small blind. All right, against Felipe. Man, that's a brutal spot with eight and a half bigs there. Seven three suited. Ooh, ooh. Man, I could fold that one. Queen seven's better. I know queen seven offsuit better than seven three suited in the specific case when you're playing hot and cold. The fact that you know a hand suited gives it minimal. The fact that it's a seven and a three is more important than the fact that it's suited as compared to something like a queen seven or a king deuce or whatever. I don't really see limping as a thing either. But I'm going to do it. Doo -doo -doo. All right. If you want to see a flop, you have the opportunity to do so. If you want to go all in, which I think you should, that's fine. You take my extra half big blind, and you didn't. Okay. So now, I'm going to bet... One chip, and have to call it off if you do it, buddy. Felipe. I should have checked raised, actually. Nah, it's fine. Whatever. Pick it up. Sweet. Felipe did not go for it. If he went all in pre-flop, Felipe would have been the winner of this pot. Now he's down to seven bigs. We've got the king nine of spades on the button. That's going to be an open to two. And call off against Felipe. James Chen over there in a big. I probably should have made a 2.2 then. Duh. Oopsie. That's fine. Not that big a deal. But against Felipe, we have to call because we've put in two. He could make it seven, five more. He's got to do that with like ace 10, ace seven, you know, whatever. All kinds of shit. All right, James, what do you want to do? You want to call? Okay. Let's see. Am I betting this flop? Let's see here. We're going to. I'm going to check this flop one time. Checking flop. Eight on the turn is a. Actually, generally speaking, it's a bad card for me, but because I checked the flop, it actually becomes an okay card. So, 2.7 is the bet. King high very well could be the, the best hand, right? It was, because he just insta-folded. So we, I mean, maybe he folded like king 10 or whatever. But the reason I like the eight there more often than, than normal is that... Uh, because I checked back the flop, there's a decent number of hands with an 8 in it, like King 8, 8, 9, 8, 10, 7, 8, that I would, you know, often check there. If so, the difference is if I bet the flop and he calls, right? If, he, if I bet in position and he calls out of position and the 8 pairs are turned, that's a good card for him because he's going to have a lot more middle pairs than I will there, especially with it being an 8. So in that case, you know, you'd have to proceed with caution. But because the flop was check, check, that neutralizes that, and I can have just pretty much, pretty much similar number to eight of eights that to him. Okay, folding here. Take a look at the other table. We just folded the ace nine off under the gun. 
I'm not gonna play all loosey goosey under the gun, hundred out of the money. Not that we give a shit about that. Hmm. Having said that, it's nice to make the money. You know, it's a nice feeling. Hey, fantastic. You know, but we really want to just win the first place. So it's not like we will do something out of the money. We're like, oh, I've got to fold, bro, inch in the money. I don't. I'm not doing that. I'm, if I get a hand, that's where people can take advantage of me if they're playing for money. And I can take advantage of them for my goals. My goal is to win. Their goal is to make the most amount of money. So by me playing that way, it increases their ICM, right? They, they get value from me playing kind of goofy. And I get value for what I want, which is to win the tournament. Deuce for Upsut. Deuce for Upsut. Deuce for Upsut. This poor upsuit is not a good hand. But it looks like everybody's doing the tanky thing as much as they can without going too crazy. It's pretty early, you'd think, right? Pretty, pretty, pretty early with 100 left or 90 left. It goes fast, I guess, at this stage with this many, with the average stack being 35 bigs. All right, um, just going to check this deuce four. Not a very good hand. And look who we're up against, the guy with 100 bigs. And we flopped pretty decent here. I'm gonna actually check this one back. Sounds crazy, I know. It's actually trap, slow play, as they say, pair. I'm gonna check this back. It's a, it's a good card, good flop to bet, equity denial wise. Actually, let's just override. I'm gonna override and bet. So that's where I roll the check, but ah, I don't like it too much in this spot. I'd rather just take what's there. Don't let them have a free card like Queen Eight off. Just boom, banks an eight or a queen, and now I'm like, oh shit, because you now you get aces. Sometimes that happens like that. <laughs> so aces, this is a good spot. This wouldn't be a terrible spot to limp against Ferrero, who's an aggressive player. It's raised. Gonna make it six. Two to six. Get it in, bro. Come on, all is mine. He's playing tight. All right. What you want to do, bro? You want to play ace-queen against aces? I don't think that's a good idea. No 10. Why do I even look? Okay. All right. Faded it. Faded the, the coin flip. Aces against ace-queen. Oh, brother. It's always, it's always, it's never easy, is it? Ship it. Okay, 51 bigs now. Average is 27 big blinds in this bad boy. Nearing the bubble. And the reason it should go pretty quick is because the average is only 27 bigs. In my other tournament, average is 43. We've got an ace-queen. I will flip back and forth when there's something to see, but on the other hand, nothing going on over there. We're going to go 2.2, this ace-queen. 2.2, Raven Simon. If you jam, guess what? I'm coming. Ferreira, if you jam, guess what? I'm coming. Unless it goes jam, jam. Well, even then, fuck it. I'm not folding no ace queens, bro. Ace queen, come on. Let's go, Raven. Oh, you don't want to do it because you're near the bubble. Oh, you do do want to do it. Okay. Let's go. Good luck to you, Raven. Oh, fuck me. All right, we need a queen. We need a doctor. I mean, what do you want me to do? Fucking ace queen on the button against the short stack. Hit a queen. Um, all right. At least it was, you know, whatever. We're still above average. We just won with aces against ace queen. Now we lost with ace queen against ace king. So easy come, easy go, as they say. I was happy to call. You know what I mean? You pick up ace queen there on the button against the 15 big blind stack. Hmm. So still okay here. Yeah, let's move over to the other table. We got Felipe moving in for his last 5.4. Felipe Ramos picks it up. Nobody plays. It's very nice for him. I'm sure. I mean, never a bad thing to just pick up the pot when you're that short, unless you had like aces and you really want action. It's hard to do. Damn, they ice queen against ice king. What can you do, bro? 
Well, bro, you should have folded the ace queen, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, you should have folded the ace queen. Guy obviously had it. You're 70 out of the bubble. What do you think he's raising with, bro? Ace queen sucks. You suck. Okay, let's see. Let's go over here to the double stack again. We got the two fives and we got the 2.2. I like it, 2.2. Everybody go away. With fives, you don't really want to fucking tangle. Just pick it up. Pick up what's there. Go away, Zarya. You folded last time. Maybe you'll fold again. Or if you want to call, let's see if a five comes. Sweet. Very tight now, it seems like, the play is going to be in this 1K. All right. Now let's look over here. Fold this one. Ace three here. Going to fold that too. Opsut. Felipe's sitting here on 6.6, .6, which means Maka, I mean, I don't know if he knows this, but he's supposed to have a hand, right? Because you can't, you, you hate to like put two and he puts in 6.6, .6, you're like, oh no, I fold. <laughs> you can't fold. So he's basically saying when he raises in his spot that he's willing to play for 7.6. If he folded, it was up to us, you know, we would have stuck it in. All right, we got Jack-9 suited over here. We got Queen-Jack over here. Let's go over the Queen-Jack first. Queen Jack, and we're gonna, I'll go ahead and push the envelope because that's the other thing there. And then F5 over here, we're gonna go ahead and raise again. And of course we have to call Felipe, who's got six bigs. Man, he's playing the tight, he's playing tight. Okay, so we got the Jack Nine suited over here. We got the Queen Jack over there on the other table, as you can see. And now we've got Jacks over here, 50 big blind stack. We're gonna go with 40% bet decent flop for us back door straight back door flush over on the other side we've been three bet all right we're gonna this king is a not a good card for what we actually have good for our range you would think but it's all uh we'll just check all right so here's it hold on so f6 this is interesting wow small re-raise early position i'm actually just gonna fucking fold i know it sounds crazy but Despite the cell. Oh my god! Fucking Jack Jack Deuce. Why? Why did I fold? Tilt. Okay. So he's betting eight. Shit. It's a big bet. We block eight nines. We block fucking Jesus. What do we beat now? Oh, what do we beat? We don't we see the thing is this is probably a fold actually because we have a nine of spades in our hand. Because what we need him to have specifically to peel here is Eight, nine, okay? And he's going for size. And we block a nine. Queen nine made a straight. King made that. Jack, not betting that size with just a jack. Well, this is insane. But I'm gonna fucking fold. I did not think we were gonna be folding top pair there at any, at any point, but we did. Oh, did you guys see that one? Yeah, you did. You did, okay. All right, ace queen now. What am I doing? Okay. Ace queen against the min race from under the gun. Let's see what we generate over there. 92. I'm going to just flat this one. On the other table, we got, look at this. Hands are coming, baby. King, queen of spades over here. We'll get to that one in a second. Get that music playing. Okay, there's ace queen. That's good flop for our range. Then on the right, king, queen of spades, I'm going to just call on, on the left. Oh shit, what did I just do there? On the left, I'm going to bet this one. Small. He's gotta be really worried about that board. Eight, nine, 10, he could actually hit that board too. All right, what's happening over there? King, queen of spades. We could have ace jack, king jack type hands too. I'm gonna check that back. Six on the river. Six on the river. On the other table. What we got here? Two and a half into 6.2 is going to be called with the two overs in the back door. F5. He's checked. Here. I think I just check back and hope he has ace fucking jack. 
Good up, Ace King. Jack, what do you got? Ace Jack, please? Yes! Ace Jack! Woo! <laughs> Fuck me, that was scary. Okay. And then on the right. So the ace came on the river. We do not have a diamond in our hand, which would be nice to have. Mm, check called this flop. I don't know. Shit, I'm just gonna check. Shit, we have some showdown value. Like there are some king high hands that he could have. Not likely that we win, but I just feel like if he has an ace, we're not getting him out of the hand. So if he doesn't have an ace, then what the fuck are we trying to bluff exactly? Two sixes, two sevens? I guess. Nah, now we just fold that. Look at this hand on the left. Jack 10 suited. Ace king, blah, blah, blah. Everybody all in. Felipe goes down in flames with the sixes. Hmm. All right, we are very close now to the bubble in this big bad boy. 39 left before we hit the money. We're doing just fine. We're like the average, exactly. And that, and that one with 29 bigs. Sounds crazy, I know. Hmm. So we had that king-queen of spades hand. I could three-bet that. I could see a flop with that. I prefer a flop on those stack sizes. Is he still in 10K? He is still in both. Let's see the 10K. What do we got? Mix, Ms. Klauski has won a Super Millions and a GG Spring Festival. Double champion in the house. Sitting pretty over here. Still above average. Sitting pretty in the other one. Pretty. I'm sitting okay with average stack. Close to the money bubble. 635 left. We are 35 out of the money. Ace five of hearts is going to be 2.2 open. 2.2 is the open. Over to Ottomer Ladva, who's also a big time champion. Super, he's got a Super Millions and a GG Springs Festival. Both these dudes coming in hot with the big victories. Ottomar Ladva from Estonia, I think. Yep, look at that. How can I recognize my flag? Okay, what do we have? Top pair. Going to now this is a way great flop for us. Like I have to bet this pretty much always. So I check. <laughs> Shit, that's a bad card. Actually, no, it isn't, because I checked back the flop, as I said before. Not a great card though. And this is gonna be a spot where I'm gonna go for the check check bet line. Check twice. He's probably drawing dead. There's not many outs that we're giving him if he's behind. Okay, that could hit 10 jack specifically. I don't even know that we're going to bet this, frankly. All right, what are we doing here with the four or five of clubs? Other table, I'm going to raise with the four or five of clubs. All right, F5, he's betting 1.5, so we just call. It's fine. What do you have? Queen, okay. Oh, he had a flush drop. Wow, wow, wee, wah. Wow, wow, wee, wah. Give me the money. So over on the right, we are stealing on the bubble. Four or five of clubs, very nice. Pushing the envelope a little bit because we ain't scared. Okay, go back to the five now. 2.2. I'm going to fold this one for 2.2 against Ottomar Ladva. Can absolutely make a case for calling with Queen 7 off. I'm choosing not to. What was the flop? So the problem with some of those hands, like Queen 6 off, Queen 7 off, whatever, like sometimes you play them in spots, but they're difficult to realize the full equity. All right, here we go. We're going to make it 2.2 with aces, and we want to get re-raised. I don't care about bubble, schmubble, blah, 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 blah. Only tall men at our table got a big stack. Come on, degenerate G. Pick up yourself an ace jack or an ace queen over there, eh? Let's do it. Let's do it. You're just tanking for the sake of tanking. Okay, Super G. You got to make a move, bro. You gotta, this is this is your time. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
Do it. Make a move. Ah. He didn't make a move. All right, I'll pick it up. I'll take it. What do you want for my life? They fold, they fold. All right, ace, queen now. Let's do 2.2 again. Worked so well last time. Picking up some hands on the right there on this uh, 1K double stacks. 30 out of the money. Alright. Okay. This is one guy who can bust us here. Tall man in the big blind. He might have some loosey-goosey extra chips, but he should be aware. I did raise under the gun. Show the guns. Gun show. Running hot. 35 bigs. Okay. I'll toggle to the other table when there's something going on. Right now, just folding off 53 bigs. Ranked 59 out of 243, as you can see over here. 59 out of 243. Average is 40. We got 52. Plenty of late reg time still available in that one. We are on bullet one. Okay, 6-3 off over here. I'm going to just check because the 6-3 offsuit is not a very good hand. Now, this is a very difficult hand for us to represent stuff. So, well, I'm just going to fold. Take it. You have your queen high, jack high, whatever. You were ahead, bro. We had the 6 high. Okay. 8-3 offsuit. That's just going to be a fold. Move on over to see what's going on over here. We got the king 7. Two tables. Two tables, no chat. How about that? Two tables. Today, no chat. Let's see. How much does Ademar Ladva have in earnings? Ademar Ladv Ladvar has $3 million in earnings on GG Poker. Mikskowski has $3 million as well. Wawa Wiwa. The big boys in the house. The big dogs in the 10K. That's what you expect to have, you know, in a 10K. What do we got? Tony Lin. I don't know this Tony Lin dude. Tony Lin, what's your deal? 15K, so you're a new account, looks like. New to these big baller shot caller tournaments, most likely. Some of you guys asking why I folded the queen jack to the three bet. Because I raise another gun plus one, another gun plus two re raises me. Uh, off, I mean, I know we're short, but that's going to be a fucking. That's queen jack off is just destroyed by that range. Because that range is not going to be a lot of like nines, eights, and sevens and shit. It's going to be hands that pff, have me crushed, bro. Problematic hands, you know what I mean? Ace queens, ace jacks, pocket aces, pocket kings. What do I got here? Queen ten, seven handed. I'm going to lay that one down under the gun we are trying ladies and gentlemen on the 10k to get you through on one bullet over here on the right we are trying to get you into the money on your buy-in of the piece as well you are live here as well with 19 out of the money 600th place is guaranteed 2625 dollars which sounds nice but you still would not be ahead if you win that because you had to pay adjusted stack Markup. Not my markup. I didn't charge a markup, but the adjusted stack markup. All right, we got a new player over here. On the left, we got Benjamin Roll, who's another Super Millions in GG Spring Festival. All these guys. Three million in earnings. Wow, all the big dogs coming now. You know what I mean? Now it's time to play over there. We got... Okay, we got, we got, we got some hustlers at our table now. You love to see it. You love to get in there and play with the big names. All right, I should put some... I forgot to put red. Let's give this guy red. Let's give this guy red. Let's give this guy red. Red labels around. All right, what happened here? Oh, oh we got a new guy. Dmitry Urasov. Oh, wow, a couple new players. Dmitry Urasov. 800K in winnings. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Barak with Brod. Barak with Brod. Another 
champion 1.1 million okay so now you're talking now you got the big baller shot callers in the business in the house I mean 825 Pablo okay all right what happened over here on the right we got a ace jack versus kings the kings are gonna win it show one more no he doubled never mind 13 out of the money. Dun, dun, dun. 13 out of the money. Alert. We are above average. See, 27 bigs. The average is 24. Smallest stack is point... Well, there was 0 0.08. Now it's 0.16. Okay. Is this a new table or something? What happened? Hmm. All night long, won't you all night long? Okay, we've got the news. Please stand by. Please stand by as hand-for-hand -hand play is about to start, waiting for all hands at active tables to be completed. So that tells you we are five out of the money. Five out of the money. On the left, let's move over to the table where we got some action because that's going to be slow moving now, right? Near that bubble. We are going to make the money. We're going to do it. And if we don't, such is life. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got action. Dmitry Yurasov against Pavlo Wexler from Mexico, but mm, I doubt you're directly from Mexico. Mexico. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Te Alexa, shut up. They got Alexa in this house listening to me all the time, talking to me. Alexa, who is Daniel Negreanu? true ha <laughs> see alexa knows me okay ace jack suited in the big blind here could have three bet this one we do that some of the time this wasn't one of those times probably a good idea especially with mock calling in the small but then i'll have to check probably not win this one but maybe we have the decent amount of sevens in the big blind dimitri betting huh All right, Dimitri's button. Two, two, two. I have to call. King eight suited over here. Checking. Just ace jack's a little too good. A little too good to fold for quarter pot. I mean, we have enough king x, seven x. Through. Okay, so there's the jack on the river. That's a good card for us. And we're gonna go for a blocker bet. blocker bet he can't really raise us right that's the thought process behind this it's very difficult to do without him having a seven because i absolutely can have a seven in my range that bets 30 percent pot right here so for him he should probably call with every king right or better um the question is should he call with a jack probably so anyway hand for hand still going on at the other one 604 left we'll stay here for a while, you don't want to see an empty table. Just where people waiting, sitting on twenty-seven bigs over there. Ten-seven over here. Let's do a generation. All right, we're gonna fold this ten-seven. My favorite hand too, bro. What are you gonna do? You know, 
What's the average over here? 42 bigs. We got 58. Very nice. All things considered. As you get deeper in this tournament, however, you know, it gets tougher. People start to, you start to lose some of the riffraff and the tables are concentrated with more dudes with big titles under their name. You know what I mean? The titles, the big cashing stuff, people. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, still waiting for the next hand on the other table. Nothing doing there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Playing for 635,000 in the 1K. It's a nice payday, right? We'll pay some bills. Okay. Nine five. That's a fold. All right. We got action over here on F six. We got a pair of jacks. F six. I call it F six. Table F six. All right. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody, just hold my hand, and won't you come together? Ain't the bow, don't read the, don't the bow. So this is scary, right? Because like we're two away from the money, right? So we could bubble with the jacks, but I don't care. I'm not afraid. You know, I'm not going to sit here and just fold jacks or flat because I'm scared, you know, to get it in with the guy, tall man, whatever. If he moves in, that's a problem for us because he can't be bluffing, but he can have ace king, right? I'll show him the jacks. Okay. So now in theory, if you were trying to squeak into the money from an ICM perspective, you could probably just flat the jacks there rather than three bet. But I like the small three bet. And then you could actually potentially fold if it goes all in, all in behind you because it's not going to be ace, king, ace, king. One of those players is going to have a big pair. Very unlikely that the, th the last player would, would play ace, king on the bubble. So if it goes raise under the gun, I three bet, somebody else four bets, and then player behind goes all in, they shouldn't do that with Ace King. Okay, here we go on the left. Let's go to 2.2 with the Jack 10. Who's there? Uno momento. Shit, fucking someone's at the door. Uno momento. Gotta tell my wife, what the hell? What's she doing? All right, I'm folding. Jack 10, all right, I'll be right back. Oh, what do I have here? Ace seven of clubs. Hello. Let's go ahead. 2.2 again. Okay, we just got a package. It's cool. She figured out how to order Amazon Mexico. So we get some things. I don't know. I think that might be a f pool floaty. It's like a big thing. I don't know. Still on the bubble in the other one. All right, what's the situation here? Raise and Benjamin roll. Flatted. En position. Okay. So... We're going big size for this one right here. Big size. If he plays, there's no way we're good, right? But he should have a lot of like Queen Jack, Jack Tenge type shit. Oh, fuck. And then the 10 comes as I say that. He could have spades in a 10. He could have a whole bunch of things. And I'm not ready to just jam this one in. I don't think this is a jam. I think this is a check and a fold. So we're going to check. Against Benjamin Old. When he calls his flop, you have to be very concerned. Look at that small size. 3.5. So we're getting actually a really good place. Three to one eighteen. So we're getting a six to one to catch a nine or a ace. I think we do that. All right, well done, buddy. You got an extra. So let's go here. What am I doing on the other table? Ace, 10 of spades. Oh, we're in the money already? Okay, raising. 
Did we get in the money? Yeah, we're in the money. All right. King on the river. Check. And now we just fold. Let's see. F6. We got ace-10 suited under the gun there. All right. I would just don't beat anything. I, I mean, I was just taking the price. Say nice hand. Okay, we are in the money, ladies and gentlemen, on the right. In event number, whatever it is. Okay. That was a good bet on his part, as it turned out. I don't know that it really is, though, generally speaking, because I have probably seven outs. And, you know, that's a decent price for seven outs. Let me see. Okay, jack six is a full. Let me see. What was I doing here? 2.5. Okay, so what is that? 18. Uh, a little over five. Actually, luck. I probably should have folded. Hmm. Yeah, no, it was like five and a half to one. It's fine. Benjamin Roll going with the super small. Hmm. What did I just hold? 10 4 off in the small blind to a bunch of limps? Sweet. Got away with it. Hmm. Thinking about that hand with the A7 suited. That would be pretty sick if he bluffed it, right? Like just had fucking Queen Jack of Spades. That's impossible. No way. It's the only thing. Which one is Ben CV? Is that this one? Benjamin Roll? I guess that's him, right? I think that's Ben CV. I don't know. All right, in the money in the other one. 557 players left. We're sitting okay, right? We're above average, 25 bigs. It's one of those tourneys. Where? Hmm. Four or five suited over here. I'm gonna go ahead and push the envelope. Even though the money bubbles burst already, this is actually, I'm opening folding to Ferreira. I mean, it's a little loosey-goosey to open the four or five suited when someone has 10 bigs behind. But you, know, you gotta do it once in a blue moon. You gotta have some fucking open folds and then that's one of them. Four or five suited. Four or five suited against Cueto Aquin. Fuck, man. All right. You got me. You caught me, bro. You caught me, hand in cookie jar. Nice hand, tell him. Nice hand. Well, what is that? Nice hand. Okay, now we got aces over here. So we're going to stick to this one for a second. I'm going to min raise again. Okay, Aces picks it up. Boo! We wanted to jam. Somebody jam in our face. 25.5 bigs over here. Seven of clubs, handy bet three and a half into fifteen point five. Yeah, still thinking about that end with the A seven suited. 
Ooh, look at that over on the left. King Jack of Spades against Queens with the Queen of Spades. Wow, I think the money went in on the turn. So he had him dead. Boom, 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 boom. Check out what that package is. I'm pretty sure it's a pool floaty because I don't. The ones they gave us are these little children ones. <laughs> little, I kind of like to lay in the pool, relax, tranquilo. What do we have here a big baller on the right. Get you masters on there. Wow, this guy over here on the right, that's interesting. On the right, this guy, THX, whatever, has two GG Masters wins, but 62K in earnings. That seems almost impossible. Yeah, he's got. Oops. Fold. Seven dues here is a fold. Now look at that. He's got two titles, GG Masters, and his earnings are 62,000. Hmm. Must play small, right? Clearly. We are in the running for double bracelet today. What's going on over here at this table? King Queen against A6. And there you go. There's King Queen. Hello. Hello, King Queen. Say goodnight. Mr. Ferreira. Ferreira. Finito. Ferreira finito. We got 488 left now. It's going to be a long day, people. Lots of poker. How many chips do I have? Okay, 8 9 suited. 92. Okay, 8 9 suited over here on the right. All right, I came to fucking play. Let's play. I mean, borderline, whatever. If somebody jams, we're fucked, but... Hello. All right, decent flop. Middle pin, backdoor clubs, backdoor straights, stuff. We've got stuff, and we've got a bit of... 2.9. This is going to be very unlikely that somebody check raises here. Well, that's not necessarily true. They could do that with draws. Like a bunch, like a queen, ten of hearts, a six, seven of hearts, that kind of shit. I might have to fucking just call. Tall man probably not betting this flop. Not going to be that strong. Most of the time in a spot like that, you're going to bet your own hand. Ten, not the best or worst card for us. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right. I can check this back on the turn for sure. And that's a fucking dagger. Dagger to the throat. Dagger to the troth. I don't think we beat anything except for fucking, what do we beat? King four of hearts? We're just dead. Two sixes, two sevens? We're just dead, and I'm not going to be able to bluff this one, I don't think. All right, show me. Eight five. Okay, I'll take it, bro. Woo, ship it. Ship it. All right, nice. That puts us up to 30 bigs. Are you kidding me? That's, that's massive. 32 bigs, now we pick up jacks. Go ahead and make a little bit bigger raise. 2.2. 2.2 now. Nobody incredibly short. And this moment, you think it's not your turn. Okay, here we go. Raven, sigh more. We have to get it in, buddy. Just good luck to you. You three bet me on the button. And you're going to get 
You're going to hear from me. I'm not folding this one. Unless, what, if he goes all in, what do I do? Jesus, do I fold? If he goes all in, fuck. Can I fold this fucking hand? I'm not here to fold, right? I'm not here to fold, but ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm going to just get it in. Check. All right, hopefully he just has ace-king or two tens, two nines. We're praying now, basically. Okay, this could be it. Well, he's tanking, so he doesn't have jack speed, I don't think. Tens, maybe. Raven Simone, tens or ace-queen. Kings. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Fucking queens, too? Holy shit. We're in third place? Well, we were going to go broke either way. I could have got away from this fucking hand, dumbass. Damn. Should have just fucking folded. Jack of clubs? One time? Yeah! Holy smokes! Oh, my God. I almost broke my glasses. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Running hot. Did you guys just see that? What in the world, man? I'm just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We are third in chips after getting it in like a donkey. So screwed. Oh, my word. Oh, my... Oh, my word. Oh, my... Holy moly, it feels good to get lucky. So much more fun. Holy shit, babe. I'm going to tell my wife. Jack won. Jack, she always says Jacks never win, but they just did. How many chips is this actually? 2.2 million, bro. Oh, 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 that's pretty to look at there, buddy. Look at that rank right there. Number three in the whole freaking tournament, eh? Oh, that's just luck, man. What do you want for my life? I got lucky. Let's go. Ace nine uh, against Juan Dominguez. I could fucking stick this one in his face, too. Let's see, Juan Dominguez. All right, buddy. I'll just fucking fold for you. The Asa Nueve. Oh, my goodness. Holy. <laughs> Wait till you guys see this one. Oh, I should even look at the chat, but let's see. Check here. Now we're big dogs. Queen seven can check. We have showdown value. We have back doors. We have flush draws. We have straight draws. I'm just too excited to have all these chips after that freaking ridiculous. I don't, I'm not folding jacks there, bro, though. I don't think I'm supposed to necessarily. Like, for, for who cares about the first three better? We're getting it in against him. It's just the question of the, the range of the other guy, right? And it just doesn't smash jacks. He's going to do that with some weaker hands, I think. He's playing a win. We're already in the money. You know what I mean? You gotta take some gambles sometimes, and this will pay off. Oh, baby, I can't wait for the chat. You guys are gonna go cuckoo. Huh. What is he betting? Three? Full pot? All right, that'll do it. That gets the job done. Oh, would have hit the big old queen there. Biggity, biggity queen there. Oh, baby, we got lucky. <laughs> check of clubs, check of clubs, check of clubs, they call it. And then they move with check of clubs. Oh, you gotta love the sweat on GG Poker. And if you don't love the sweat, you don't love the pain. <laughs> they gotta watch this me dancing okay fold Woo! hello this is it baby let's do it not waste that beautiful 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 lucky 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 all in against two bigger pairs we hit the freaking we hit our man on the river eh johnny jack jack of clubs so on the other one still two freaking hours of late reg the average stack is 42 bigs we have 35 somehow haven't been like progressing in this one but we're gonna hang tough right still right around the middle of the pack 25 five so the average well if you bought in now you'd have 20 bigs oh aces hello hey hi aces hi aces Hello, aces. Hello, aces. Ooh, against this guy, too. 6.7. Because we're deeper now, right? Me and him, we're deeper. So the very side is a little bit bigger. 
Do it, buddy. Come on, tall man. Have kings. And I'll do it. I don't care. And if you win, you win. Such is life. Okay. Show him the aces. Nice. He's got a million in winnings, this guy, tall man. Hey now, raise it up, raise it up every hand. We got all these chips to fire. We got chips, chips, we got chip, chips. Hey now, na 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 <laughs> Here comes the chat. Y'all going crazy now. Fold, fold. Everyone says fold, 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 fold. Easy fold, easy fold. <laughs> Bye bye, they said no, no bye bye. No bye bye. Instead, big chip. Oh, Peter's out, reconnecting. I'm <laughs> <laughs> looking at the chat. You guys are funny. Oh, man, what's going on, Peter? Oh, he had to... Timed out. Sweet, I'll take it. King's over here on the left. Important. Three's on the other table. I'm going to open these threes up on the right. I've got two threes over there. And here we go. We're going to make it... Six. Against the Mac 23 over here. Six BBs. we got pocket threes on the right. I opened, and I'm going to get... I'm going to fold to a big re-raise jam. Fold. Let's see if it would have flopped a set. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Quads. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. All right. Raise on the gun here. I'm going to fold this one. So sick, right? So sick, so sick. I should just play every hand now because I'm like running so hot. It's like so sick. Like sometimes when you're running hot, it's just like so sick. You have to just like go all in and just call all the time because you're just running hot. So, so sick, so sick, so sick. I fold the pocket threes and the flop is three, three. So sick, so sick. Who am I doing? So sick. <laughs> Elki. So, raise it for the flop with the pocket threes. It's so sick. The guy three bet me. I have to fold. The flop is three, three, three. Make four threes. So sick. So sick. So sick. So sick. Jack 10 suited. Let's go. Raise it up. 2.2. Let's do 2.2. I didn't get the aces. Uh, I didn't get the king's action, did I? Whatever. Peter Zhao on the right. Reconnecting again. All right. That's a good flop. This is a flop that dictates we are not folding. Under any circumstances, betting, large size, go all in. I don't give a shit what you do, Pablo. Pablo, I really don't care. I got a big hand, and I'm ready to play it, and we're going to hit it because we're running hot. Come on, Pablo. He did it. Okay, so this is just a 100% call, and we hope. Oh, baby, free roll. Diamond, 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 in your face. Diamond, diamond, here it comes. Diamond, 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 diamond. Diamond, diamond, pointy, diamond, pointy, damn, 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 not quite. Just put so sick. So sick. <laughs> At the other table, poor Peter Zhao having issues. He's stuck there. All right, so 36, 37 bigs. We're about average here. Another two fucking hours of leg reg, man. You're not messing around here in this frickin' 10K. Super millions, eh? Doing our best to play the one bullet all the way through there, eh, buddy? For the fans, right? For the people who bought a piece, try to keep them alive. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, should be break time. Sweet, I could use one. I need to pee. As you can tell, I'm doing the pee-pee dance, too. Okay, be right back.
And we're back doing a little dishes. Maybe you hear in the background. Okay, we are doing it, people. Still in bullet one in the 10K high roller. Sitting four out of 383 big dog chips in the in the double stack. It's a nice place to be in, 75 bigs. The chip leader only has 84 bigs. So we're basically like, we're there. There, we're there. Over here, over there, over here. Two more hours late registration available in the 10K. They are gonna burn people up. <laughs> I believe we've already hit the guarantee. Pretty close to it. Let's see. Let me look at that lobby for a second. No, still almost there. It will surpass the 5 million mark. The 10K Super Millions with live featured final table on GG Poker TV Tuesday night, Taco Tuesday. Tune in while the best face off for the biggest prize and the blah, blah, blah. Okay. 6 4 suited will be defended. Under the gun raise, under the gun plus two call. Six for suited is going to be a call. Call, sure. Good price to flop a big hand. Can make straight, can make flush. Also, don't forget uh, is full house possible here because it can come with anything. Oh, look at this flop, all of it. All you can eat flop. All right, where did he do? Oh, this is an all-you-can-eat check raise bluff flop. Check raise boom. Boom with equity. I don't care if they have kings. We have equity. If they have two red kings, it's better than black kings because we want spade. We want three. We want eight. We want, we want. Okay, 2.3 is bet. Time to raise. Time to raise. To 7.4. Do it. Okay, whatever the turn is, we're going. We not fold, so what you want to do, Otmar, Ladva? You want now or you want turn to put all the chips? Because he's going to put all the chips. If he's got a big flush draw, we're, that's the only hand that we're dead against. Set sucks, right? But if he's got like queen jack of spades, that's brutal. Oh, we still have outs against that. We have the pure three of spade, eight of spade. We've got a lot of outs here. Hold baby. Oh, he's got kings. All right, he's dead. He does have the spade, which, all right. Straight. See ya. Drawing completely. Finito dead. Finito. No chance to win. That's a big flop. That's why you play the 6-4 of spades in the big blind. Woo! Ship it. Running hot. Do, do, do. All right. Hello. We are now 31 of 217 remaining in the $5 million guaranteed super millions right here on GG Poker. Look at that, running hot. Galen Hall, we know Galen. Galen Hall from Mexico. <laughs> Pipiska. Haha, <laughs> I'll say five. Haha. <laughs> Haha, he wants to suck my big Pipiska. How did you know I have a big Pipiska? I guess everyone knows I have a big Pipiska. Ah, big Pipiska. Okay, and over here on the right, F6, we are going to go ahead and open for 2.2 with the ace-10 suited. And this is a hand we probably have to defend a gem against. Yeah, we do. Never mind. Probably. 100%. Against the stack at this stage. If it goes all in, ace-10 suited is way too good. If you fold ace-10 suited here, then you're not calling enough. So then you basically can't open, you know, if you're folding ace-10 suited. That's just way too good. Way too good. Because think about it. He's going to be jamming with ace-7 suited, ace-5 suited, pocket fours, pocket threes. Oh, baby, we are crushing right now, people. Hell, oh, everyone. Oh, did I show you the ace-10 suited? You didn't see that, did you? I don't know, whatever. I had it in the other table. But now, I, didn't, I don't think I toggled. Okay, things are going rather well today. Do, 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 do. A7 in the cutoff against Galen Hall is a no thank you. No thank you. 
But uh, enjoy yourselves, Benjamin, James, Galen. I bid you adieu. I'm not playing this one. A seven off in the cutoff. Not in my opening range. I'm sure it's in some. I'm sure, absolutely certain. Ooh, look at that. He had the nuts. Ace, four, five of spades. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's just keep it going, people. Let's just keep it going, right? How many chips do we have in this thing? 372. Fantastic. Still, another two hours. <laughs> two hours of late reg, bro. It's left. We've been playing since noon in that one. Six hours. Okay, a little moment to relax, catch our breath. Action going on, both tables. Okay, we've got a uh, King-10 situation. Mm, I don't like it, actually. Never mind, folding. Big blind has 12. It's weird how in tournaments... The deadly or the most dangerous stacks are not off are often not the like 100, 200 big blind stacks. It's the guys that have 10 or 11. Those are the ones that you like actually have to pay more attention to because uh, it should affect your opening choices, right? Like when your guy's 100 big blinds deep, you're like, whatever. So I can open these hands and if you three bet me. But when you, when a guy's have like eight, nine blinds and you open, you're like, oh no, oh no. And they're going to do it way more often where they jam. They're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it today. What does this 75 big blind stack look like in real? Look at that. Oh no, you're not looking at that. Look at that. Look at those chips. 2.2, 2.2 million dollars in chips. But then when we go like this, it's just, oh, 75. Nice. Still pretty. Much easier to play poker when that's already set up for you. I'm going to fold this from early position. If this was an ICM situation where people were trying to bubble, uh, jump prize money, then I would push the envelope, but it's not the case. The next pay jump on this one is 3,400, which is what they get, and then 500 bucks to 3,900. I can't imagine people are, you know, inching their way up. And besides, it's like 20 something people away from that pay jump. All right, things are going today. Wife just got the news about the jack. All right, let's go over here. What do we got? King eight suited. Not gonna do it. Certainly not a good enough hand to open with against all the crushers behind. Juan Dominguez, of course, another one. Seven million in earnings has Juan Dominguez. So clearly a crusher from um, what is it? Andorra, right? Andorra. We got Andorra in the biz in the house. We got Mexico, kind of probably. And then we got Venezuela, Venezuela. And then you have uh, Austria, Taiwan, Mexico. <laughs> Every time you see Mexico, you know, really. Dmitry Yurisov, Republic of Belarus, Belarus.
Hmm. Today's our lucky day, right? No question about it. We've been lucky, you know? We acknowledge when we have good luck and bad luck. And today, we've been fortunate across the board. Things are going quite well, you know? No other way to say it, but it's been great. It's been fantastic. It's been a lot of fun. Here we go. We got a hand we can defend with the 8-9 suit. Maybe we'll flop his hand like we did before. Wouldn't that be fantastic, right? Not quite. What we were... Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. See, that six of hearts looks pretty, right? But then, like... You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't play. Can't play, bro. Bend me in all. Avec Guelanol. I don't know why I went French. That way. C'est ça. Ce n'est pas un problème pour moi. Parler un peu de français, ouais. C'est ça. Ouais. Yeah. Ouais. Okay. 2.6 uh, against Guelan. We are not going to continue. We have to just fold. It's okay. And uh, yeah, c'est ça. Yeah, uh, we move on to the, the next hand. Ouais, c'est ça. Okay. Ce n'est pas un problème. Ouais. Huh? Okay. And we got a queen five there, and let's see what we got. We got the king jack here on the button, right? So you look at that and you go, wow, right? Nah, under the gun raise off 18 bigs. That's just nitty. That's a range that has king jack offsuit just fucking hammered. Plus, if you flat in this spot, these two guys behind you can just stick it in your face. Especially if we call now, it's even even more incentive to do that. So I'm not gonna play the King Jack off because that just is a recipe for disaster. Dominated so often, just so often with a raise into the gun and a flat. Oh, look at there. <laughs> almost like I almost like I wrote it up and told you what's gonna happen here. And uh, all the Octavus picks up the pot, right? Do you think he had worse than King Jack, bro? I don't. I don't. King four suited now. All right, I can then raise this one in the cutoff. Try it on for size, eh? Now, of course, if we get jammed on, it's just a fold. I'd rather have the king four suited and the ace seven off, even though, I mean, I, it's not about what it was. Anyway. I'm not gonna explain that one. All right, you win. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I will not fight against the three bet off of 24 bigs. You're gonna win this one, unless somebody else decides they want this pot. All right. Ooh, Queta Quen, Queta Quen. He's thinking about it. Queta Swen. Let's see what would have flopped. Nothing. Ha ha. Do 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 do. Nobody else. Mm -hmm. Nobody. We're gonna open again with the King Ten now. Min raise. The blinds have just gone up. Still top 10 in the tourney. It's going to be an open to two. And again, you know, we open. If they jam, we re-raise, we just fold. What the fuck do you want for my life? Even Queta Quan, who's got 13 bigs. I'm not going to defend against 13 bigs with King 10 off. I will allow him to take what's there. Cool. Peter Zhao moves in. Of course, that's an easy fold with the King-10. Ideally, they just all fold. We move on to the next one. How about that? Go away, Peter Zhao. Playing pretty tight, looks like. Maybe a lot of that had to do with his disconnect issues. Oh, look, he's disconnected again. All right, nine, eight, seven. Go, go, go. <laughs> I hate to root for you to, like, disconnect with, like, queens here, but, I mean, you know. But I kind of am. <laughs> All right, fold. We'll take it with the king ten. Ah, oh, okay. So such is like pipiska. All right, couple fives now. Once again, we've got a raise. This time we do have to call against the twelve and the ten stacks over here on table thing. We've got two sixes. All right, so over here we're gonna min raise. 
And of course, we would call off against Dmitry Urasov, who's on eight bigs. Benjamin roll, if he moves in, we can actually get the sixes. Oh my god, I was just saying, like, we could fold the sixes against him. That's probably pretty close. Hey, honey. Oh, yum. All right, two fives. Not ideal. I think if he has a big ace here, he usually just jams it in, so. All right, well, raised and called. All right, easy fold with the sixes then. Oh, what, which one are you looking at? Oh, you forgot this one, this one. Oh, look at that. Sevens and queens. And we had sixes and we folded because we're good. All right, king, queen over here. Oh, seven on the river. Wow, crazy. Hi, honey. Hi, how, how's your day? Uh, maybe in an hour I'll get it like a protein bar or something like that. I will. Yeah, for now I'm good. For dinner tonight, because this is going to be a long one, babe. Oh, thank you. King, queen. That's what we're watching, the king, queen. All right, so we've got top pair. Let's see. All right, sometimes we check back the top pair, and this is going to be one of those times. Okay. All right, jack on the turn. Now, that's a good card for our range for the most part because we have all the ace-king, right? He doesn't not spell well. I guess he has some of it. But we can just call slow-played hand. All right, now the straight comes on the river. This is interesting because he cannot have ace-king. Not really, right? So if he bets here, we could go all in, frankly. Because what are the chances that he has ace-king? The only question there is, well, what if he does? Would he fold? Is he going to fold a king? Do I think he's going to fold a king? What is that? Eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. I just got to do it. All in. If you got ace, king, and you slow played it, you fucking barbecued me with this play. So what we're trying to do here is get him to fold a king. He just had a bluff, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he folded a king. But you understand what I was thinking there? Generally speaking, what you want to do is when people have a capped range and you have an uncapped range, you want to apply maximum pressure in spots like that. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is... I can have ace-king. Theoretically, he's really not supposed to because he's supposed to three-bet the ace-king. Not saying he always does. He might slow play it, and then he's got me trapped, but I certainly have all my ace-king potential that I have. So as a result, I get to play massively big pots in those spots where he has to be more careful in spots where, you know, like I said. Makes sense? Does that make sense? Oh. She wasn't listening. But I think it makes sense. I'm trying to explain it without... Sorry. No, no, not to you, just to them. We're doing good, babe. I'm, I'm, like, like I've, I'm fifth out of 300 in the, in the 1K day two. And uh, still kicking top 49 out of 199 in the 10K on our first bullet. But that thing has still another hour and 40 minutes of late ridge. It's insane. 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 Right? Big money day, and we're going to do it. Two table in, toggling. Woo. How's homework going? You know? One down, but two stone, and there's a lot of people off the Okay, let's see. Five. All right, gonna, what am I going to do here? I'm going to call with the queen five suited, and the big blind in both spots. And then against that size, I'm going to fold my favorite hand, the king seven. See what I would have flopped. Oh, shit. Fucking folded 10 10. My 10 seven, of course, got there with trips, but I didn't play it. And I played the queen five suited. Should have played both. Dummy. All right, you win. Oh, what would I make? Nuts. Oh, straight. I have no idea how long this tournament's going to take, babe, but it's playing down to the final table. And it's still not even late regs over. Really? It's going to take... A long time. Maybe you should have late No, why? I have to play this one at two thirty anyway. It was day two. I'm fine. I feel good. I'm, you know, plant. I'm fucking. I'm. I had two. I'm good. You know, don't need to go crazy yet. I'm so tranquilo. I'm running hot, making hands. I had six four spades. The flop was ten seven five with the seven five of spades. So I have four five six seven of spades. And the guy had kings, like he could win. No way. No chance. No chance? 
I'm a, yeah, I'm a favorite. What the hell? Hit a three. Boom. And it was the, the right three, not the spade. Vegas hospitals. Vegas hospitals? Totally full? Yeah. See, that's fucked up. Yeah. I understand. It's like it's a messed up situation. Situation, that's for sure. You've been reading about it. What's the air at, babe? Yeah, I know. What's it say? Probably says like eighty. I'll put it to seventy-five. What are we on? The 10K right here. I feel like when you play a 10K with unlimited re-entry and you don't have to re-enter, that's like a min cash. <laughs> what? I did. I'm, I, I might forget sometimes, but... Huh? Yeah. I haven't cleaned the sink yet. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. On breaks, I throw a little stuff in, clean up a little bit here and there. Had some wine last night. I actually drank a full bottle of wine. And it... No, I felt completely fine, as though I drank nothing. And full bottle of wine, and I had two two of those Cheeto shots with the, with my drink, right? What? You'd be dead, yeah. A couple deuces over here. We're gonna raise to the minimum. All these stack sizes, twenty behind. Obviously problematic if they jam on us with the deuces. We're not gonna play, because the problem with a hand like deuces is, when they jam, they're gonna jam with threes plus, right? And then two overs. So we never are in good shape with deuces. Like the only hand you're in good shape against is if they do it with ace deuce. But you have two deuces, makes it very less, a lot, a lot less likely. So we got an all in here from Juan Dominguez out of Andorra over to Denny's Ramos in the big blind. Looking at 24 big blinds to call is Ramos. He's gonna make the fold. On to the next one, Dominguez with a jab, takes one down. Hmm. Pocket jacks, babe. You love this hand. Yeah, I'm gonna raise it up. And I don't care if somebody moves all in if they're short. That would be Mr. Midiak, that would be the guy. Don't tilt, yeah, whatever. Now maybe we see a flop against Denis Ramos. Okay, so that's a flop we can check back. And not to fold the turn, but we're checking back. We're not worried too much because we have the jack of clubs, you know, about backdoor clubs. If you get the king or the ace, whatever. It's another spot where I'm actually going to check and we're going to look to pick up some value on the river. He, there's a good chance he doesn't have many outs, if any. You know, not too many. Or, you know, he has a queen and... We're behind, but behind for now. So against big size, against big size, I think we have to go call, call here with the jack of clubs. Yeah, we're gonna go call, call. All right, that's a good card. All right, so now I got ace 10 over here on the right. I'm gonna raise it up. I know it's a little loosey-goosey, but we're pushing the envelope a little bit. So we have the jack of clubs, if he bets, I can actually raise. If you bet small, we can raise and then fold to a re-raise. Um, 6.5. Oh fuck, I almost pressed call by accident, Jesus. Okay, half pot. Now if he raises, we just fold. I'm serious. Sounds insane, right? To have the second nuts here. Bet half pot, but if he raises full, he can only really do that with the ace of clubs. There's just not enough bluffs here. Because I can have the ace of clubs. Somebody's just gambling and hoping.
We're targeting the 10 of clubs with the nine of clubs. Sweet. Pay me my money. And he had the nine of clubs. He had the 10 nine. So it worked out perfect. As I said, we were probably going to have to go call, call on turn and river with specific hand that we had. And that's what we were going to do, whether we missed or not. So very nice pick up there. All right. Now over to the other table. Under the gun raise, call, defend with the ace 10. And that flop is not us, but we're going to pretend it is. Okay? We're going to pretend this flop is us. It does fav favor big blind, but we're going to lead. We're a little goofy, I know, because we're putting all the Octavius in a tough spot with the player behind him. So if he continues, oh, sweet, just pick it up there. Oh, baby, everything's working. Whew. You, so you understand what I'm thinking there, right? Put Ollie in the in the tough spot. He's got the guy who called in the small blind behind him, right? So he's not just calling with king queen, just like YOLO, ace jack, ace ten, whatever. He's got to have to fold that. We had the ten of diamonds in our hands. We had stuff, the block stuff that comes with the draws and this and the that and the. Look at this, Brady. We got chippies all over the place. I'm gonna fold this ten seven suited, so even though it's suited. All right, let's go back to table number. Table one, 10K. Here we go against the min raise with the ace three suited. Now I know some people like to do the three bet thing with this hand, jam it into this. Nah, no way. Let's just see the flop. Tranquilo, play some defense, check raise him on this board. Maybe sometimes, let's do it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just fold because we have nothing. It's betting small. I'm just going to fold because we have nothing. I know that's a little, that's a little weak tight, but... Weak tight. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes play a little weak, a little soft, a little tranquilo. Another 90 minutes of re-entry. Trying to avoid that at all costs. 388k stack over here. Very nice. And we've got a king three on the right. I'm just going to fucking fold that. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that stack. It just looks pretty. Right? Just to look at, see 2.9 million. Boom, boom, boom. 2.9 million. Look at the big numbers. Boom, boom, boom. 2.9. We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. But we're just going to go back to blinds. It doesn't look as sexy. I get it. Right? To see it in big blinds. But it's just way simpler and easier, right? Then you don't get a big head going, bro, I got three million in chips, man. Check me out, bro. Three million, bro. Ooh, bet 1.2 million. No. Bet six big blinds, five big blinds, 10 big blinds, whatever the case may be. Eight, nine up suit. Oh, you're not seeing that, never mind. Okay, so here we go. Level 17 of 22 before the rebuys are done. 192 remain of 509. So we already surpassed the number we needed to hit, I believe. Yeah, well, the overlay still says 62K because of, uh, you know, rake and whatnot. But we'll get there. That's, oh, 53. So that's like five players. Like I said, it's going to go way over. There's still two hours left. Two hours left of Ribarandos. Super million, king fold. All right, everything's nice. Just patiently, no rush. People will bust. We will stick around. We hang around, hang around. Crushing both tourneys right now. Happy about it. Happy about it. Happy, 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 happy about it. He's good. He's nice. I like. He's nice. So for those of you like that like to chat, don't worry, we'll have plenty of time, you know, throughout the week when I play one table to chat. But when I'm playing two and I'm toggling and I'm doing all this kind of stuff, and it's also big prize money Sunday, right? That's why last year on Sundays I didn't even stream. I just was like, you know what, let me focus. This year I said, you know what, because I've actually, for two weeks in a row, the, the phase event, I qualified on the Sunday night, which is nuts because I won't even play that tonight after all this. So tomorrow there will be a stream. But when I qualify on the Sunday night, that means on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there's no stream. Last week or the other week. Because I didn't have anything to play. Because I'm only playing the bracelet events, you know? But this week, 
There will be a stream tomorrow. We will do, uh, I think it'll be a fucking, it'll be fun too. Next week, streams will be fun for that. I think for me anyway, you guys are gonna can all laugh at me because I'm purposefully playing like a jackass in PLO, like on purpose to just get it in and try to build a massive stack in that thing, right? Because it's 400 bucks a pop. I'm just gonna shoot it in. And the great thing about PLO is you take four cards, they have four cards, you, you're never doing that bad. You know what I mean? So you can gamble. It's a very, very gamble heavy game. So we plan to push the envelope. We plan to push the envelope and try to build a big stack for next Sunday. And then we got some other big tournaments, but we're gonna focus on these right now. We've got, of course, the heads up coming up, the 10K heads up. We've got the 5K PLO on Tuesday, I believe. And then we've got, uh, I think uh, the 10K heads up is what I said already. And then we've got a short deck coming up. That'll be fun. I'll have to explain that. You guys are gonna be so confused when we play short deck. You're like, wait a minute, how is, a7 is straight when it's 6, 8, 9. I don't get it because the ace is a 5 and the, this and the flush beats a full house and all kinds of stuff. Queen 6 there for Galen Hall. Queen six suited. All right, this one we are, oh no, never mind. Folding. Queen seven. I'm not gonna toggle every hand, so like I folded queen seven in the other one, I'll just tell you, but we'll stick with the 10K for now. In the other one, we are six of 253. We're doing it. Doing it on both sides, yo. Generally speaking, uh, I don't know, probably just backwards, but generally speaking, I would tend to pay more attention to an event with like really good players, but it actually makes reverse sense in a lot of ways because when you play in smaller buy-in events, you'll have people doing a lot of weird things that you won't typically see amongst high rollers that you've played with. They're all going to play close to properly or whatever you want to call it, or well. All right, let's go to F6 now. We've got a 7-8 and a big. That's a defend against a min raise, for sure. Yeah, we definitely see a flop against Yinadinsky with the 7 8. <coughs> All right, we're getting, look at that, five, we're getting six to one. <coughs> and we flopped pretty good here. We're going to do that lead again 27% lead. So we have the idiot end straight draw, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have the diamond, so we certainly have a hand we can call flop with. All right, now I think we have to go a little bigger. Uh, we could have a nine, actually. Now we're gonna go 40%. And we have to bet this river, too. Now he's gonna call us with, what, a 10, always. A nine, he might raise us, and then we have to fold. He has a flush already, such is life, right? But if we miss, we can't just go, well, oh, eight high, we have to bet. All right, we don't need to. We just take the money, honey. Jump in front of it, push him around a little bit. This eight four, I'm not even gonna mess with it. You gotta have some kind of a folding range, even though the price is really good. Look, if it all folds, it's half a blind to win two and a half, so you're getting five to one. But the playability post-flop, is a thing, and it's a problem. All right, what do we have? What, what, what came? The king nine deuce. All right, we limp. We just fucking maybe try to bluff it, whatever. Okay. So 78 big blinds here. I think we're nearing the territory where y'all are in the profit. For those of you that had a piece in this, I don't know if that's true, actually. There's a 1K. No, so we're not quite there. But you're getting close, because the deal, if you bought a piece of the 1K, you're, you're not quite even yet, but you will. You will be when we have like at least a 7K cash, I think, in that neighborhood. And right now we're guaranteed at least 4,500. Queen six suited against the small, nope, we're gonna fold. Mm -hmm. I don't like, see again, we made it two, we have to call, we have to call what would be a total of eight which not fun with queen six, but YOLO.
Okay. All is good in the world. Relaxed. Tranquilo. We still got we got sixes over here I'm going to I'm gonna take a flop with the sixes this is borderline but I'm gonna do it all right let's take a flop with the two sixes take a flop this is borderline because of these stacks behind us that can just jam but if they do and he folds we're fine to call oh, okay well what the fuck 5.8 that was cute all right, well, certainly not going to fold for 3.8. Interesting play, though. Okay, now we just call. All in, whatever. We just have to hope he has ace-king, but he probably has us crushed, but such is life. We've got backdoor stuff. What do you got, buddy? Aces? Yeah, that makes sense. Small re-raise. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, now we just need a six. Any six is fine. I don't care which one. All right, it's not a six. You win. Aces hold. Good for you. Whatever. No scratch off my back. I mean, obviously it sucks to lose a pot anytime you lose a pot, but it was fair. It was fair. Now you see why he did the 5.8, huh? Yeah, he probably doesn't do that as often. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. It's just not really a thing you see very often, so... You can't read too much into it and be like, oh, because he did that, it means this. All right, we're going to go to six bigs over here in that spot. And then we got over here, we got tens. We're just going to flat these tens again against an under the gun raise. So we got kings and we got tens. Here we got the three bet. Don't tilt, can jam, and we call. And over here on the right, we got 8-4 deuce flop, so good flop in both spots. Here we're going to bet 40% pot. And then on the right, we're also going to go with 40%. 40% on both. All right, so on the, we picked it up on the left. We won with the kings. He folded. Very nice. And now with the tens here on an 8-4 deuce, he calls. Okay, so the king is not good for us. I'm going to cut off here. I've got queen six suited in the cutoff here. I'm raising. Raising in the cutoff there against Galen. All right, I'm going to check these tens back and then call a bet on the river. King probably favors him. He has ace king. We don't have that much ace king. If he checks, that's the tough decision. We have to ask ourselves, why are we value cutting? Are we. Uh, Folding the queen six suited to the three bet. Let's see. Oh man, flush draw. All right, so this is the close spot. Where do we value bet? I think so. I think our hand's too good. Six point seven. Let's go. With. All right, we're trying to get called by some ace high, some pocket nines, an eight. If you opened with like eight nine suited or something like that. Difficult decision though. In that spot. All right, what happened over here? Fucking Ben, ben roll is just three bet me, and then I fold with the queen six suited. Okay. I wish we could like just have it where if I have a hand on one table, I don't on the other. Always makes things easier. Yep, that's exactly right. Stage three cancer patients, vital surgery was canceled because there was no available hospital beds due to the COVID surge. It's frustrating, isn't it? Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating the world we live in. 
It's frustrating that we can't all get on the same page and look out for each other in this troubled time, but we're not at all doing that. We're doing quite the opposite in large numbers. You don't understand sometimes that your decisions are not just, it's not as simple as your decision, your decision affecting other people in big ways. You know, means you should uh, think bigger. All right, new table over here. Well, look at this. Okay, so a lot of guys. Oh, Elki, so sick, so sick. We have Elki. All right, I'm gonna put an Elki. I'll do an Elki one. Ha <laughs> ha. Go back to mine. <laughs> good luck. Where do I say good luck? Ah, good luck. There it is. Okay, so we got Mark. We're Doja using an Elki thing. Chase and Nige. All right, let's move over to the 1K for a moment. We've got a raise under the gun with King Five of Spades. We will defend that one. Getting the price, and we flop the five. It's going to be a check call and really be concerned. Again, not against size, which I call a small bet. Okay, I have a hand against Elki also. It's a. Uh, Check this over here against Elki over here. Oh, you can't see him. Here. Queen eight. Queen eight. So what happened here? Check, check. Check, check, turn. King on that's a that's a must bluff now, I think, actually. Yeah. Six bigs. I have to bluff this card. He check, check, turn. Yep. Bluffing the five. He can't beat a whole fucking lot. He can't beat King Jack. I mean, listen, if he has an ace, he has to call. But a queen should probably fold a lot here against my size. Um, pocket tens. I mean, if he's full. Okay, so listen, he should have to have an ace to call me. Because I have an ace here. I have King Jack as well. Um, pocket fives too. I could have. So if he has like nines or jacks or something like that. All right, sweet. It worked. Very nice. <laughs> I'm clapping for myself. <laughs> you understand the pro the logic there? When he checks turn again, he could have an ace, sure. But uh, what happened? Was I showing you the right hand? No, I wasn't. Was I? Ha! Whatever. The other hand, I bluffed. <laughs> okay, okay, it was a good bluff. Did you see it? I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, ace is against ace king. Laffy poker. Wow, look at that. Ace King of Spades wins. Bajikowski. All right. All right. So we got some lots of names you know, right? As the tournament progresses, this is what you're going to see. GG Masters champ, Hanson Sang, bracelet and ring, Arthur Conan. I just say his name. Okay, so let's go to the right. 4.4 bigs. We've got the king 10 suited. I'm going to fold it. I know you guys are going to be like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing folding king 10 suited? It's the stacks in the small and the big blind that are problematic to flat. So, you know, I have to move in there, which is king 10 against and under the gun, which doesn't matter much. But all right, fives. We were, we were flipping. And what would we have won? Let's see. King 10. Oh, there's the king. Yeah. Maybe it's a heart. It would be interesting to know if, if I did flat, whether or not Ollie of Octavius would still have done that. That's the interesting question. All right. Let's go over to the left of the table now. We've got a limp by Joukowsky, And then we have a raise from the button. And we have a defend from yours truly in the big blind. This is dangerous. Bajikowski's pretty polarized here, you would think. You know, he's going to have aces. He's going to limp raise here. Decent amount of hands. All right, so that's a flop where... Mm, not too excited about it, but 
We have something. We block Jack 10 of diamonds, which is a possible holding for P. him as well as Bukowajikowski. He could be limping with the Jack 10 suited. Oh, that's a card that just barbecues us. Right? Yeah, it barbecues us. Ow, us. It barbecues us. So that's a check. This one we're going to fold the turn. I'm not going to fight for this one. With the board looking the way that it is against the Bajukowski limp, call, smash board. Yep. Laying that one down. Especially after the call. Yeah, there's no question. No question. No questions asked. In that there spot. It's just it's just the thing you do. Unless you want to get cuckoo. But no, it's not a thing. Twenty four over bet. Well, you gotta like it. You gotta like it. Twenty four bigs. I know. I, I this is. I folded against him a sick hand when he did this because I didn't think he was balanced. I don't know. Hard to think of a ton of bluffs he could have there other than like what, like sixes with a spade or something like that. Like a sevens with a spade. Like I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, so you're looking at a table where we have 55 of bigs and we're sitting 49 and 172. Very nice. Then at the other table, same 60 bigs essentially, and we are 10 of 215 remaining playing for a bracelet today. Or wait, would it be today? Or yeah, it's a two day event, final event. So it's going to be a late night. A late night, ladies and gents. Back to the Jack-10 button. This will be an open. It folded to us. For sure. For sure, we got an open. But we got a fold against the open from that position. Starting to develop some semblance of information. Lappy Poker, one of Gigi Masters. Ramiro Petron. That's insane. All right, we've got a couple hundred hands on everybody here. Do we have, what do we have on Makita? Oh, just about a hundred, because from a previous event. Let's look at the flip here. Ooh, look at that. All in pre-flop. Oh my god, what a board. Ace Jack and Ace King suited. And now, Deuce. Wow. Well, best hand one. Queta Quen. Queta Quen. Queta. Queta Quen. Queta Suya. Queta Queta Cien. Butchered. Butchered. That's green name. Long day ahead. Long day. Like I said, we're we're in for it. One hour left, a little more than an hour left of rebuys in the Super Million. They've already surpassed the guarantee, as you can see. On Oh, hang on, as you can't see right now. As you can see, prize, 5073000 Going to pay, I don't know, whatever. We're not worried about that yet. I would imagine that one seventy five fifty four. Nice and easy, slow and steady. Okay, so the double stack, let's take a look at the average there. Average is 28 bigs, we've got 60. Okay, and then over here, average is 44 and we've got 55. Got a hand over here, the queen six off. Not a fun one. Not a fun big blind hand. We'd have to call against the generate if he goes all in for 3.8, which sucks. All right, now we have a situation against the small blind. And I'm going to raise him. I know it's a bad hand. 
he should be limping pretty wide here, of course, and strong. And I do this at a frequency. And this is part of the frequency. It's actually a fine play. And that should be a good flop for us, generally speaking, because we raised after his limp. So I'm going to go ahead and bet 27%. Now, he's going to call us with a king, right? We're not, not going to try to bluff him off a king. But, you know, if he doesn't have an ace or a king, I think he's not continuing. All right, well, we're just going to lose fucking money on this one. I don't know. Can I bluff this through without a spade? I don't think so. I think without a spade, you can't bluff this through. I have no showdown equity unless we're up against exactly four or five. I think we're just dead. He could have queen, jack, queen, 10, something like that. And then we'd have threes with ace, king, queen. So we could chop. He could have jack, 10 as well. So we beat jack, 10. We beat four or five. That's it. Jack, 10 and four, five. And we tie with a queen high. I don't think he bluffs here that much. Yeah, I think well, I think we beat enough hands and we tie enough hands where we can go ahead and play a little give up poker. If you got a king, you win. You got anything, you win. Queen high. All right, sick. I was like, damn. I guess I could have, you know, could have bluffed that one. But like I said, we beat some hands. There was a couple. There was a few. And we didn't have a spade in our hand, which matters when he calls on an ace king three right you got to think about what what hands limp and then call the raise so jack 10 queen 10 four five you know sometimes but then those are all the hands that, that we beat or, or that are not nothing but the other ones are all like ace x king x a three which made three threes on the river so look at this jacks can ace nine boom set of jacks against the short stack Aces is a very good hand. On the button, it's better. It's just even better hand because the button is good. We're going to go ahead and min raise from the button with aces in the hopes that one of these guys go, oh, Daniel opens too wide here, so I'm going to shove it in his face and print equity because it's a profitable show. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, bro. You get aces. It's like, it's nice to win, but man, you, you know? All right, ace jack suited. Go ahead and we're going to do it again. Of, what are we? Essentially six handed now because Peter Zhao is sitting out. He's having internet connection issues. Ace jack suited. Very strong hand. Six handed, essentially. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Do -do -do. We do not want him to jam, I don't think. Let's see what he's doing. All right, we got a new table. On, oh, fuck, he did jam. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. All right, let's look at this fucking numbers here. Ace jack suit, 45, 18. He's playing pretty fucking tight. Has not three bet at all. Six hundred cane winnings. Man, this is fucking borderline as hell. But I think I'm going to lay it down for half my stack. Yeah, I don't necessarily, I mean, listen, we're doing really, really good in this thing. That's a pretty decent chunk that he had, 23 more. I mean, that's, that's if I fold that though, and they know, they can start exploiting me. But fuck, why didn't he do it last time when I had aces, right? Probably because he didn't have a hand. Okay, now, oh wait, no, this is the same table. I thought it was a new table. So yeah, the ace check suited. He had like 23 big blinds more. It's just a big stack. Supposed to call, almost assuredly. But we're gonna give him credit. We looked at his numbers and we took a deeper look into how much he's got and winnings and stuff like that. And based on what we know of him, we don't feel like he's in there naked. Oh, look at this. Man, three deuces, break time. Okay, we'll be right back after this short break. Get me a protein bar. Why not?
little snack, a little chips, a little salsa. And we got Command L, a little noise. Had inhaled a protein bar, ready to go. For the long haul. I think I got the wrong salsa. Hopefully I don't start hiccuping. Anything spicy does that to me. Mm. All right, got to get through one more hour in this 10K so that you all are still alive with me. Post rebox. Five suited essentially six handed because Peter Zoe's sitting out. So we do have, let's see. This is not a thing. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't do that. Never mind. I'm just going to call. Check. Top pair, but vulnerable. Backdoor spades is nice. A lot of legitimate hands you could have. Smash that board. Oh, that's a brick. Huh. I mean, that card's just a huge problem, right? Hmm. Huge. I mean, he might be able to bluff us here, but with what? Sixes, sevens, eights, nines make a straight, any pair. Would he turn that into a bluff? Maybe. Not going to find out. Mm -hmm. No hope. Okay, you win. I mean, as played, an ace is a huge part of his range. You know what I mean? Seven, eight off, six handed. Oh, it took too long now, didn't we? Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least one guy was willing to play for stacks. Hello. Say hello. Ten four off. That's gonna be a fold. Fun watching me, huh? What do you want me to do? Gotta eat a little bit, snack here and there. 
what do we got here? Queen 10, and then five, that's a fold. Let's see about F6, what happens here? Queen 8 against Ace Jack, what are you gonna do? How does money get in? He jammed on him? Peter's out, you jammed on him, did you? Peter, Zhao, you did it, didn't you? Small bun, huh? No, oh, am I looking at the wrong one? Hmm. Button raise, oh yeah, he did. Moved in on him. Queen it off, okay. I don't hate my sixes play nearly as much. Everybody live, boom, king. Oh no, three fives, duh. Queen 10 is gonna open. All right, let's see what we do here with this a seven. We got another limp and then we raised here over there. Queen 10. Let's see, I'm in two pots now. I'm gonna check back this Queen 10 and bluff turn and river, I think. And over here, checking back. All right, he checked turn. I'm actually good, I know against Makita, I'm actually gonna check now. Oh, three queens? That's huge. Okay. Got two hands going on. All right, made a straight on the right. Goofy hand. Came out like this. Over here, we made three queens. We hit some runner runners on both spots. What's the sizing we want to use? Two thirds? Yeah. And here, let's go with. All right, two thirds and 40%. See what he does. If he check raises me, that's a problem. But it's Makita, I can't fucking fold. I have so like the top of my range here with fucking three queens and a 10, you know? I don't have full houses, I have some flushes. But my God, I just, I don't ever have much better than queen 10. So basically when you're at the top of your range, you're kind of like forced into call. All right, we won the a7 and he called with queen nine. Very nice, queen nine suited. Now Makita's tanking. He's like, what is happening, d -Nags? What are you doing? If he raises me after all this, that'd be special, right? He's like, what is this sizing? Because he thinks I bet the turn with the queen a lot, right? Which I do. He called. Ha, 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 ha. Ace high. <laughs> all right, let's move over to the right. Limping in here with the 10-8. <laughs> Thank you, Makita, for the chips. <laughs> I don't blame him for calling me with ace high. Okay, now we have top pair. And I'm going to just lead right out with the top pair and the gut and the back for spades and the straight flush and the and the and the and the and the and if he raises and we call. Although it could be problematic. He could have five, nine, four, five, two pair, whole bunch of hands. But if he does. Such is life. We got a bet. It's a pretty big. He's got a lot of draws. He could have and call here with. So 10, 10, 10, 3.4 into 5. And we call off a jam, although that's problematic. Or do we? No, I think we fucking fold, actually. Because what raise bluffs does he have? Kings up, straights, two pairs, all that shit. I don't think we call. Never mind. Fuck, I'm folding to his jam. All right. Phew. Right. Phew. Say phew. I'm so good. <laughs> That's not the one I meant to put, but it works. Okay. So 56 blinds on the right. 56 blinds on the left. Let's do it. It's plenty of chips. See rank 14 of 166 remaining over here. Guaranteed 6K. Almost even for those that had a piece. And then you'd be free rolling. 
And over here, those of you that have a piece, you're still doing well, above average, hanging tough with some tough cookies at the table. So why do you check back the queen 10 against the key on a 7-6 deuce board with, when the queen hits the turn? Couple key reasons, okay? The number one reason is this. It's to strengthen my check check line. So if I check flop and check turn with weak hands and never do it with really good hands, that allows him to really exploit the shit out of me on rivers because I just can't call. So he can overbet, right? But holding a hand like top pair in your, that turn top pair in your, um, in your check range there. So now when I check check, he doesn't have free reign to just say, ooh, YOLO, bet whatever I want. Because now he knows like I can actually have some really strong hands there, right? You, you kind of have to do it a very small percentage of the time with even stronger hands. Having said that, you know, game theory doesn't want, doesn't like uh, love slow playing all that often. But from a balanced perspective against human beings, you want to make sure across various lines that you're not naked, right? Again, extreme example of that or easy example is like, let's say you see bet the flop and when you do, you have a good hand and when you check, you don't, right? And then the turn card comes, that player on the right, when you check, they just win every time unless you really improved on the turn. They get to take the pots from you all the time, whether they have it or not, right? Whereas if you bet sometimes when you have it, bet sometimes when you don't, check sometimes when you have it, check sometimes when you don't, both. Now when you check the turn, the guy doesn't just get to go, oh, well, he checked, he doesn't have anything, right? Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. Fifty six bigs. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Doing well. Above the average. Average on. Okay, we got fives here. Let's play this one. Or a 2.2, I believe. Yep. 2.2. Again, key thought process is looking at the stacks behind. Everybody's in the 30 to 40 range, right? So nobody's in that jam. No one's like in a, No one has a jam stack that's moving in for 14, 15 bigs. Okay, now we've got fives in a three-way pot. Let's see. Interesting spot here. I'm gonna bet. We are betting these fives. That's a pretty dry flop, pretty dry board, right? Well, Arthur calling on the button. You can call. I mean, he's gonna have a king a decent amount of time. He's gonna have pocket pairs, some aces, some jack tens, whatever. Now the big line. He can have anything. He could have an eight. He could have a four. He could have a king. But. We just take it with some aggressive play, deny equity, ship it, total Dean eggs. And we did it for cheap, notice, right? 27%. It's a quarter bet. Quarter pot bet. Quarter pot bet. Gets the job done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else am I going to have for a snack? I think a Lara bar will go good with this. You know, Lara bars are fantastic. Let's have a Lara bar and finish it off for snack time. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? 8-3 dudes. All right. No, nothing to run around for. All right. I'm going to have a Lara bar. These are great. Lara bar. Very small, tiny little deal. Here's what's cool about the Lara bar. You can spell everything that's in it. There's literally three ingredients. That's it. Nothing else in it. In this one, it's the cherry pie version. We've got dates, almonds, cherries. That's it. Dates, almonds, cherries. That's it. Yummy. Little car boost. Some energy. Mm -hmm. We are making a run, ladies and gentlemen. 
We've got a limp here from Ramiro Patron. He's a $2.2 million winner here on GG. We'll take the free flop. Hopefully we don't, we don't get in no trouble. All right. Well, moving on. Could be trouble. Because we have to continue on the spot. At least for one. Unless it goes bet call by Lappy Poker. That might be one spot where we could just fold. Hmm. All right, call. Blocker value, whatever. You might call with ace high here. If he has a jack, he's got us all kicked because we'd have kings and jacks with a seven kicker. We, can, eh, we win anyway. We were just targeting an ace call. Nice. Sweet. Picked up a free flop. The jack seven off. Nice. Very nice. A7 in the small. Going to limp. Limp call is the pl is our plan against the three, 3.5, whatever. All right, now, now we have aces and sevens. We can go ahead and check this flop. Hmm. Now we're gonna bet size. Two into three. Pretty nice spot to have aces and sevens and the spade. I mean, we just never have the worst hand. I mean, it's like so unbelievably unlikely that he has a better hand than this. Like, so incredibly unlikely. Wow. So incredibly unlikely to have a better hand than us. And he's re-rated. I'm just not gonna let him get away with that. He's not gonna have a better hand than us. All right, let's go, buddy. If you have that beat, you're going to have to take all my money. If you're trying to do this with some draw, or you're trying to, like, see a free river, you're trying to protect your hand, oh, fuck. Well, that was heavy. All right, we're going to do 30% again. What do we want to get called by here? Hmm. Yeah, let's do nine. Ugh, if he raises this, we're fucked. Just have to fold. Fuck, I don't like that river card, especially as played. Because he called, you know what I mean? Just fold, bro. If he raises, we're folding. Oh, fuck. Maybe he had it already. There's no way. No way it's a bluff. There's so no fucking, no, no universe where that's a bluff. What is, there's no hand that he has if he bluffs me here, but fuck. That was tilting. All right, let's move to the other table. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Didn't like the runner. Okay, what's what's going on here? Against eight big blind but stack. All right, let's just put them all in. Damn, all right, whatever. Such is life. What does he got? Queen jack, queen eight. Oh, fuck. Either a jack or a nine. Come on, man. <laughs> we don't want to be, like, losing on both spots. Let's have a jack or a nine. Jack! Ha <laughs> ha! Running hot, baby. Running hot. Running hot over there. Phew. Running hot. Running hot. Man, that hand was annoying with the uh, aces and sevens. But I have a feeling. What king of spades does he have? I really think there's a decent possibility that, although I have a spade and there's four spades out, that he had the nuts on the turn. Like that he already had the king I flush. 
because not a ton else. I'm trying to think. Um, so he raised by three bet turn and he can call. Yeah, so he, yeah, fucking. Just, want, just question of whether he river me or had it already. Let's see, on this flop, Jack 10-8. This is going to be a bet, 40%. Boom. We're all around the Jack-10-8. We don't quite have anything, but we've got blockers and gut shots and backdoor flush draws against Makita. All right, he's taking his time. Fuck, okay. Take the money. Damn, he's fucking nine on the turn. All right. Damn, I would have fucking made the stupid straight if I checked, but it's... You don't get check raised there very often. That was unfortunate. I would have made it right away. Boom. All right, come on. Now we are back in in the middle of the pack. We're below average in the 10K. Still crushing over here. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Two weird hands. Or just that fucking A7. Fuck. Maybe I saved 12 pigs. As played. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's get aces and get back on track over here. How about that? Come on, somebody three bet me. Come on, it's awkward stacks, I know, for that. You don't, you know, if there's 20 big line guys, they jam into my face. Come on, Makita. Come on, Arthur. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it to it, prove it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Let's do it. Let's get me doubled up here to a nice big fat stack again. What's he thinking? Oh, that's good. All right, he raised. Okay. All in. All right. Fuck you, fool. I'll, I'll take it. Picked up some chips. It's fine. He was goofing around. All right? I'm just hoping there that he has ace king, maybe ace queen. Maybe if he has like tens jack. He's not folding any legitimate hand once he puts in seven. I mean, he's folding some. But that was probably a loosey-goosey three-bet. Um, you and your choices there at a flat. Let him bluff it off. Then, of course, you know, he could outflop you too. Uh, not that you're scared, but the key is how do we get the maximum value? I think getting it in pre with aces is fine. Not always. Sometimes you want to slow play it and have aces in your call range. But overall, get back on track, baby. Back to 44 bigs. Back to the average. Man, that was stressful, that A7 hand. I <laughs> lost my bottle of water, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Stressful one, that was. A7. Hmm. I don't know. That min re-raise was probably too small, but it doesn't matter. 8, 28 he had behind. Yeah. And on the right, we have Stoyan. Now I know. I remember. Stoyan Madanziev, last year's Main event of the World Series of Poker online. Online on GG. He won. So he is now at our table. Okay, so doing good. Who is John Proudfoot? Let's find out. All right, we got a new player named John Proudfoot. 2.4 million in earnings for John Proudfoot. Without a big title, but clearly someone to reckon with. Played 250 hands with him. Oh, he left in this tournament.
Okay, queen eight is going to be a fold. All right, we are 30 minutes from <laughs> stress relief one, which is being in one bullet in the 10K with no need for a re-entry. So we obeyed that. That's a good feeling. We are on the other side doing quite well. 54 big sitting in 16 out of 133 left. That's it. 133 players remain. And I believe, I believe, I think we sold at about seven adjusted stack. So you're about even. If you bought a piece of the 1K, you are now in gravy mode. Now you are looking to hit that big score. Turn your investment into something big. In the 10K, you're still doing just fine on your one bullet. Uh-huh. And a min cash makes you money. Mm-hmm. Chris Petrova from the Russian Federation. He has a Bounty Millions title. Bounty Millions. What is his deal? 227 in earnings. Chris Petrova. Petrova. <laughs> King Jack suited on the right. Here we go. All right, that's going to be a raise to. We're going to do. We're going to round the table. We're going to do two point two. We'll have to call off against some of the players at the table with the King Jack of Spades. Idris Ambras is one of them with 11 bigs. Mm. As I say that, he moves in. Hold on, maybe we can fold. I know, I know. Nitty, nitty, Dean eggs. But 3.5 million in earnings? Holy shit. So that tells me that he's probably going to be shoving correctly, which means we're probably supposed to call nine more bigs. The King Jack of Spades. But do I want to? I think I just have to call, right? Ace, queen, nines, eights, ace, five, ace, fucking seven. Nine to win. 18, 18, 18. I'm just getting too good a price. Nine to win. 18, huh, this would be such a fucking ditty fold. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, you guys are gonna laugh. Ha! <laughs> All right, would have flipped the jack. He would have maybe had an ace. Who knows? Super nitty, I know. But I have reasoning behind it. I do. I promise. You know, that's one of the weird parts where you deviate from, like, all right, this play would be correct. It has plus EV to it. But it puts me, if I lose, in a more... Uh, still good, but... I mean, listen, it's King Jack, right? Well, suited. Well, that's great, but it's like it's just King Jack. You know what I mean? It's not like, whoa, Ace Queen or Ace Jack. I Ace Jack, I would call. Okay. Thirty minutes remain. Late Ridge and this bad boy. He did do the this and the that. I don't know. Idris from Morocco. Let's see, we're going over the table. Let's table we'll see what we got here with the jacket of diamonds. We gotta defend. Well, no, no. Now we can't because we can't because Oli has it opens up the action so he can just re-raise this out. So we're gonna fold there. Now King Jack suited here. This is gonna be a raise to 2.2. Queen Jack suited, and what did we have? Fuck. Jack eight of diamonds. Oh man, would have won. Although he might have just fucking stuck it to us. 
not let us see in the flop anyway. All right, all right, what do we got here? Oh, you didn't see that. The King Jack suited under the gun playing seven handed. Oh, wow. Makita. I'm not folding this one. Not folding this one. But we have to be concerned, right? King Jack suited could be a problem. Could be a problem. But we must see the flop with this one. Unless Lappy does some crazy shit. Get me out of the way. Lappy poker, go ahead, do it. Our hand has some good playability post flop because it's suited and blah, blah, blah. And we're getting a good price once again. So we're going to call and see a king, king, jack flop. All right, this could be problematic. It could be good. We don't know. What we know is that we are involved. We have the back door clubs, which is nice. We have the top pair, which is nice. We're only behind ace, jack. Not a lot of combos of that. Ace, jack, queens, kings. We block that and aces. Do we check call against small? I think so. Yep. Check call against small. Holy fuck, what a card. Oh, what a card, what a card. Shit, shit, shit. Obviously we're checking. Obviously we're checking, and if he can bet here, his three bet range that can bet this flop and then bet the turn we're pretty fucked against i mean he doesn't have a lot of what like eight nine of hearts no he's not gonna bet that with with uh as played all right fucking kings and jacks now he didn't bet the turn we're gonna bet again i'm gonna bet 30 percent Six point one. Oh wait, wait. He's gonna figure out that I don't have fucking diamonds. Hold on. He's gonna figure out I don't have the queen of diamonds. So he might just fucking stick it in my face if I bet. So we're not gonna block. We're gonna check. Ace deuce. Woo! Oh baby. Lucky D eggs. That fucking worked out okay. That worked out okay. Phew. Well, we had him. I'm just saying, he turned the ace, and then we rivered him. So you understand what I was thinking there? I almost bit the river, but then I realized, like, this guy's fucking sharp. He knows that my raise under the gun, my open under the gun and call of the three bet is going to be a lot of fucking suited hands, okay? I'm going to have, like, a suited hand. So if I have suited hands, what queen suited do I have? Queen, ten of diamonds, is that it? It's literally one combo of that. So he might just be like, yo, yo I'm going to just stick it in your face because I don't think you have enough queen of diamonds here. So, and I give him credit as someone being able to do that. Against some weaker opponents, wouldn't worry so much about that. I'm gonna limp here. You know what I'm saying? They would never do that. But Makita, he will. He's good. Okay, we're gonna do the 2.2, and we're certainly calling it off against Idris this time with the ace jack in this position. All right, and over here, we got the limp, and Anson's raising. I think I have to call it here with the queen three suited. Let's do it. All right, that's going to be a check and good night. Good night there. What do we got? Queta Swen. All right, I'm getting stressed now. It's getting to that time, right? Stressful. 3.3 million in chips. All right, we'll just fucking fold the queen dudes. Okay, now we've got ace jack. Betting 27% of pot. Let's do that. Hmm. I'm going to bet this again on turn for half pot. All right, kicker. I mean, we, if he has an ace, that's, we're fine with that, right? Because he probably doesn't have ace-queen or ace-king with three bet with those. So we're just worried about ace-five and ace-three. You know, if he has ace-nine, ace-eight, he's got a call. 
And then get some values. There should be. What did he peel with? Hmm. Like a five? Not sure. All right. So we sit in pretty. Average is 30 bigs. We have 48 over here in the 1K. Over here on the left, two ace kings in pre flop. Yours truly sitting with 44 bigs. Average is 44 bigs. We're right on the average. Yeah, also that issue with the Makita hand when the Queen of Diamonds makes the nuts, he can have a lot more queens. Like, he could have queens with the Queen of Diamonds. He could have ace-queen with the Queen of Diamonds. Like, he can have a lot of those fucking hands. I guess I could have ace-queen with the Queen of Diamonds. I guess that's it. I could have queen-ten diamonds and ace-queen off with the Queen of Diamonds. Those are both hands I would be repping. Maybe some king-queen, I guess, too. But not a ton. Mm-hmm. In the 10K, you're going to be doing a lot of labeling of red. So my whole table. You can see everyone has their own name except for Lappy Poker. But I know who that is. Professional player. So basically, I'm, a, I'm at a table here in the 10K with currently all professional poker players. That's what, you ha that's what happens when you play in high rollers. And on the right, this one here, we've got... Idris Ambre is probably a professional, and then of course we got Stoyan. Um, but other than that, you know, not so sure about that. Who's the fairy boy? He's got a win in a Global Millions for 875k. Wow. <clears throat> All right, definitely ahead on this 1k double stack. We've cashed for at least 78.60. Just 118 left. We're in 20th place. Aces against nines. There's a nine, you know? Just like that. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. In order to win tournaments, sometimes you have to win with the worst hand. And this is a case where that happened. Unlucky for Ollie, Octavius. I'm going to give it a so sick. So sick. All right, let's do 2.2 here. With the King Jack of Spades again, this hand's sticking to us, huh? Sticking in my butt. King Jack of Clubs, King Jack of Spades, we folded that one. That was crazy, All right? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have top pair. That's the big blind player. We're gonna go with size here. Some no fucking cheapies. All right, play it heads up against the all-in. Oh, the holy smokes, guy. He had 0 0.01. So the good news is, is I'm going to win the side pot, which has more meat in it than his pot, I think. Wow. He had 0 0.01 of a big. So now he has 1.3. I guess I get the 4.7, right? Okay. So we didn't lose any money on it. Ha! <laughs> That's nuts. Shit. Got to woke up with kings. You know? Queen 10 here. Just gonna call. And I'm gonna check and let him take it. Position, aggression. You get to take it in position. Your money. Take your money, Stoyan. 
it is yours. I will not defend against large size. You choose large size with the ace for deuce. Interesting to pick a large size. Hmm. I will remember this one because large size I did not expect to see in the ace deuce for flop. Didn't the two spades, but okay. Everybody's different style. What is this? Fucking all in? For half a big? Alright, well. Oh, look at this fucking guy. He's all in too. I'm just gonna call. What a piece of shit spot, right? I can't fold. Alright, whatever. Look at these guys. They have one big blind each. I got the jack. Any jack will do. Jack in the heart. So we need a jack. A jack. That's it. Just a jack. Huh, what are you gonna do? You know, <laughs> I'm such a brutal spot. He can't fucking get out of the hand. This guy limps. I want to just fold pre. <laughs> All right, new table. Laszlo Molnar from Hungary. Laszlo Molnar has a GG Masters title and 300K in winnings. Patrick Leonard, is that the real Patrick Leonard? Must be, because he's from Hungary. What the fuck? Hungary now, 552K in earnings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be Patrick Leonard. Newcastle, yeah, that's definitely Patrick Leonard. We'll give him a red label. In the Inid Wasabi, I played with him. He has a bracelet and 240k in winnings. And the rest, oh, Nino Boys, I have a note on him. Super tough, oh shit. <laughs> when was that from? Fuck. Okay, why did I write that note? Jeez, how long ago, how old was that? Okay, here we go. We got a limp again from Akita. Mm. On the left. You can imagine. When you typically see limps, you think, oh, what the hell? Fishies, right? No, 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 not fishies. He studied these spots, and he studied limping ranges, and he knows exactly what he's doing. He's going to be balanced here. So we're just going to be happy they didn't raise, and we got to see a free flop. Now we're just going to check, and we're going to fold. Nothing crazy. You take your money. That's yours. Go ahead, Makita. It's a good flop for you. All yours, bud. <clears throat> All right. I mean, it's nitty-gritty time, guys. 16 minutes left in Late Ridge. Make it through the level. So 130 players left in that one, and then 112 in the other one. I mean, we're getting, we're getting deep, y'all. We're going. We is going. 32 bags, 48 over here. Oh, wow, we're under the average on this one? How'd that happen? I guess whatever. Hmm. So let's go to the right. 10 for off. I can fold that one happily. Hey, we would have flopped the 10. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, bro? Hmm. Ace King, what are you going to do? I'm going to play it, you know? You give it to me, I'll play. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? The question is, am I going to raise it? I'm going to limp with it. Do a combination of both if it all falls around to me. We will let the RNG decide. Okay, now it's going to be a re-raise. Out of position, bigger raise, less important steal. When you're shorter stack, but this is just let's get it. Fuck it. Go. I don't care how balanced that is. Ship it. Goodbye, he says. Goodbye. Okay, 48 bigs. Sitting 26 of 107. We're in it. We're in it to win it. I mean, this thing had. How many players did this fucking thing start with? Gazillions. First prize is 635,000 for a 1K. Oh. 107 left of 5894. There was almost 6,000 entries in this bad boy. And we're still in there. All right, let's go over to F5. Jack 8 suited on the button. It's going to be a fold. Doom, doom. All right, let's go back to the other table then because we got Ace Jack. And we are going to go ahead and min-raise the ace-jack because of Patrick's stack. We would do that with hands that, well, whatever. Just, um, explain all that. If he goes all in, we just snap call. 
like no worries, actually happily. Not so happily, but like confidently. All right, now we have open in the trade, flush draw. And I think this is a spot where I can put max pressure on. Yeah, just bet it all. All you can eat, Patrick. You got a pair, you got a call, I think. Pair must call, unless it's like fours. Well, he wouldn't have fours, he would jam pre-flop. I don't know. Good luck. He has jack nine. Oh, Jesus, fucking outflopped us big time. Or we need a queen, seven, or a diamond. Or an ace. All right, you win. Jack nine. Such is life. Nice hand. Nice hand. Jack nine beats ace jack. Literally just whatever. <laughs> what, are you going to bet fold? You can't fucking bet fold. Two sixes here. Under the gun. All these fuckers behind me. I'm going to fold these fucking sixes. Trouble. Myself. Mm, yeah, he has an easy call with Jack Nine. Whatever. Yeah, I bet the flop. He raises. We get it in. Like, almost no universe where we're not going to get it in. I guess if I check back flop, which is goofy as hell, why would you do that? Like, in case he has King Four suited or something. I don't know. All right, sweet. We had dodge the sixes. Squeeze jam from Patrick. What does he have? Eights. Ooh. Ace Queen. Ooh. Ooh. There's the ace. Boom, boom, boom. He took all my chips and then boom. There you go. Oh, he's got diamonds now. He got diamonds now. Nope. Oh, that's Patrick Leonard's day. Good game. Good game. GG. For those that don't know, GG, as in GG poker, GG stands for good game. You know, GG. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are... In the grind. We are at average now in the 1K. But again, there's only uh, 100 players left. We're sitting about average. We also have 11 minutes to make it through on this freaking 10K. Average is 49. We got 41. Again, and the average is like really not that relevant to me. I just tell you so you know. But I look at the actual number of big blinds I have 37, 42, plenty. No jeopardy. Not worried about, oh, but you know what? The average is 50. You only have 41. Who cares? I have good enough to stack in both, both tournaments. So, move over to the 10K with all the sharks. Just got to stay patient. Win the flips when we can. And such is life. We've been here almost six hours now. Six more minutes. Or, yeah, six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes for the first bullet. First bullet. First bur bullet. Bu 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 bullet. That's pretty cool, I think, if I can get you guys through. Because, listen, six hours of fucking late, Reg, and I'm on one bullet, that's a pretty good deal. You know? Just shows you. Like, I don't fuck around. I try really hard on those first bullets, especially when you guys have a piece. Of course, if it gets to the nitty-gritty and I'm super short... I will take the higher variance gamble option, but you get all the value of me playing from hand one, building stacks, and then so what? You a little negative EV near the end if I, you know, you know, slightly punt in a close spot. All right, moving over to F6. We got King Deuce. Not calling, not defending this one. Against Lucky Cat. Big stack over here. Six million in chips. Gonna fold this King Deuce. Let's see, huh? That. No record. Okay. Folding. Oh, we flop a deuce, and then we got a call, and then we see a third, and then we got a hope, and then we catch a deuce, and then another deuce, and blah, blah, blah. Just fold. Okay, blinds have gone up in this 1K. The average stack is now 29 bigs, and that's right about where we're at. So what happens in these tournaments? Blinds continue to go up. 101 players remain. The next pay jump at 94. We 
We go from 78 to 60 to 9,000. And we don't care because we're just trying to win the first place prize. All right. So we're about average in both events now. It's very difficult in the tournament, especially a long tournament, to go like start to finish. We're like, oh, you're among the top five chip leaders the entire way? No. Nope. Absolutely not. Give me the always, I'm gonna always. Hey now, honey, and I'm not in my car. Mm -hmm. Bunjikowski's short, 15. Arthur Corner. So far in the 10K, we got 580 players. And there's still a couple more minutes for some people to max late reg. You would start with 10 big blinds right now. You could jump in. Oh, that's right. Blinds are 510. You would start with 10 big blinds. And it'd be worth it. Why not? Gambolito. Gambolito. See? Okay, 7 8 suited in the cutoff. Don't mind if I do. Open, fold to a 3 bet. Never mind. Can't call now. Not going to call. I love those hands, right? But what the hell are you supposed to do? You know, you can't just YOLO unless you're, like, if you're 100 big blinds deep, shit, you think I'm folding 7 8 suited? Shit. With an ant? Nah, shit. But listen, you can't over call. You can't call too often in those spots because you got good players behind you that are just going to squeeze you. And then you're just calling with not even a chance to see the damn flop. And then, you know, you see the flop, you don't get paid full. You know, you're not deep enough to make, like, you know, a score like a 100, 200 big blind win when you flop the joint or make your hand. Let's move on over to F5. As we said, on the other table, somebody did jam. Somebody, all right, James Chen in there, Anson Sang in there. All right, we got action on the other table, all in. Ace King against Queen Jack suited. Oh, he jammed on him, okay. So he opened with the Ace King and he just jammed with the Queen Jack suited, it's fine. 10, all right, and he's gone. Laszlo Molnar, Molnar, finito. All right. Jack nine suited. We are going to open this one too. Two bigs. Two bigs. What are we six handed now? Two take two seats open. Nino, Nino, tight player as we said. Nino raises. We just fucking run to the, run for the hills. Ooh, Nino calls. That's still scary. Nino, Nino Brown. Look at that. Fucking look at those stats. My goodness. My goodness. We need to flop. <laughs> Lightning in a bottle. And that ain't it. Although, you know what? He did not fucking re-raise us. So, he probably doesn't have a fucking pair himself. So, he's probably going to fold. We're going to bet. And we're going to bet with size. we got to go for it here. 2.9. Let's do that. Yep. We block pocket nines. Jacks, which I don't think he has. Nino's going to have some king-queen, some ace-high ace hands. Maybe he's slow playing fucking aces. That could be a thing too, right? where he just called to hope that somebody behind moves in. So when he calls, we got concerned because he's not just calling with two overs, okay? He's not just calling with two overs. This guy just fucking has aces, doesn't he? This would be a good hand to bluff with that I have. Very good hand to bluff with. But something suspicious about Nino right here. Nino's fucking with me right now. I'm going to check over Nino. Nino is fucking with me with the fucking aces, isn't he? You got aces, Nino. Feels like aces, bro. Nino! You're gonna show me aces, ain't you? Well, you're not gonna show them to me because I'm not gonna fucking call. You show them if you want to. Oh, you're gonna take that much time? Holy shit. Wow. I still don't think I can fucking bluff here. Would he bet aces, though? He's gonna bet aces all day. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. How do I not fucking bluff? How do I not bluff here? Oh my god, how do I not bluff? I'm at the absolute bottom of my range. But I'm not going to do it. 
I think it's fucking too late for me to rip all that shit. What did he peel with? That's the question. What did he call this flop with? For 40% pot. With a player behind. Fucking aces, man. Still has fucking aces, I think. Watch, he's gonna show you aces. And then we can cut this video and be like, oh, look at that. Dineg's fucking called out his hand. Aces. But we're not gonna see it, because he's gonna bet aces. What is he tanking for? Yeah, aces. Nice try, bud. Aces? I think he had aces. I really do. I really do. I mean, listen, sometimes you just got to go with your read. So that was a spot where it's a bluff, but I didn't do it. Why is my break thing not working now? Hold on. F5. Oh, maybe that's why. There we go. Be right back. Okay. Hanging tough, baby. Hanging tough. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep it going. Case of dildos or something? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Here we go. Two, three minutes left. We are gonna go with a Perrier. A little something extra with fresa and kiwi. Strawberries and kiwi. Come on. Okay, two minutes left. Who knows what she ordered? Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. 
Okay, a couple minutes left. Look over the situation here. All right, so we made it through, ladies and gentlemen. I believe we did, right? Oh, wait, we have eight minutes left? Oh, I think there's a little still. Hold on, is there? Oh, no, no. Yeah, so the Super Million High Roller has six million prize pool. Re-entry is over. It's over, I think. Or maybe not, I don't know. All right. And we got 97 players left. And this bad boy, sitting 56 with 22 bigs. The average is 30. And it's about go time. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Couple queens, don't mind if I do. Go ahead and do the min raise and hope somebody says all in with jacks. Or anything worse than queens that's not ace king. Whatever, we just wanna win, I don't care. Queens is a very good hand and I'm not folding before the flop with such a very good hand. Come on, even Nino boys. Whew. Nino boys, Nino boys. Oh man, everybody gonna fold, bruh. Alright, at least we got one call. Alright, let's go with 40%. Gets we get we get called here by a 10, by a jack, my fucking raise, ship it in. So it's a good flop. We got three straight, three flush, all kinds of stuff. Alright, now against this board. There's no point in small, I don't think. Let's just put him in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You could have a pair and a straight draw kind of hand. Might have to call it if you got a jack. If he's got like king 10, queen 10, 10, 7, 10, 8, whatever. Okay, we'll just take it. Nice fucking fold. He folded a jack. Bravo. Bravo. Good fold. I'm going to tell him. Nice hand. What a fold. Jesus, I fucked that up, didn't I? Somehow. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just fucking bet half <laughs> when he's got 14 bigs? That was interesting fucking fold. Happy Sim? Happy Sim just fucking folded, huh? That can't... I mean, overall, that's probably not a good idea. Folding. Because I could be bluffing there. With like queen, ace queen, some shit like that. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't think so. Maybe I'm not bluffing enough there. I don't know. Fuck. Good fold. What are you going to do? All right. We're going to do ace jack. Hmm. We're going to flat with this ace jack on the pre flop. Fold to fold to. All right. We're just going to see a flop. Ace jack's an okay hand. All right, it's an okay flop. Not a, not neither here nor there. I mean, obviously we didn't improve, but could still have the best hand. We're not gonna fold for that price. Have the jack of spades. All right, there's a 10 on the turn. Just gonna have to check. If he bets this one, we're folding. The question is, on the river, is this one we turn into a bluff? I don't think so. I think we have some showdown value against ace four, against fucking king, queen, queen, jack, ace fucking. I think we just have enough showdown value. I'm gonna have to bet. Oh, you know what? Let's just block or bet this one. Yeah, I think this is a good bet, actually. You can have a five. 
All right. We're not betting this to get him to fold. We're getting this to call with like a worse ace high, to not raise this, to not bet bigger if he has his beat. Fuck off. There's jack nine. Okay. He would have bet the river anyway. I'm probably going to call. So we saved money probably because he would have bet more. But damn, does that freaking jack nine lost ace? I lost the jack nine twice with ace freaking ace jack, loses ace jack nine all the time. All right, now I got kings. Let's do this one. How about this one? Okay, all right. Let's go, Nino boy. We've got to go all in. There's no, like, three-bet size. We're going to make it, like, six? No, I'm just all in. All in on that stack size. That is it. And no matter what anybody else does, we just shoo, trip it in. He did raise under the gun, so he could have a very, very strong hand. Not likely stronger than us, because there's only one hand stronger than ours. Couple of kings, let's go. Have jacks and have me hold. Nino boy. Nino boys, what you gonna do, Nino boys? You open big, right? Two and a half at this stage? All right, folds. I'll just take it. What? Hey, you can't three it there. You just can't. Like, what are you gonna do? Make it seven? And then <laughs> try to claim like you're folding to a, to a four bet? It's not a thing. All right. 9-6 suited. I will open for a min-raise if it's folded to me. Not anymore. So that actually, that, that jack-10-3 hand, the turn 9 was kind of like a bad one for me in a lot of ways. If it was a blank, I don't think he folds the jack. Right? But the 9 is fucking... Now he can't beat king-queen. He can't beat two-pair. He can't beat three-nine. He just he can't beat anything. It's just a jack fucking shit. Hmm. 7-3 suited. We're still in the other one, too. How many does this thing pay? Oh. Next prize, 28K. Let's see. This one's going to pay 60 spots, 28K. So six, top 60 will make the money in the 10K, which we've got a big pot going on over there now. Oh, too late. Ace-9 suited. All right. Let's, let's uh, raise this one. We're doing quite well. Average check's 42. We got 35. Not a great hand to defend against a 3-bit. So, I, yeah, that's okay. If somebody else raises, we just have to fold. A lot of that in hope poker, you know what I mean? You just open, somebody, all right, fold. That's just the way the game plays. It's the player, though, that's doing the re-raise and that's taking the biggest risk, though, right? Because he's risking all of his money in order to win a little bit. That's not a good board for us when we get a call from Mark here. Sure, he could have sevens, but he also has a whole heap of hands to fucking smash this board. And we didn't. So I'm going to check. Also, there's a third player in the big blind who could have anything. You know, jack eight, king eight, shit like that, suited, whatever. This is going to be a check fold for us. If we can get to a turn, you know, there's a lot of turn cards that could... Oh, I would say, if we can get to a turn, there's a whole heap of turn cards that we could absolutely love, and that's one of them. This is one where the good news is we can absolutely credibly pretend we have ace-queen. So this is going to be a bet on turn and a fucking all-you-can-eat on the river. I mean, we're going to have to just jam the river. Because Mark doesn't have ace-queen, probably. He three bets. Benjamin Dev uh, Ben C does never has ace-queen. We do. We would have absolutely sometimes check this ace-queen, uh, check this flop. And we block an ace. We block a nine also. That doesn't matter. Queen nine. All right, he called. Okay, we're going to have to jam it on the river. All right, well, we don't have to jam it now because we made it straight. But what we can do At 5.7. 6.9. Let's go a little bigger. I think he has the call with two pair here. He has a nine a decent amount. He doesn't have queen nine. If he has ace queen, we're just fucked. You know, such is life. Would have been much nicer to have a club. He's thinking about calling us for like a jack queen. Right? Queen 10, Jack Queen, suited. Oh my god, no fucking way. Does he really have the ace fucking queen? 
If so, we're just done in this tournament. We're just completely done. But I can't fucking fold. I have an ace. You got me, you got me, bro. Queen nine, maybe? We're just fucking dead if he has it. What do you want for my life? <laughs> That's that for the 10K. Could have been a damn club. All right, he made a good no three bet with ace queen. I don't know if we could do there. Fuck. Fucking hit the seven. Damn, not the club. All right. Well, we did not win the 10K. But now we can focus all of our attention on this guy. 25 bigs. Damn it. I'm never folding for 20 more fucking bigs. I mean, I have an ace in my hand with the nine. It's like worst possible situation to like impossible to fold. Like you could theoretically say, all right, I'll fold the nine sometimes there, right? Not when you have the ace. He doesn't have queen nine calling a raise. He doesn't leave a lot of ace queens left. Fuck. Three aces, four queens, 12 combos. And I think he would just jam us with a nine. That's the thing. Like, I think he's, you know, he's going to move in there with a nine. Why wouldn't he? Oh, actually, that's fuck he wouldn't because I could have ace-queen. Whatever. Hmm. What a sick fucking turn card. I was just going to check fold the flop. And then we just hit. All right, let's win this one. What a fucking river. Only this, that's like the only card, a, not, a seven that isn't a club. Three outs in the whole deck where we get screwed. Only three, right? Because think about it. If it comes a queen, we chop, right? If it comes a seven of clubs, we win. If it comes anything else, we, oh, if it comes anything else, I was bombing. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to bluff the river because I was going to represent that fucking ace queen that he had. Generally not a good idea to represent the hand that your opponent actually has. What are you going to do? All right. Such is life. Did not win that one. But there's 86 players left in this freaking World Series of Poker bracelet event playing for big money. Man, that was crazy, huh? Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn me, right? All right, whatever. Listen, we move on. What a, br like, we min cashed, okay? We played six, over six hours without a single rebuy, right? And uh, as soon as it's over, that hand happens. Brutal. Oh, what are you going to do? Okay, folding, 19 bigs, what is the average? 28, 86 left. What's the prize pool? Long way to go, but 635 up top. Oh, it stings, you know? Ah, uh, stings. What am I supposed to do there? I guess I could check. I guess, you know, if I was really playing super defensive, the ace nine of clubs, I can check that river and call. But then I just let him off the hook with, like, you know, two pair combos and stuff that have to pay it off. You know what I mean? Man. I should look at the chat, but you guys, I don't know. Let's focus on this tournament now. What do we got here? Felipe Ramos, back in business at my table. Still playing that super nitty, super nitty numbers right there for Felipe. Two million in chips. Phoenix has two million in chips. Okay.
Okay, Ace Queen, this is gonna be good enough. This is gonna be good enough to go with. What are we trying to do here? Pay jump a thousand dollars? No. We're trying to double the Ace Queen. We're not folding Ace Queen. Unless it goes all in, all in. If two players go all in, we'll fold Ace Queen. If one player does, this guy just three bets us with fucking whatever. I'm going to ship it in his face. I, I'm not folding this. I don't want to have to, like, um, make any decisions post-flop here. I just want to get it in. I mean, he might have us fucking crushed, but such is life. Maybe he just fucking folds to our jam, right? I doubt it, but we're not folding, so it's in. He could have a lot of worse hands. He's thinking. That's good. What if he folds? How cool would that be? Wow, that would be awesome. We go to like 27 bigs. And if he calls, we just win. All right, he called. What do you got? Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck. Okay, black. Oh, no. Jesus. What did we do this week? I can't handle this. Okay, we need to see him for black card. Oh, no. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? So close. Come on, man. Fucking ace queen. Oh, we had some good luck and then not so much. 9,000 bucks is what we cashed for. <sighs> All right. Let's raid Felipe, I think, right? Oh, God, that was frustrating. So close. So close, but yet so far. Where is it here? Twitch. Let's go to Twitch. I think Felipe is the guy we would raid right now. Since he is deep. Yep. We're going to raid Felipe. All right, people. Damn, right? Almost there. Both spots. <laughs> Fuck. See y'all. Peace. See you tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow we're going to play a crazy PLO.